Mighty Foreigner, what's up? Hey, Wonton. This is uh, technically going to be the beginning of six. We're just screwing around. Um, trying, to, trying to figure out... We haven't done a lot of fisting. Maybe we should do fisting. Hmm? Fisting? What fisting weapons should I use? Remember to use you lube? No, this is... Uh, they're bad guys. But they're bad guys. Stop scratching yourself. What's wrong with you? Whips? I don't know. I don't know about whips. Grafted dragon? That's a fist weapon. This is a fist weapon? Oh... It's like a... I could be a Baraka. Bear fists? I wish I had actual bear fists. Hello. Hi, everybody. We're trying to figure out what we're going to play. Something that I haven't played. Bows can be fun? I don't believe you. Also, I gave Titan all my bows. I think I gave him all my bows. I only have one bow left because I gave them all. I gave them away. Yeah, we should have the right to bear arms. I want actual bear arms. I did double shield. Double shield was really fun. I did... Let me show you the shields that I did. I maxed out my fingerprint shield. Fingerprint shield plus 25. Has a bleed of 169. It's dumb as fuck. Um... And then Bloodbriar Great Shield, uh, bleed of 142, double double shield. A faithful brawler that sounds too close to a paladin. Hmm. Did I help him finish the game? No, he did his own. Uh, you guys act like that guy doesn't play video games, you know, for a fucking job. Other Joe is at home, probably sleeping. Well, he may be up. Every one of the game, there's a lot of like weird bad weapons. It's like, you know, you get like a silver dagger that does like two damage. You heard the game gets a bit boring in New Game Plus. Is that true? I didn't think so. This is uh, I've I've done New Game all the way through six. So whoever told you that's got a different opinion than me. It's up to you. I don't know. Paladins are cool. Nuh uh. That is false. Now again, you uh you you think what you think and it's totally valid and I, I you know all, all that, but for me, I don't like them. Don't like them. Mm mm. King Ma, yeah, you should beat everyone. On your first playthrough. Thank you so much, Joss Samufari. This is saying I want to see the other four to five playthroughs. Uh, me? Uh, the first one was sorceries. No weapons, no shields. That was important. Second playthrough was sorceries, but with Moonveil. Holy shit, was that OP. Um, third playthrough was daggers and bleed stuff. That was miserable. Um, then what else did I do? I did katanas. I did Hana Millennia and Rivers of Blood because these are, these are bullshit. These are so fucking good. Katanas are OP as shit. Anyone who, who says like, sorceries are OP and has a katana in their hands, an idiot. Does it get easier every game plus? Uh, some things get easier, but you, the the and the boss damage and hit point scale. So certain bosses, like uh, Ancient Dragon Placid Sex, Placid Sex, Placid Ducks, Placid Placid something. Uh, he has that move where he, you know all the heads get laser beams coming out of their mouths. Uh, that just starts instant killing you, even with max health. 
It's fucking it, – it's rough. Like, if it hits you, you're dead. Uh, build you recommend for a newbie? Uh, it depends on your play style. Magic is really powerful. Katanas are really powerful. So I would say if you're, you're new and you want to kind of ease in, you either go an intelligence build or a dex build. Rufus, stop it. People are watching you. Be better. He's looking at me like he's... He doesn't know the fuck I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I already did the, the... I did almost a full playthrough with all shields. Shields are OP as shit. Are strength builds that bad? Yes, strength builds are fucking terrible. 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 And it's like, you can do it. And people... Do, I'll also do it. It's just when you put in the context of how powerful everything else is, strength really needs a buff. Like, really needs a buff. Like the the fucking strength greatsword? I don't know. And then some of these, these like, actually scale with int, which is dumb. It's like, come on. What kind of dog do I have? He's a Muppet. Yo, Alex, did you try the Big Dick Dual Bleed Spear build? Uh, this... Wait, not this one. This one? Mogwin Sacred Spear 10? This Mogwin Sacred Spear plus the Thumbprint Shield was fucked up. In your opinion, the Bloodhound Step Ash of War fixes strength builds for you. Uh, and they're still tr strictly worse. So, I agree that you can fi finish the game with strength. We're in agreement there. Where I think that you're misunderstanding our opinion, and I, I don't even think it's an opinion. I think it's it's straight up, this is how the game works. Strength is so slow, and the damage doesn't scale significantly higher over decks, that strength needs a buff, period. You can finish it as strength if you use min-max the shit out of the game. We are in agreement there. But it, it's saying that it's comparable to decks with Bloodhound is uh, is not accurate. Little Muppets, it's rough for Rufus. I'm having to carry him everywhere like a suitcase. Um, he really, really hurt that back left leg. And according to the vet, there was no no s significant damage. It was all soft tissue. But so he was really, really putting all of his weight on his right back leg. And he was, you know, taking it easy. But the problem is he was putting all of his weight on his right back leg. And so just as his left one was getting better... Uh, he was like blowing out his right his right leg, and so now both legs are kind of screwed, and so he's got that the suitcase harness, and I have to carry him everywhere. OP physical build something that does not need summon spells or buffs and or any stat effects. Uh, I've done I've done I've done that. Yes. How old is Rufus? He's nine, which is old for English bulldogs. It's stronger. Intelligence is significantly stronger, offensively speaking. Faith is better when you're talking about, like, support magic, buffs, and heals. So, it depends. Oh, uh, Valiant Gargoyles on my bleed build, the hardest weapons in the game. Or, hardest bosses in the game. Um, I had the toughest time, if you're talking about just builds, with Captain Nile... Uh, on my no weapons, no shield sorcery build. That guy was a fucking bastard. I, no, no Azer's Comet, just fucking 1v3. It sucked. Well, thanks for subbing, Unlucky. Which weapon is good for the strength build? Uh, the one that uses dex instead. Is that not helpful? I'm sorry. Are we going to review Elden? See, this is why I put this game on today, because there are people like you. Did you know that we have an Elden review up right now on the YouTubes? You should check it out. Arcane is good, but it's a scale with anything besides bleed. It helps your find. Uh, no, other than that, um, I mean, one of the better weapons in the game is Arcane Scaling. Rivers of Blood is OP as shit. Favorites. How dare you ask me favorites? The cool thing is if you've been playing for that long with strength is you go to this lady and you go, hey lady, birth me. And then she will birth you. And then you can switch to anything that you want. Radon has a very cool backstory. I mean, I think the game has a really great backstory.
How did I find it? Uh, I went to Best Buy, and it was next to all of the other games. I enjoyed it. It's early in the morning. I haven't had enough coffee. I'm going to be extra snarky. I'm sorry. Yes, Larval Tears carry over to New Game Plus. Speaking of which, I need to go make sure... Oh, I think I grabbed all of them in this playthrough. Am I excited for Gotham Knights? Eh. That studio has like a 50-50 shot of making something good. How are Redon Swords? I've never used them. Which ones are Redon Swords? Star Scourge, Great Sword? Int scaling for some reason. Favorite boss fight. How dare you ask me what my favorite is? Uh, there's a lot of really... like this, this This game is filled with memorable boss fights. The Radon fight is incredible. I love the whole raid boss mechanic. Um, the uh, Elder Dragon, super cool. Lich Dragon, super cool. Melania fight was very challenging, especially when I did... Um, I, you know, 1v1, no summons, no spells, 1v1, katanas, let's go. That was that was very fun. Um, Malekith, I figured out kind of how to cheese. Um, and it was Malekith was really frustrating as, like, a caster because Malekith is the... If you really don't know what you're doing casting spells, he's going to fucking eviscerate you. Uh, I hate the right card fight. I think it's, it's lazy game design, and I don't give a shit that it was, you know, an homage to a previous fight. I think that fight is awful. Um... I hate gimmick fights. It just completely takes away from the whole spirit of Elden Ring where you get to do things in a huge variety of ways, any style you want. Rykard sucks, and you will never convince me otherwise. And I will I will low-key roast you if you think that fight's cool. It looks it looked pretty, but that fight itself sucks. You are Radon. You haven't found him yet. You're on the part of killing fire giant. You have way past Radon, my friend. You go down... Here, there's this little castle. Now, if you're at the fire giant, there's a cool bridge. So if you get yourself down here, there's a lit right here, right there. You click a little doodad. It's look, it's like a little purple butthole, and it will transport you to the castle. When you get to the castle, you'll talk to the guy, and then the guy will start the festival and you fight him. Lord of Blood was cool. Am I a Yu-Gi-Oh type guy or more Magic Gathering? I'm more Magic Gathering. I've been playing Magic for since 1993. Uh, I actually just went to a big Magic tournament. Uh, but I think Yu-Gi-Oh is cool. A bunch of people I know played Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, you spend a lot of time in card stores. You're going to get friends that play Yu-Gi-Oh. So I'm not, it, you know, this game's better than this game. Fuck off with that shit. Both games are cool. I love nerd shit from when I was a little kid. Will you stop licking your paws? Stop it. Hey, I will lift you up. How the ending did you... Uh, what? I beat the game many times. Yeah, if you've been there, if you... So the thing is, the portal isn't active until you use the first lift. So just go back there. You, you're, you're far enough. If you go back there, click the purple butthole, and it'll, it'll send you right to him. Most fun? Um, man, the bad builds have been more fun. We're trying to... That's where You're supposed to be helping me, people. I think the bad builds are more fun than the good builds. Sorcery was, was crazy OP. Dex was crazy OP. Faith Dex, crazy OP. We're trying to figure out something bad. Uh, Faith is... It, Arcane is great for scaling bleed and only bleed. Int does significantly more damage than Faith... Always, Faith is better if you're looking for support magic. It does some damage, but I think it's Faith is Faith really shines when you pair it with like a weapon, and you're buffing and healing and stuff. I did daggers. Dagger sucks. We was thinking about fisting. What about fisting? I gave all of my bows to Titan. I have none. I beat the game a million times, and all my bows are gone. I only saved one. I gave them away. I guess I kept this one. You can't get past the fire giant. You're a vagabond. Any tips? Uh, I think the giant, you really, really, really need to learn to dodge. The, you know, he sticks the dish into the snow and he flicks it and it's a bullshit move. Run away from him. 
and then make sure you time the double jump on the horse. If you can dodge that move and stick directly under his ass at all times and just really work that weak ankle, that's where you want to shine. Once you he breaks his leg off and then he falls down, get up behind him and then attack him in his ass as, like, you have, I think, 30 seconds to attack him before he does anything to you. And then with that, you should be able to do it. I did do dual shield. It was really sweet. Du dual shield was actually really OP. It was very fucked like this. This thing is dumb. It does 169 bleed. Dude, chat can hear you sucking on that paw. Stop. So do we do fist? What's the best fist weapon? Thor? I did uh, I did Thor. I did a whole Thor playthrough. Uh, PvP in this game. Like, look, all Dark Souls PvP is kind of... And this, and this one, it's particularly bad. It's fun, but it's not it's not good under any circumstance. Oh, I'm going to do my ham sandwich run. Want some candy? Want some candy? God some damn candy? it. Thank you so much for subbing. Paladin, how, how dare you? I will never do a Paladin playthrough. Never. Nah, sleep, I don't want to do any of, like, the broken shit. Sleep is, sleep is OP as shit. Oh, this weapon is also fucked. The cross Naginata and then Ma Magwin Spear, they're fucked. Whip it real good. I never use this. This is, like, a weird flail. We could do hammer time. What setting would I like the next From Software game to be in? Man, those people do acid and they come up with wild shit, man. I have no idea. I promise you there'll be katanas in it because they can't help themselves. Wolverine Run could be really cool. I, I, I watched Titan beat the game. Um, I have... I have a plus 25 claws. We could do double double claws. No, put both claws on. Yes. Now, do I have anything that makes me look yellow-ish? Because we need to look the part, right? What's the most Wolverine helm I got? Yeah, this is a shenanigans. You know, we're not taking anything serious. Ooh. whimsical co colorful fantasy setting um yeah uh, i would like a dark uh dark fairy tale would be super sweet if they go like really deep into grim um grim fairy tales that would be excellent tons of established fairy tales you could have different castles to go through psychotic prince disney you know disney princesses that are actually true to their actual grim thing would be really fun for them to do from soft hire me i'm ready You've never seen the weird flail? Do an Only Ashes playthrough? Man, I could already do an Only Ashes playthrough. This is what the weird flail looks like. It's a bone, and it's got the solar system. You beat their ass with the solar system. Hey, Samurai Queen. Rufus, I hear you. 
fucking hear you. Mm. We could do claws. I don't know. How? Let's go somewhere and attack something. And see if I like the claws. Oh, I've done a ton of goofy builds. We're doing, we're doing, trying to figure out what goofy build that I want to just screw around on. Uh, the giant finger weapon's neat, but I don't want to do a giant finger weapon. I'm gonna get you. Seems okay. Am I using the unupgraded one on my main though? Okay. Does he have no, he's just super allergic to uh everything. Uh he just went outside and so Man, the plus twenty five one does a shitload of damage. Let me show you what, uh... And then we need a new Mimic. We need to level up one of these Mimics to max. I mean, I got a bunch of Olegs. Uh, Olga sucks. Lutul's okay. Clean Rot's not very good. Black Knife is insane. I don't think I've used Alora's. All right. Come on, girl. Let's get him. Get him. Get him. Uh. Girl, you doing nine damage? This, uh oh. Dolores, they're going to kick your ass. No, not me. Go kill Dolores. Dolores, no! Dude, I got 105 poise, motherfucker. Actually, he hits hard. Yeah, Dolores is also level 1, and this is like new game. This is 5 or 6? Yeah, I saw a new Batman, Joker, I don't know. It was good. The actors did a one, like a good job with it, but I don't think we need to be getting into Joker yet. This is New Game 6. We're trying to figure out a goofy build for the next New Game. You think the guys with the shields are so good at getting aggro on a boss makes for number one? I think it's good if you're low level. Yeah. Um, I think high level stuff, uh, black knife is better, not close. Like not even, it's not, they're not even, like, there's no one else in the conversation other than the black knife. Bella Fang, thank you so much. I did the dung eater, yeah. Why do I have so many extra claws? Faith Mind Build with Flail and Shield, that sounds uh, too close to a Paladin for my taste. We don't do that here. And by we, I mean I don't fucking do that. I don't like them. Now we want to do some evil... Sh I did uh, Spear and Shield. It was super cool. Because then you don't get... Oh, D&D &D Cleric? I guess I could do... What hammer time do we got? We got Marika's hammer. What's the best hammer? Why is the tree red? Uh oh yeah. Hmm.
Because four claws is better than two claws. Uh, I didn't know I was reviewing this game. I just like this game because I like this game. I've always been a big fan of the Soul series, though I don't like people who say they're fans of the Soul series. So I don't talk about it much. Because, uh... I hear you, dog. Stop it. Nah, no giant finger. Yeah, I saw the Kingdom Hearts. I'm not a Kingdom I don't like Kingdom Hearts. Um, I don't like that kind of storytelling. Um, now, to be honest, I've only watched people play Kingdom Hearts. So, maybe... I don't know. But... We'll see. I'm sure we will play it, and then you can get my opinion of it, but... Uh, yes, uh, I think they do need to add, you know, PvP into this game. I remember, like, the, the issue is they're only letting a certain number of people in the game. You guys remember when Dark Souls, where you could have, like, arenas and people would, like, line up and wait to duel? That was so cool. Did you find three fingers? I did. I've done every ending. Every one. You're like, what about that one? That one, too. And I beat that boss. You know that one. And that one. I beat, I beat all the bosses. I beat all the bosses. Sneak. The dagger run go? It was fucking miserable. The dagger run was, like, legit fucking miserable. The Elden Beast with daggers sucked. It was awful. I don't think I attacked the Elden Beast more than... You get a small window when you first uh, get into the fight the Elden Beast where you can attack a few times. And then after that, you, you spend 30 minutes chasing a fucking Pokemon around. It's awful. Yeah, I had to use the... Um the Reduvia daggers, uh, you know, where it, it's, you can attack three feet away. Yeah, I used the I used the the right dagger. It just still s fucking sucked. It was awful. What does this look like? I got a little mini dragon, but it looks like I have my fist in its ass. I don't appreciate that. I was teaching AJ to play his first Souls-like game. I didn't. I'm gonna teach. He's a grown man. He didn't need me to teach him how to play video games. Dragon! Oh shit, I'm doing 12 damage. Beat your monkey ass anyway. Ow. Uh, I think Ray's coming. I don't know, though. And then we're going to get together. Oh, I'm going to die to these fucking noobs. Bandit Dagger plus 25 with Blood Flame Enchant. Playing keyboard and mouse. You have issues using pouch items. There, You cannot use pouch on keyboard and mouse. It is You, you cannot. And you're like, oh, you can hit the button. It's like, yeah, but I have to take my hand off the mouse to this other fucking button. You cannot do it. Doing a Dragon's Incantation build. Uh, I did Dragon Incantations. It's uh, not very good. It's super sweet because the Dragon spells look amazing, but they're so bad. They, they you, you wind up for so long. Like, seriously, you need, like, 100-plus poise to not get knocked over. Only solution? Just don't use the pouch. 
Tolarian Community College Kickstarter. No, but I like to merit Tolarian Community College. I'll check it out. The raw one's very good, yes, for sure. But it's... You can use it in, like, some fights. But a lot of bosses just knock your ass over. Oh, stop. Stop. Let me put a real weapon on. Ow. 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 Rot Breath and Ice Breath are great for Milani. Yeah, if she's not beating your ass while you're casting them. Double Great Sword Strength build? Hell no. Didn't realize you could hold the dragon spells to keep them going. Yes, you... That's... Am I going to grind to 713? No, hell no. You don't... You really stop scaling after, like, two-something. Like, my character's about as powerful as they're ever going to get. Uh... Do you care for Einstein bagels? I like bagels. Bagels are delicious. Uh, I did Rock Throw. Rock Throw is OP as shit, and it's great. Everyone should try Rock Throw. I didn't want to use that one, but we'll let we'll let him play. Yeah, this katana is bullshit. Yeah, I've done almost every build. That's why we're looking for, like, joke builds. Did I take a look at Fextra Life builds? No. Do they have cool ones? River Blood is OP. Moonveil was... All the katanas are OP. They were, they were very good. Um, it's getting nerfed. What is the fist weapon I should be using? Oh, the explodey physic? I've never done that. I'd love to. I want to see what that looks like. Would double whip bill? What? So, Copper, what, uh, what whips? Which one explodes? This one explodes. And this one... Horn guy, summon, summon the dudes. We must make big explosion. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Does this do a lot of damage? Like a lot of damage? Did I do it? Oh, there it is. That doesn't do very much at all. Well, I have too many souls to be fucking around, I think. 
Oh, I need both explosion tiers? Okay. Uh, I think the the coolest ending is definitely the uh, Frenzy Flame ending. Omega Unicorn, thank you so much. Wow, you've been lost a long time. Fire Giant and Candlestick Whips do not bleed. All the others will rely on bleed. I have the Fire Giant one. I don't know if I have the Candlestick one. Oh, the Whip Sword's a cool looking thing. I've seen someone use that one, yeah. When Millennia focused on the breaths were amazing when she went for me. Oh, yeah. Um, I was uh, I was very happy with myself when I was able to 1v1 duel uh, Melania with her own sword, no summons. It was uh, it was very cool. I don't think I... Oh, I can level up twice. Uh... Alright, so what do I need for... Well, I guess I'll take a look at whips. What whips do I have? Whips. All right, so I've got Whip and Giant's Red Braid. Two swords with Royal Knight's Resolve and then also Golden Vow. Okay. So that's, that's just an explosion build? I guess it seems pretty bad for bosses, though. Yeah, I don't have the Sword Whipper, man. I mean, I can go get them. Let me get, get the Patches Fire Whips you next two games. <laughs> Where's the Sword Whip? Where's the sword that turns into a whip? Because I like the idea of that one, and maybe the... I guess I could look it up myself. It's Urumi. Karia Manor, Body in the Southeast Ramparts. Cool. Uh, I didn't even do Karia Manor in this playthrough. Damn it. Oh, I got to my god damn. Any tips on the black knife? Uh what kind of build are you doing? Can I even get there from here? Yeah, I can. Um Honestly, you can abuse that fight. Um, he has difficulties if you're uh, higher up on rocks. So if you if you just get elevation on him, he'll have difficulties using his bullshit abilities, and then you can get in and poke him a lot. Uh, that's really what you all you need to do for for that one. Now nah, you don't even need to stagger him; just get higher up on him. That's a really really tough fight as a magic user. Zang Beef. Thanks for subbing, Zang Beef. I'm doing well, Kimmy. How are you? Why is everyone bashing great swords builds? Uh, I think you're... I think you're... Well, maybe some people may be bashing them, but they're just not good. Comparatively. Now, again, you can beat this game with a ham sandwich if you're good. Now, for those of us who are not ham sandwich level good, uh, you may want to use something that they actually, like put thought into because they didn't put any thought or effort into strength builds they're just not good they do significantly less damage they take too long to wind up they don't stagger as much they don't do anything uh, as, uh, to the point the level that they should use river blows on black okay that's cool 
Toughest boss first playthrough, probably Malekith or Melina, or Captain Nile. Captain Nile took me probably more tries. Jumping attack plus heavy weapons, solid build. It's fine. It's just not as good as anything else. No, I'm good, Ray. Door's open. Dude, if there was a ham sandwich build, I would play it. Nile sucks. Yes, it does. Uh, no summons, Nile run, magic? Fuck that shit. That sucked. I didn't have Azer's Comet either. Or if I stop with Mimic. Oh, pre-nerf Horfrost was, was dumb. Let me through. <laughs> but did you eventually beat Melania Parmesan? Oh, they really nerfed uh, Horfrost. They had to. That shit was absurd. That's so weird. You found Nile kind of easy. Well, that's awesome. It is certainly possible that you got to him when you were way more powerful, or you're significantly better than me, or... I don't know. Could be many, many things. Now, where am I supposed to go? Supposed to run through here and find a thing in the thing? This is like New Game 6. We're just trying to get whips for the next New Game. Uh, at what levels do strength builds become viable to use? In my opinion, they never become viable. You can always do if you're really. It's just you're playing handicapped. They just need to be buffed. How do you finish the game? You can uh, rush to the boss. There's a bunch of bosses that you can just simply rush to, and um, and that's it. Okay, it's over here somewhere, right? Uh, body on the southeast ramparts. This way? Body on the southeast ramparts. Okay, so it should be over here. No. 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 I'm looking for some uh, sword whip. No. Is it down there? I don't get down there. It looks like it'd be down there. Hey! Yeah, I... I'm not going to do a full quest to... The rock tip really did help kill Black Knife. My Ungaba Strength build it. Oh, sweet. What's the blade called? I'm looking for something called Urumi. Uh, it is... Where am I looking at this thing? Okay, it's down there. How the fuck do I get... It's like straight ahead. Oh, these are more hit points than I thought. Is this a death? Oh, I didn't jump. That's a death. Use butt stomp. Ah. Friendship. <laughs> How long do the main missions take? My first playthrough took 68 hours, but that's with killing every boss uh, in the game. Uh, I've also beat the game on New Game Plus under three hours. Um, now, that's not fresh. That's New Game Plus, but... Anything I'm hoping for new DLC? More content. Is this it? Nope. 
What's this? No. First was 130 hours. That's cool. No. I did it! I found it! Are you someone who loved the Souls games too? I do. I just don't like Souls people. Alright, let's go respec. What? You fucking butthole! Stop shooting me. I think he's going to shoot me forever and I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Dry finger. Ha <laughs> ha Hilarious. Yeah, I've seen the runs. I, I mean, if you want to... I like uh, speed runs. I really, I think they're super cool. I don't like the the glitch speed runs. So like the nine minute speed runs, personally, don't excite me. I don't think that they're interesting. Just like taking advantage of like not great code uh, is not something that I think is is super cool. Now you show me the the naked guy who grabs a weapon and then kills all the major bosses and beats the game. That shit is impressive. Yeah, I, I've I've watched the the speed runs. It's really cool. They understand so the the speedruns they they understand the there's a um it's like a movement and uh there's two things that overlap. I think it's called zipping. They just figure out how to zip through certain areas and they know how the game interacts with zipping, so it like auto kills bosses for you. So I don't I don't I think it's interesting to watch once, but when like, I got it to five minutes, I don't care. You could say it took you three minutes and I don't give a fuck. You do an all boss run. Uh, under like 30 minutes and like that's that's fucking impressive let's let's go i want to watch that shit yeah i don't like good speed i mean it's just for me i don't i don't care i mean if you like him great but just personally i don't like him uh what do we need for whips imagine they're just all decks i get lost in my inventory all the goddamn time Butt slam. Strength decks. Strength decks. I need 21 faith for this fucking thing? Wow, this thing does terrible damage. So I guess we'll just do, yeah. Rumi is amazing for decks, yeah. Oh, I wonder if I even have the things to fucking level these things mess up. You don't have the hoe slow whip. Who you calling a hoe? Raise a hoe. Hoe slow whip. What's a hoe slow whip? What is a host? A drop by Juno Hoslo with Hoslo says part of the final contract for the Volcano Manor. Oh, I gave this to somebody. Who did I give this to? You don't know where I've been, Rufus. You don't know where I've been. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. Sit down. Sit down. Come on, sit. There you go. Don't be a star glitches. Um, we're trying to figure out, we're going to, we're going to, no, you know, my default setting. You tell me you don't want a thing, get me fucking something. Okay. Who is this stranger? And now you have a choice. Choice. Which one we're going through first? I mean, we're going to do both. <laughs> Kit Kat. Kit Kat. And it's my size. Extra large. Mm. Uh, yeah, we're trying to, so it's either, maybe it's fisties. Do we go fisties? Fisticuffs? But it's all... Well, you have the pot, and you have the sastis, and you have the dragon glove that I heard you talking about. Yeah. I'll put my hand up your ass and work your mouth like a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have any remembrances on this character? Sick cabra. No, I ate them. 
Oh, is it time to go fist a mantastic on him? I think so. Oh. We were we were thinking about so there's like just to kind of screw around for a little bit. Dragon fists. Do I have to kill him again to get the second dragon fist? Where did I get this in the first Your place? Best loaf. Do you get this from uh, Godric? I don't know. I haven't killed. Oh wait, 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 Godric. Yes. Fist full of dragon maw. So is this the one that I should use, or should I use fisticuffs? I can use. I, I got double prosthesis, so I got knives for hands. <laughs> He's got hook hands. <laughs> Man, these the starting damage on these is terrible. So these are strength centric. Godric remembrance. Okay. Oh, but it's not good. I don't want to use it for the fire spell. I want to actually be like punching people. <laughs> punch, 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 punch. Double Tesco hands? Oh, hit him with the scrody hands. Mm. Alex words scissor hands. Oh, God. And then use the curved sword talisman? Oh. I still mm. want to do. Joe beat me to it. I was going to do the Darth Maul run. Oh, yeah. What up, Unicron? The crab boy on hands. Oh my! I don't know if I killed him in this run. Is that what this is? I don't know if he's still there. Let's go see if we can kill him. <laughs> oh, what's his name? Blackguard. Oh my God! Oh shit, dude! Or tell my C three PO. Did you throw sin though? Oh! 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 Jesus! Yeah, time to say good night. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> I told you don't steal necklaces that don't belong to you. Season your fucking seafood. <laughs> I don't see any lemons. There's no corn. <laughs> there's no potatoes. There's certainly no sausage in there. You punk ass bitch. Now, now tell the truth, Alex. He's Max. He's at Red Lobster. There's no cheddar biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> no season in ass bitch. He hit him with the iron ball. Oh, don't want you to get deep. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, are those are those the ones? Where's Titan? Uh, wait, <laughs> no, old <babe>. bay. <laughs> cheddar Bay biscuits. <laughs> the fan don't even get cheddar biscuits. This random hoe gonna get cheddar biscuits. <laughs> I know, right? Roar! You don't have cheddar biscuits? Nope. Sorry, Timmy. <laughs> Time to die. These are kind of cool looking. What you hacking on loaf? So it's like, you know, instead of brass knuckles, there's bones, and that's kind of cool. Found out the hard way what that armor does, though. <laughs> that's kind of cool, too. I mean... That's all it does is a uh -oh. unblockable blade. Here's how I know he's happy. Keep doing the happy dance. What storm kick? <laughs> happy loaf. The skeleton hand steals hit points? Wait, what? <laughs> life steal fist? I do like the idea of life steal fist. Oh, I need arcane uh, skeleton. They, oh. You remember the black hand, yeah? Mm -hmm. Everyone's scared the, of the. Oh. I never got the bouquet of flowers, and I really I, I should have. Mm. It's a mace that looks like a, a big bouquet of red roses. <laughs> Technically, all those weapons steal life. Yeah, you're correct. You're, you're correct. What does this do? Oh. Squeaky wheel. Man, I saw the new Minsk. Oh. Weird. This is weird. Yeah, I just like the way it sounds. Like, you've got the world's deadliest slinky. Now watch me whip. <laughs> now watch me name it. <laughs> I was thinking about trying to pair that with the knock sword that you get from the two assassin guys outside of... um. Sorcery City. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Because I thought that would have acted the same way, and I was like, oh, disappoint. Uh, whip it real hard. Whip it, whip it real hard. I got to hear Devo in the background. I saw someone going through with the dual whip. They start off with the uh, smog stomp, <laughs> the Ash of War stomp, and then they just come in and double whip you, and just like all your life melts away. I was like, that shit. I would have called that the George Foreman grill because your hit points just fall right off. <laughs> Is there an Ash that uses whips? <sighs> You're building a sorcerer first at mine and tell. Uh, no, don't when put anything in his mind. He's always been here. I just no, mine is fucking almost useless as a sorcerer, and, I, and that is a gross exaggeration. But it's true. Look, when you are a sorcerer and you're dodge rolling all over the place, and you get one fucking second, you get one second to cast a spell, and you go huh, and then you roll for another five minutes. If my spell <laughs> does three times the damage that yours does, who gives a fuck how much mana you have? It is fucking useless. Stop putting points into mind. S fucking stop it. The main thing you need mind for is for the biggest summons. Yeah, make sure you can cast your biggest summons, and that's it. If you have 100 mind, you are set. Oleg and you, you can beat the whole fucking game with that. Because I can tell you right now, I cap mine, but then again, I'm not as far as you. I cap my mind at 21. I have 104 or 106 flash, uh, mana, and that's enough to pull Luther the Headless. Mm -hmm. And she's the most expensive I have at 104. But my boy Ingval's been doing work for me because I haven't gotten back under the crypt to get Oleg yet. He's my next kill after I take care of Moon Lady. So if I go Mimic, we can just have four of us just whipping the shit out of people. Yeah, like I said, one, 104 or 106 is where it caps out. That's all you really need. So you put 21 in the mine, stop there. Because that gives you a few extra shots as major. Like you said, if you're if you're rolling for dear life, the last thing you need to worry about is, oh, I can't cast Comet. Bitch, you need three seconds to set that up anyway. Uh, You need 136 to cast Teague. Or 132. That's that's it. Well, I haven't gotten him yet, so again. Yeah, if you just get if you just get him, if you get enough for that, you're you're set. You don't need any more than that. Okay. The Knox puppet use whips. Or whip mimics. You just you just continuously bleed. Knox puppets. Where do I get Knox puppets? I love that. It's so finding stuff. Knox puppet. No, but give me the the dark sister freed. I just have to figure out what class I'm going to start with. Because there's the one scythe that you can put the frost enchantment onto, so now you get frostbite Were and bleed. Not oh. Okay, Night Maiden and Sword Swordstress Puppets. Right? That's one? That's not whip. Is that a whip? That's a shultle. In statue. Oh, I don't even. This playthrough, I didn't do any of that shit. I'd have to. Did I do Noscatel on this playthrough? No. No, not in this playthrough. If you use the tiered. The Dung Eater puppet. <laughs> Sold by Saluvis after using Saluvis Potion on the Dung Eater and bringing him five stars. Oh! I can do that in my next one. I'll get him. Rufus, stop it! Oi! Up with you. Yes, intelligence increases your sorcery scaling, um, which is going to give you the more damage on your spells. Uh, okay, well, let's just see what I need to make these stats work. Oh, actually, it already it already does with this build. I mean, I guess we can go see how much damage the first whip does at the very least. Serpent. You're like, hey, Arcatana's better? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, then what? Everything. Okay, that Again, doesn't do all, any fucking range. It all depends on what style of play do you want to do. If you look at for raw damage, bleed is by far and away one of the strongest builds you can have in this game. And it scales with dex, which also twin plates deal with. I mean, it, this seems super annoying for the bad guys. Mm 
No. <laughs> no. Yeah, the blood whip. And there's so many katanas. Bad butthole. <laughs> Squeaky wheel gets the kick. Wow, oh, that doesn't do any fucking damage at all. Mm, kick just puts him back. It's like, what's that Asher War? The uh, the stomp? Where it staggers him for a second? <laughs> it's... Uh. Is it River of Blood or um, the Meteorite? Or katana. That's the other one I'm really interested in is I want to use I want to try out. Uh... Oh shit! Oi! You gonna kill me? Oi! Why aren't you using the yeah, dual wield HT? Uh, uh, because I I want to see what this looks like. See, it does 80 damage now. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to nickel and dime you. Death by a thousand paper cuts. I pulled you out of block. Now take that. <laughs> I didn't say one of the worst weapons. No, the whip's not upgraded at all, but like even upgraded. So whips don't care what kind of poise you have. <laughs> I'm gonna tickle you. Yeah, the whip does have some range. Um, do I have the stats to show you? Oh, I'm gonna die here, but do I have the stats to at least show you what the Moog Spear does? I can never find anything in time. Oh, the Madness build? No, no I can't even use it. One hit point in a dream, baby. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> You mean a pine wood jacket? Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> All right, now there's two of us, and we will double whip you to death. Watch this. Ah! <laughs> Bad day of the office, son. <laughs> no! He got me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if whips are for me. I'd, I'd much more, I'd rather, like, do some fisties. <laughs> Fists? I don't know. I mean, we're not going to play for very long, but fist could be fun. Uh, I guess I'll get some of these souls back, but. Seal and stick. Uh, Int Faith seems bad. Faith, you really need a weapon. I'll just say Faith, yeah. Unless you do Faith Arcane. But then again, that's for one particular weapon in this game, and it was nerfed. But I'm sorry, Night and Fire is just... I want to try a build with that. This weapon is cool, at least. I love the sound on it. This should hurt you. It should have a 1 in 10 chance of hurting you. Because <laughs> Yo, you know that's, this... That's the katana they should have brought in from Dark Souls 3, the mm -hmm. Chaos Blade. Yeah. I mean, each time you hit someone, you do great damage, but you also damage yourself with it. I could do... Which one's which one's the halberd? The Knight Rider halberd? Oh, these are strength scaling. That's how you know they're bad. Yeah, I think I want to go bonk. Is... <laughs> The super punch-out build. <laughs> which is 
I just want to know, like, Veteran's Prosthesis is the best fist, apparently, and then Cypherpod is the second, according to this website that I was probably wrong all the time. But... So this isn't the best one? Because I do like the idea of having swords for hands. <laughs> well, then you should have watched this movie I watched last night. Alita Battle Angel. Uh. <laughs> Where the chick comes out with yeah. the sword hands. As long as I get his eyes. <laughs> uh, and then I need to use two of these, right? You have to use two, otherwise it, the build doesn't work. <laughs> bonk is bonk in the end. Oh, no, they're already dual wield. God, what was that one? The brick hammer that you get from... All right, they're not dual wield. The castle early in all. This also reminds me of uh, Willow. Remember Eric? Oh, yeah. And then also I've got the Willow armor because this is what Mad Mardigan wears at the end. And once he grabs the sword glove... He picks up Eric's sword and he kills that motherfucker with it. That's this is the build. Mad Modigan. Die, trash. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and as a little surprise. Uh, electric. Try the light and mother. Oh, oh. We interrupt the stun lock to bring you another stun lock. <laughs> oh, Hold on while I play in your guts. <laughs> and not in the fun Friday night kind of way. <laughs> Will you uh, fucking die already? Oh, we are definitely going to upgrade all of these. <laughs> Do I have enough stuff to fucking fully upgrade these? I'll just go max poise. Yeah, these are unupgraded. Yeah, this is just raw. Ow. Oh, you want to do some shield bull? Oh, I don't. I can't even equip the shield bullshit. I don't think. <laughs> what do you mean I can't change equipment at this time? Because you're in the middle of a fight. Hey, hello card. Uh, will they ever get a reprint? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Man, I just did the cards. Like the business stuff. You got to ask Jasco. <laughs> Some of us are just playtesters. Bad damage is hot garbage. Use Starfist and go full strength. Uh, no, I'm going to do this one. Uh, what do I need? I need... What do they scale with? Is it... What are these things called? Veterans Prothesis? Mm, strength and deck, so it's a quality. Yeah, I'm just curious what scales better. Yeah, like which... Which act? Veterans. <laughs> until he stays down. You do not want to get I'll out. go full veterans because the veteran the set is insane. How does it scale? Tell me the scaling. So it's a plus 10. Uh, Dial's peg leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gaming. I mean, gatekeepers you don't have to equip two of those to do will. Just equip one of them two handed. Got it. We will do that. It's just like the gold sort you get when you go back to the temple and you kill one of the um, beast thingies. All right, well, let's go max upgrade these real quick. Uh, where can I go do that? Yeah, yeah, we're not trying to be good. This, I mean... The time to be good is past. Yeah, we like did all that shit way a long time ago. Many hours ago. On now, the now uh, eighth playthrough, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Strength and armament. No. So, okay, three I can go buy. What else am I missing, though? Um, so, one, two, th so, Four, I have to go, so, I, so I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a bunch of those. Okay. Yeah, so just buy the three from EG. Yeah, but I got to fucking I didn't get any of these damn stops it's my own damn fault you have one job one 
45 golden seeds. Yeah, I got a lot of them. I mean, I stopped picking them up after like a long time ago. <laughs> they don't do anything. <laughs> C scaling in strength and 10 at dex. Ugh. Who cares? Strength. Blech. I started to listen to the review on the way down here, but I was like, nah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah, but they don't sell for anything. Also, I can kill like one thing and get like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sell me a bunch of them. Shit, sell me all these too. Give me all you got. Give me those. Oh shit, I can buy eighty-three. Well, he has an unlimited one and two. Oh man, I don't need. It's just the three and four that he. Something. Uh, Joe Dog, that's a pretty good question. I'll find out when we get over there. Sick. <laughs> Rarely do we know in advance. Okay, so I need more strength. Um, yeah, I need it's strength C, unfortunately. So, uh, let's go. Should I? I guess we'll just. How go. many have I done? I'm on my third character, but I have yet to complete a playthrough, which is why I won't look when he does some of this later stuff. I miss the other two what? Well, the other number fours that uh, the giant had. Oh, I, I mean, I think I got, it's a, not I think like I, I got a bunch of them, I you're think. You're overly concerned. Yeah, I think I got a bunch of fours. I got four fours. How's it feel having AC for the street? <laughs> oh, my God, it is so nice. Dude, it was 90 it's degrees like, I yesterday. I was fucking it yesterday. I was fucking like, miserable, man. Woo. I looked up and I saw the gauntlet like teetering on the edge. I was like, "You little bitch." <laughs> okay. Um, full vet run, veterans helm, because we are veterans. All right, lady. Oh, is it thy yes. Let me birth you. Ew. Buy Dark Souls on Steam. It's on sale a lot. Uh, let's start 50. We need 26 mind always. Uh, at least 40 something. Favorite armor in the game for visuals? We don't do favorites, but I know he likes the Burger King skin. Oh, Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Next month is that badge upgrade. What? Everyone keeps saying Bloodborne's the masterpiece. It's the only soul. Uh, I, I don't need any arcane at all. Right? No arcane. No, I don't need any arcane at all. I guess I have a couple more points. The twin armor. <laughs> no, that doesn't really do anything. I guess we can do more endurance for more slashies. <laughs> Excellent. Confer I don't think I need arcane for anything. Right? No. Dual daggers against Elden Beast. Ooh, you had a lot of time to kill? Dude, uh, that was miserable. I did that <laughs> shit. It was awful. It was fucking awful. It was one of the worst things ever. Now let's go show this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cuffs, turn my headphones up. What up, loaf? Yeah, I saw you over there trying no, to... No, you know, like after level 200-ish, you really stop scaling all that. I mean, if you go into like Faith Dex build, you'll get a little because you need two stats, but... Oh, dude. One of my buddies was playing yesterday and he summoned two friends. They did the double... They did the Bubble Buddies run. I was like, what the hell's a Bubble Buddy? Oh, yeah. I was like, what the shit is this? Yeah, the bubble buddy is super funny. Oh, my God. And picture three of them doing that. They're all wearing, like, gold masks as Tong. So they're running around in G-strings holding up these horns. And I'm like, then I saw the flurry of Summon bubbles. the bitches. And then I saw the big bubble. I'm like, there is no way. Yeah, Necro, and if you get a couple people doing it with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, it looks hilarious. Oh, here's... <laughs> and then a huge bubble. I'm like, what the shit is this? 
Smoke Spear's interesting. It's not great, but it's... I got more poison, you bitch. <laughs> I think I'm at 105. Use Ash of War? What Ash of War? Storm Kick? Oh, I don't, I don't know what Storm Kick does. That doesn't seem very good. Also, it's, I don't think this guy knows what a kick is. Thousand damage a hit. Seems pretty good. Well, that's the beauty of this game is the replayability. So you can mess around with different builds and weapons. And Like, if you picked up something that you think looks really cool, but you don't have the stats for it, you can either respect or just get it on your next playthrough and be like, okay, oh, shit, that's what this does. Because a weapon won't unlock if you don't meet the uh, requirements for it. That's why I want to try Night and Flame. Oh, Night Flame's fucked up. <laughs> well, they nerfed it really bad. All right, this is kind of cool. I thought it was dumb at first, but the second part. It's like uh, Unsheath, where people were like, all it does is do this. It doesn't actually do anything. It's you got to click the button again, and then. Like, oh, no, wait. Or when yeah. people get the, the Night Sword out of that one caravan, the Magic Sword, it says, okay, if you hold it, it turns to like a great sword. And they didn't know it can level up again and turn an even greater sword and just do a huge slam. What was that about? I was like, yeah, you're being judged. We're both looking at you. He's like, what, what, what are you do? licking your paws? You, <laughs> you can wait for the first playthrough. Yeah, try the inbuild. It's uh, super fun. Um, okay, well, let's see. Last March of the Ints is always fun. We got a blurry camera. If we do a Ride the Lightning run. And do Faith in Arcane. Like right, said, the lightning? Just do a lightning weapon build and, you know, um, a couple of Faith spells. Because the lightning spear in this game is super strong. Oh, well, well, there's also like a million lightning spears, too. And what's the one that you can get early on? Like the Flames of Fury or something? You thrust your fist in the air and like fiery inchworms like leap out of you or leap out of the ground? Fucking blurry ass camera. Hmm, hold on. Forage for food. Oh, grilled cheese. Hell yeah. Ooh, why stop with a grilled cheese? Just make a Monte Cristo. And throw some bacon in that bitch. <laughs> See, I even picked up snacks. You guys already got me thinking about lunch. Damn you. It was 45 minutes waiting for them to clean that accident up. I was like, my God. And every time I got ready to log on and type, traffic would move just enough. And I'm like, mother. Uh, we do not speak French here. I can read it. Grilled Let's cheese makes an awesome hamburger bun. Yes, it do. Mm. I would love a BLT if I like the tea. <laughs> we also need it. Oh, I guess I can't level up an ash. I should have done that. We should try a new ash. What's a good fist ash? Double fist? Don't you? Didn't you pick up one of the mad pumpkin head dudes? Oh, no, because he whips the flail. I thought there was one that was. We use Skelly Bros. I know, Big John. I was like, or he I was just trying to boys, he was trying to get more people into his gas station. Mimic is overused. Yeah, I know. That's why I asked a question. Maybe oh, I should have changed my because physic. Because it's effective. Well, not anymore, but yes. Oh, you want to know a fun way to do devastating damage to these guys? <laughs> that would do pretty good damage. No, I mean, drain two-thirds of his hit points in one spell. That was done completely by mistake. God, I didn't do shit. Because you know how you buy hints from the vendors? And they say heal does oh, yeah. great damage to undead. I used the heal spell and his health just dropped. I was like, what the fuck is this? So when I went back to get Oleg's, like two spells later, all oh, my problems are solved. Stop it. The imp arts. Oh, God. 
Elden Ring, enemies outside of bosses. I would have to say the Rot Knights. Or birds, those guys. No, Dogs, um, rats, camera, revenants. gravity, revenants. Well, the three deadliest are camera, dog, and gravity. Birds. That's that's any Souls game. No, no, yeah. no. Oh, any yeah. Souls game. This one, birds oh. with freaking swords tied to their feet. Yeah. <laughs> but I found an ash where I can summon my own. I was like, I got sore feet, bird. <laughs> Yeah, the Halig tree ones where you go into the little the little causeway or like down there and there's like seven revenants. <sighs> no, I so know. I'm not a fan of revenants, but also the um Yeah, the Rot Knights. I, I mean, can do Rot Knight Finley. No, say so their armor looks super cool. So we'll we'll use the Rot Knight for now, but I don't I remember the Rot Knight being very good. The sniping cinnamon. Oh, what about the fucking uh, auto bo aimbot shrimp? I fucking hate the aimbot shrimp. And this one before, just like we said. What? Are, what's that one magic deck you built? Shrimps and... Slugs. Shrimps and slugs. Because going down to fight the three crystalline dudes to finish the sorcery build, the sorcery quest, I still have to go there and free, um, free Lusat. Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff. Uh, I think I have. Oh, I should use the bow? I don't know if I leveled up the bow lady. Did I level up bow lady? No, I don't even level oh, her Lobo's up. Lobo's chick? You talking Lenata or Olga? A Breath of the Wild build? <laughs> Olga, okay. I thought you meant Lanetta. It's like, well. Oh, I need to change the physic, but I can do that later. Oh, those guys. Not a fan of them. I mean, it's great that you can have one on your side. And she buffs you. The first second thing that she does is buff oh, yeah? you. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Eat laser disc. <laughs> Ow, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked, bitch. What? Behind you? Oh, the, the range on these is terrible. <laughs> Slap. Will you... Finley, <laughs> you're fucking me up here. <laughs> Trying to cosplay Gale. Oh my god, it's so rough. Oh! <laughs> when she gets physical, she makes up for it, but. <laughs> Tron, deadly discs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you're 12 Albert. <laughs> Rufus. Well, I'm about to come over there and deal with you. Kristoff carried you? How, why did Kristoff carry you? Tell me. Tell me why. Um, well, like the break stance seems sweet. Um, and then... Two crossbow bills. Oh, what's the one that fires the triple exploding crossbow bolts? Ooh, Monte Cristo. See, you, you're doing it, man. Finlay's Ash? That's what Finlay... I was just using Finlay's Ash. Wolfpack? Yeah, Wolfpack. <laughs> Team Lobos. <laughs> Get off the road. <laughs> oh, and the Mimic, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Nope. Don't have a lot of physics. I really only use the... On my Sorcerer build, I use the OP fucking physics, of course. Um, the two I use on mine are, of course, greatly reduced damage and increased sorcery damage. Oh, the charge damage one? No, no, no. There's one that says increase buffs your sorcery. Oh, shit. I never got that even on my sorcery build. I should have been looking shit up, but I thought it was fun to not look shit well, up. Well, again, yeah. you don't look shit up. You just explore every nook and cranny. That's why I'm still on my first playthrough. Because <laughs> I'm doing one for, like I said, a melee build. And that's how I found out 
blade actually helps you, that's the only time you can summon oh, someone yeah. in one of the little prisons. I was like, he got me the hound's tooth. I had to hit this guy twice, but I had the um, the God Sworn Great Sword, which is awesome on its own to get at the start. But Blade's like, sit back, kid. I got this. <laughs> whap, 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 and just commenced to whooping his ass. No, doggo. Give me. <laughs> Hello, lady. Hello. I'm only talking to you because I'm going to need you to level up my things. Oh, my God. Fucking doggos. Now, what were you saying about you can't use, can't get used to that pain thing, lady? <laughs> we got you. All right. Three jellyfish. Oh, God. All right. Bye-bye. Headless in the perfume. Oh, oh, shit. I forgot to get all the maps. Oh, wait, no, I don't need the maps. Why aren't you loading my maps? Uh, all right, left. Uh, what was the one that I'm supposed to be getting? Some ancient knight something or other? Where is he? Try Kristoff. Okay, where is Kristoff? Donde esta Kristoff? Do I have Kristoff? Oh, it's in my inventory. Oh. This one? <sighs> All right. As soon as she will, you know, do the thing. Oh, I guess I have to go in here to do the thing. Don't be a star the biblioteca. Fuck this it. stream. Yeah, man. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Stop. <laughs> You're standing in the way of progress, son. <laughs> <laughs> the Mantis Bill. <laughs> you know, I think we should change to Thick Boy. Uh-oh, is it time to have it your way? Oh, I was thinking real Thick Boy. Oh, Girthquake. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I am Boys King. Where you at, bitch? <laughs> You're grounded. <laughs> Get it, because lightning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to switch. Until we get to level up the other guy. Oh, you're going to show me what the black knife does now? Oh, dude. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll show you what black knife does. Yeah, yeah, watch. That move? Watch his health bar. Oh, I guess he missed or something? Oh, dude's agile enough. Dude, he's crazy agile. What? <laughs> oh, the tree blocked that one. So, see his health just... It's a percent health. What? It's <laughs> fucked up. This guy's so fucked up. Ow. Oh, damn, dude. And this is on new play. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he'd have been trashed by now. Oh, I lost my mouse. Wow, he does a fuckload more damage now. Oh, he just dodged that one. <laughs> Mac the knife is putting in work, boy. Ow. <laughs> he just drinks through that bitch. I got too much poise. Dude, my my poise <laughs> is fucking insane on this in this armor. What are you like a buck fifty now? Uh it's gotta be like one oh five, but my catch that thinks he's doing decent with his little pitiful 33. <laughs> but just watching I'm that get bar you. bleed down is just stupid beyond compare. Uh, what is it at? 105. Oh, I need to take this shit off. I don't want to take more damage. 
The boys are back in town. What does this do? Braces defense. Crits restore hit points. Uh, fuck it, whatever. I don't care. Did you ever get the other one that restores uh, spell points? Well, yes. You won't need it on this, but I want to run those two together. Rest. Oh, no. This bitch better not be talking to me. Yeah, the chain attack one. I think that's more. You can pair that one with the twin blade, too. Add that talisman where consecutive hits give you more damage. Where the fuck is that? For the most part, unless I would. Come over here, would you? <laughs> he asked for it. You asked me to come over here, you stupid ass bitch. <laughs> Mama told you not to talk to strangers. Yeah. I don't fuck with you. <laughs> Bloody. What you doing? Attack the fruit cut. Attack the fruit cake. Attack the fruit cut. You have wing sword talisman. Cool. I'll check it out. Die bird. I have wing sword talisman. I do. How you doing, bloody lemons? I have the two butthole talismans. Oh, I gotta tell you, we gotta hijack bloody lemons next time we play DVD. You wanna talk about a pro? Chef's kiss. But I wanna bring a ringer in and just kill all you guys in like two seconds. And rotten winged sword? I don't think I've got rotten winged sword. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Still water cave and learning the lake. All right. I'm going to kill this butthole real quick because I need to get the spirit lady. <laughs> no. Can I get through this without blowing up? Nope. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's some badass TNT. So the they scale uh, <laughs> all damage. Uh, apparently the uh, the explosive barrels are extra explosive now. Oof. Bloody shit! I need to carry some of those to Melania's lair. You're, you're never coming back because you're never leaving. I do love roasted onions. That's true. Ooh, it, true. This, kids, is what nitroglycerin does. <laughs> no, you can't equip multiple of the same talismans. So that is like an instant instant kill now. That should have brought down the castle. I mean, let's be fair. <laughs> Get out of the way. I'm on mobile, bloody. Otherwise, i give you the hugs. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that red barrel does. Yeah. Nothing Should to see here. I knew what it did. I thought I could tank through it. I was fucking wrong. Hey, you could tank through to the grave. I, I was mean, wrong, no, wrong. Technically, you you were right. You just had the destination wrong. <laughs> Get to the crapper. Climb, climb, climb. <laughs> Don't look up at my onion skirt. <laughs> He's just trying to see beneath the layers. No, I, I do want to watch everything everywhere all the time. I just haven't had a whole lot of time to do anything else. Um, yeah, have but you guys I've seen I, all the reviews that yeah, have been coming out? I'm going to watch it soon, though. Oh, let's see if I can run through this gauntlet. Oh, murder birds. I fucking hate <laughs> This is the 
This one is not as bad as the one in, uh... Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa! All right, so they ramped those fuckers up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have, like, several thousand hit points. <laughs> oh, the fucking birds. <laughs> I'm like, I can, I can run through this, no problem. Mm -mm. Until you hit the Michael Bay part. Explosions! The birds kill each other, which is kind of fun. Eagles with katanas. Samurai queen. Konnichiwa. Surprise mo- Oh. Ow. Oh, the two night calves? Oh, man. But you do get good weapons from them. I wish they gave more runes considering all the trouble they cause you. The thing's down here, right? Yeah. Do you fight them on Torrent or do you fight them on foot, Sacabra? Oh, was that a. Ah, the armor shed. Okay. Yeah, but I'd rather have more runes. As as an astrologer, I can only wear so much armor before I'm like, <gasps> I'm trying to lean on my staff to roll. Ow, stop it, butthole. Ain't nobody want to fight you. Birds with double course pilots. <laughs> <laughs> what about like four birds that are airlifting in a rune bear? That are just like, oh, God. Ah, what the <laughs> fuck? No, but I did see my boy do a double giant flick fingy playthrough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, why do you have two fingers? Well, I can always engorge the one. <laughs> yeah. And then he comes up with the other. I was like, that was silly. That was fun to watch. He fingered all the buttholes. Fingered all the buttholes. Rufus. Jesus Christ, bird! I'm gonna die to just fucking birds. You're the best boy, Lo. That was my original playthrough, so when I got used to them, I didn't know, you know, versions 2.0 spit freaking fire at you. Yeah. So I ran up on them like, hi, chop, and he goes, fry. Okay. Force of habit. Someday there will be use for these things. <laughs> it is not today, but say, someday. You, you've got 45 of your shit smacked out. I want more. Kill the warrior. Damn. Panda's bloodthirsty today, huh? They should call you Mr. Deadly Panda. You used to be a nice guy. What happened? Mm -hmm. what, was it Fist your Panda owes me 56 bucks. No, was it was it the bull run where they pissed you off? <laughs> eight? No. Seven. I don't think there's an eight. Is there an eight? Well, seven's the highest difficulty. After that, it doesn't scale oh. anymore. They're just like... No, I don't want to well, summon the horse. That's if it follows the same From Software playbook. Oh, Do you see that man, fucking sweet, damage? Sweet Do you see that fuck? I'm just gonna stand what here and watch. The shit. <laughs> he's. <laughs> oh, he's actually he's getting his ass kicked now. <laughs> well, this is several incarnations later. Ow. Yeah, they. Really fucked up the damage. Well, that's the thing, Necro. I know it is through the Dark Souls games, but I didn't know if it was the same in this. <laughs> yeah, before he even gets to chop the <laughs> I'm arm off, kill he's, you in the he's fucking dead cut in phase scene. one. <laughs> Hit him with the thing. Give him the boomerang of justice. No, don't run into the fire, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Teague, do the thing. Teague, Teague, do the thing. Do the thing. Yeah, do the thing. Look at that. Yeah, that health, that percent health is so fucked up. And it's still go. And he's doing yes! it again. Oh, my Lanta. You 
may have fire, but we have family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I saw that cheesy little hill you pulled. Oh, shit. I almost died. I need to stop fucking around. Well, <laughs> Teague's like, T, I got, I got this. this. You stand back. <laughs> oh, dude. If you, he didn't jump over that when he was toast. If you don't have a black knife, T, uh, sugar mama, you need to get yourself one. She takes care of you. I was to say, hey, get, get an ash that looks at you. <laughs> yeah. No, no, do the thing. Oh, come on. Come on, girl. Oof. Oof, that looked like it hurt. Oof. Yeah, you got stun lock here. The real MVP. <laughs> I know, right? He's like, Pika! <laughs> Teak equals Giga Chad. <laughs> I like the lore for Godric. He's just like this giant bitch. Hi, <laughs> Godric, for like the eighth time. Yeah, dick punches? Hell yeah! <laughs> Can you think of a more painful yeah. way to go? I'd rather not. He's a eunuch. That's bad enough. The ungrafted. Sorry, Godric. Check your scrody at the door. <laughs> I want to be. Ah! I want to be a god. I'm going to cut all these people up and <laughs> attach them to me, and I'll be more powerful. Nope. False. <laughs> Yeah, everyone talks shit about Gadget because he deserves. He deserves it. He should get shit talk because he sucks. I gotta, oh, I, go back. I gotta go back to Jarberg. Hey, cuz. I'm like, what the fuck is this? The little jar? I get to kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> well, an evil playthrough, I'm killing every NPC. Oh, I killed. Fuck the first time line. I saw Alexander, I killed his ass. He's like, let me out. I was like, mmm. I don't know. Bam! I kicked his ass and he gave me a cool talisman. And then the last time, the other times I let him live. He's a, he's a good guy, but he gives you a good talisman. Kill him. He gives you a talisman that makes all of your uh, weapon abilities do more damage. I didn't kill the fucking Pope Turtle oh, or anything. Alex on Alex cry? Oh, th there can be only one, and I was a superior <laughs> one. You know who didn't crack like a bitch in Radon? It was one hit, and I ran away like yeah. a coward. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we don't do cowards here. Trust me, those guys will not be filling you up. Cowards can't <laughs> block warriors, and that's a funny magic joke. If you you know you don't play magic together, you don't know how funny that joke. Here's one red mana. Yeah, you're a coward. <laughs> Stillwater Cave is to my right. For what? Where are you trying to send me? I can't open my map because this game is a piece of shit. <laughs> AKA he's in combat. <laughs> Mainless ass bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Oh wait, what am I doing? I said you were starting Kit Kats first, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah, about yeah. Where's the water I'm cave? The there? Subscribe, bitches. Is this the water cave? Still water. Oh my god, fancy band, you gotta be way more specific than this. Every time I hear still water, I keep thinking of almost famous. Which oh. is a great movie ah. the first time you see it. Shrimps. Murder shrimps! Yeah! Sniper shrimps! Did you kill the shrimp that turns into a revenue? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you get a larval tier from him, you have to. Mm -hmm. I found out the hard way about him and the skeleton that turns into a room bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, I get to kill the convoy, get the sword out the back, get the great axe, and then I get to come over here and kill all these. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> I have one flask left. But guess what? I got five rock slings out that bitch. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you. You make the best of everything work. <laughs> You eat a cat, cat like a madman. He came at me from the side, sir. <laughs> that's the that's the only way to eat a Kit Kat. Come on now, chat knows this. Never went over here. <laughs> that's how the gatekeepers eat Kit Kats. <laughs> Not today, Satan. <laughs> uh 
Oh, you know. Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh, you decided to go the long route. <laughs> oh, I'm getting poisoned. Big time. I'm running through this like I'm invincible, but these guys do a fucking billion damage <laughs> for no reason. So, like, I should not be doing this because I'm going to end up dying to trash. At least those aren't the one that summon, like, the swarm of magic missiles and shit. Oh, yeah. I'd rather deal with the poison babies. Because poison, even in this game, kills you so I slowly. I use Garden but that's how I found out what, um, what's this? What, what Ganesh's armor does. Ooh, grease. Do love me some grease. <laughs> Keeps my hair slicked back like Pat Riley. <laughs> I've already beaten a million of these. Yeah, but never went poison. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stun lock, bitch. Get fucking wrecked. <laughs> I really need to be sorting by. Or I should have taken at least looked at what it looked like. Sort by acquisition. There we go. Return to entrance, yeah. We got some weird birthing bitch go murder real quick. I want to rebirth you. It's like, ugh, girl, I'm not into that kind of kinky shit. <laughs> Wrong kind of magic you're talking about, yeah. lady. Uh, yes, I've beat the game seven times. <laughs> With almost every single build possible. But I have to get all the unique weapons to get the platinum trophy, yeah? Yes, you have to get every legendary weapon. Not unique, but legendary. Ah, okay. Have I beat Melania twice? Once on stream, once off stream. Is this the Dung Eater? No, this is Poise Boy McGurth. This is Fister <laughs> Mantastic. You get all the way up inside them. Ah, uh, sniper shrimp. <laughs> and the wrecked them. And then you wreck them. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was that the one I need? Where am I? Can you let me open my map, please, you stupid fucking game? No, you're in combat. Fight oh, my out. God. I fucking hate... I, it, seriously, <laughs> it's like the worst part about this game. Is oh, the Burger King run was the true... Not to be mean or anything. You beat these seven times, you're missing a lot. Yeah, I know. I, I platinum the game. Um... Uh, and I also didn't, like, look up a guide. I tried to do it, you know, like the way that we used to play video games where you just play and enjoy. You know, pre-internet. We yeah. didn't have to say, oh, go here for 200,000 rooms a minute. There's a ton of stuff to miss. I explored as much as I could. I did almost every single boss. But, of course, naturally, I was going to miss stuff. And there were times I got to places and I didn't have any stone sword keys. And it's just... Which is why after 337 hours, I'm 60% through the game, I think... I've killed three three demigods out of the five, and that's how I measure my my progress. Have no idea because I've taken out so many optional bosses. I've taken out the magic stag and the demon kin, who for the first half I didn't know just sits there and lets you wail on him. Well, he does little attacks, but oh, I know. Did when you he goes to second two, I kept trying to swing at his guts, only to realize there was nothing there. I was like, "Why the hell am I whiffing?" Oh, that's why it's all hollowed out. So you come around to the yeah. side and start hitting him in the ankle, like. Did you fight him once or twice? Twice. The second time is so fucking sad. It's just like, ugh. Yeah, the uh, second time the dude just melted. The first time I was like, because I thought since I couldn't hit him there, when he yeah. does that belly flop, I could hide under there. Wrong. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, there's something there. <laughs> when it comes to damaging you, there's something there. When it comes to hitting him, nope. You're hitting all in between my bandages where there's nothing there. I'm like, bitch. But I'm going around and I'm picking up every mine, every shrine, every church that I can find. And that's, oh, yeah. that's why I've got, I just, there's a couple more places in Kalid I have to do. And then I have all of Kalid explored. I've got both sides of Moernia explored. 
and around the academy. I found the ash that gives you the hoarfrost stomp, so you don't have to use it on the axe. Mm -hmm. I've got it on my sword now. The fact that there's an important mixture, I, I've never used that mixture to beat Moog. You can, and I've beaten him seven times. Like, you don't need it. There's a lot of things in this game that you can do to make it easier. Um, and then you can just kind of like, you know, I, I hate, but get good. And then you don't have the to. Horse fro the horse frost stomp. Oh, man, that ash is so good. And I can see why they, um, they buffed the axe now. Because I saw someone kill the Godspan duo just sitting there spamming the stomp. And I was like, they're stuck on the other side of the pillar and can't even hit you. <laughs> like, that's so stupid. But I can't say shit. I went and talked to the Turtle Pope yesterday. It rested at the uh, at the side of Grace. Mm -hmm. And out comes the ball bearing hunter. Oh, so he yeah. tries running at me. So I just said, okay, I'm a caster. This is my uh, hound tooth guy, so I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. So I jumped on Torrent, rode around the cemetery, and the fucker got stuck chasing me running in between two uh, tombstones. <laughs> so I was like... Look at what Loretta told me. Yeah. <laughs> like, eight or nine bows shots later, he's toast. And I'm like, oh, that was stupid easy. <laughs> I didn't mean to cheese him, chat, but, hey. I, he was like, step, bro, I'm stuck. I was yeah. like, oh, <laughs> spoiler alert, <Bro, laughs> we know what happens yeah. next. <laughs> What's good, Minecraft? That's nasty. Oh, what I did to um, him was kind of nasty, but he was asking for it. Can I... I Cheesed his ass so hard you could have called me Limburger because that was stinky. For you. <laughs> nope, it's mine. Well, Zen, you can say the same thing about Moon Veil because the actual unveil is... um, Well, the unsheath is slower now. I don't think they nerfed the damage on it, just the reaction time. I think it takes like an extra half second now to get off, which in this game can mean a lot. This is the immersive way to play. You guys like it? <laughs> this is how this is like real. If you if your streamers aren't take, aren't t doing it like you're that, you're not fully immersive. Take your drama, me. You fucking get out of here. You're doing oh, it wrong. What, what was that? What was that movie? Hardcore Henry or whatever yeah. it was. <laughs> we're filming everything in first person because we're stupid. <laughs> Not about to cheese the hunter. What hunter and Caleb? Which one? The fighters just scaled into oblivion. Wait, the three, the three ones in front of the big jar. Oh, they made me cheese them. <clears throat> I ran off to the cliff and then realized, oh, there's a force field that locks you into this fight. So the guy did a knockback, and I thought I was gonna die. So I was like, shit, all right, let me get ready. And I pressed my button by mistake and crouched. So he does the leaping attack and goes flying over the edge. <laughs> so I'm like. Oh, don't tell me. So I go over and summon the next one, and it's the spellcaster. Hit you with a spell. Hit you with a spell. I duck behind a cliff. I walk up on you and, meh. I'm like, holy shit. Mm. I have to sleep here, right? And the lady will talk to me. No, oh, lady, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> We're just going to skip past Just send me, send me to the place I need to go. You No, know, no. Oh. I don't want. I told you. I killed her. Shit. And she's still hanging around. Can Ball I go, Hunter? Well, yeah, that's that's another one. He's, I think he's scaled down. He's not as tough as the one that's over there by the turtle pope, though. The one by the turtle pope is mean. I'm only like level two hundred something. Yeah, but I was level twelve when I got to him. Oh yeah, no, but they're asking <laughs> what level I am because like some people oh. get to like level seven hundred. It's like fucking why. It's like, yeah, it's like, I'm level 713, I'm 99 in every stat. So you so, stopped scaling a long time ago. Who gives and, a shit? And how does this get fun? And you wasted three hours doing what? Click. Not hundreds back to the of hours. Click. Yeah. So I wasted hundreds. Well, I haven't wasted. I spent hundreds of hours, but I can tell you where damn near everything is through the first 45% of this game almost without fail. I don't have it memorized, but I'm picking up everything there is to get. The only thing I haven't found yet are, because I didn't know there was an area that had two hidden floors. Until I was fighting things through him. Like over where um where you fight the dragon and he runs away, half runs Oh, half yeah, 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 yeah. Like those wolves came from the tower. And I saw one of the skeleton guys just sitting there quivering. I was like, wait a minute. You're supposed to be, you know, chucking spells at me and running away. So I did the big slash, which revealed the floor by him. And that's when I found Sylvia's little fucking playroom. I was like, this dude's a fucking pervert. 
and I didn't know in the next building over there's another hidden floor. Sorry, chat, spoilers. But I'm wasting so much time so walking through hitting every wall I see. And I'm still convinced there's a mimic in this game other than the ash. So I'm hitting every <laughs> chest before I get fucking teleported someplace again. Let's go to 50 into 68. Well, if you're playing an astrologer, at least get your intelligence to 70 if you want to cast that I want to throw a moon at you spell. If you want to play Thanos... That way you can use the Tony Stark line. You throw another moon at me, me. <laughs> and I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> Comet Azure is just, oh, God. You go Comet, Comet. You. I'm glad they nerfed it. Um, but it's not enough. I can still kill still the, the sleeping powerful. giant with it. But at level 15, I can cheese the guy outside of the um, the Beast Caller Shrine, the huge uh, Kefnet Scarab-looking dude. I've learned how I can kill him now. <laughs> Kristoff or? Well, we haven't seen Kristoff in action yet, have we? Was it Kristoff the person that, I think it was Kristoff is the one that was like, you got to try Kristoff, it's the best. That's that's what they were asking about, but I don't know. Oleg and Ingval will always have a special place in my heart because Ingval you pick up before Oleg and Ingval is so much more. Whereas Oleg is tanky and does great with the twin claymores. Ingval comes in with the halberd and continuously does like this, the little storm thing that knocks him back, breaks poise, and always does a leap attack with that halberd. Mm -hmm. He goes absolutely ape shit. I've got him up to like plus five or plus seven now, and he's my boy's doing work. <laughs> he instantly goes, "No, nah, bitch, I got aggro. Mm -hmm. Sit down." I'm like, "Okay, daddy." Kristoff <laughs> is basic. What do you mean, like UGG boots, live, laugh, love type shit? <laughs> Dude, uh, knives for hands is so fun. I love that I'm just wearing somebody's boots as, like, weapons on my hands. Just Beat the game under. Bro leg. Did you say cover? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and there was much rejoicing. Hi, Ja. What, have it, headless Luthor? <laughs> I'm a big kid now. Yeah, pull on them pull-ups. <laughs> Peg leg as a weapon. I don't know, quality builds. If you put something that scales with dex and strength, it's, it's going to be busted. That's why I wanted to try Night and Flame, because if you put all those, all those points into different stats, you deserve something that's going to be, you know, super fun to play. I still haven't seen it in action, but I was told both of them have, I mean, both modes. There's a, like, a super fire attack and a super night attack that are really good. So I kind of want to try for shits and giggle. I'll probably save that for, like, a new game plus, plus, plus run when I naturally have the stats. Mm. Do, do, do. But for fight some big stupid dog that I don't want to fight. <laughs> But from what I've seen, there's not too many of the incantations that oh, that appeal to me. And I really want to do the uh, Dragonborn run, but I haven't seen any of the dragon spells except the one that gives them the rot that looked any kind of fun. The rot ones, uh, there's a lot of... The, the dragon ones look so cool, but they're not I was saying, but as good. far as efficiency yeah, for what you're spending to get them, I was like, nah, I'd have to pass on that. But someone told me they killed Redan just doing two rot breaths on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, that's against a major boss. It's a good way to judge how well a weapon is. But that one, you also have, like, nine dudes tanking for you, and yeah. he's not murdering not you like while you're you wind up. you there for five seconds going, you know, this is going to hurt. If you start casting in January and you don't get it off until May, maybe you need your ass kicked. Yes, there's a secret wall. And once you give him his key, you can go back and get that thing off his corpse. Let people enjoy shit. Yeah, there's also <laughs> a secret wall back there. I don't and you can go up the ladder, go back there, and it. get the other stuff. But he's not a caster. New All right. Sh plus seven. Show me your thing, Kristoff. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Ow. Oh, still hasn't taken aggro yet. Kristoff, what are you doing? Okay. 
Now is your time to shine. Do the thing. Hmm. Oh, we got him cornered. We're good. What are you, why are you standing there? Oh, he, oh, just, he called the lightning strike. <laughs> you like the roses? <laughs> roses? Yeah, roses are nice. You ever get roses on your piano? I prefer tulips on my organ. Hey, I'm hmm? the happiest gardener I know. <laughs> Seems like only yesterday I was out planting tulips. <laughs> What about a pansy? Don't talk about OJ when he's not here to defend himself. <laughs> Kristoff, do the thing. I'm letting you have the kill. Go, go get the asshole dog. Hey, you yeah. came in with a spear thrust? You didn't ah. even finish him with lightning? Come on, man. I don't know. Edge, black knife. <laughs> yeah. And at later levels, one backstab through the fog wall. Oh, kills you, kills you, yeah. <laughs> like, literally means death. <laughs> PG-12. Oh, no, wait till we drink. Shit gets much worse. Yeah. <laughs> Rolls is still smell like boo <laughs> Yes, yes, we did. It's like triple the amount of sites of grace as there are normally to bonfires in places. We did. I did a fingerprint. Um, oh, this guy hurts like a motherfucking late. Like. And he's rethinking some life choices now. I thought I had poise. You did. You used to. <laughs> What do you think he's running at? About 140 hertz? Ah. <laughs> I always summon Oleg in here because Oleg loves oh. infant side. He loves murdering children, <laughs> and this is the perfect place to murder children. And if you think you're going to cast something, Oleg says, think again. <laughs> All right, Oleg, we got children's to murders. You're up. Do your thing. Yeah. Just listen to that sound. He's just going to run through the room and murder children. Oh. oh don't, don't, don't put it on there. That might be TOS. <laughs> I think that constitutes a hate crime. <laughs> He's just running around the room murdering all these younglings. Master Skywalker, they're here. Arr! Jesus. <laughs> Oleg's just still over there murdering kids for no reason. Just like, oh my god. Oh, even the young, especially the young ones. He's like, yeah, sit there and keep casting that. <laughs> I have something for you. <laughs> Holy Whoa. shit, that does some damage Whoa. now. All right. I was disrespecting her a lot. Uh, and now back to the count. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Oleg is just yeah. straight up fucking rude. Yeah. <laughs> Oleg's not into the mommy kink. He's just like, no. You don't understand. Yeah. Boss says you got to die. That's yeah. so nasty. Yeah, he's just there because Oleg summoned him and says, here's what you're supposed to yeah. do. <laughs> Say, put away your fucking hook hands, get you a couple claymores, and go to work. These, uh, there's a <laughs> dude, there's an asshole named Captain Nile. 
Um, he was one of the hardest fights in the game for me my first playthrough because I was a sorcerer and I didn't have a uh, comet. Uh, it was fucked up. I forgot I need to go get Godric's rune. I forgot I had to go do that. Oh, you have to reacquire them? Yeah, every time you beat the game, you have to reacquire your fucking runes. It's kind of lame. Oh, so Sights of Grace. But it keeps your map up. Yeah. Um, I okay. think I do it from here. I, I you take the yeah, you no, take the guy's the peg, peg leg <laughs> and then you put it on your fist and then I'm seriously wearing this dude's peg legs bladed peg legs. <laughs> oh, what was that? The Kingsman. Oh yeah. <laughs> she was pretty badass with those things though. Yeah, the boss is in the Winter Castle. He summons an Oleg right, and he summons a Kristoff. Hope you get something back this year. I hate this section. Like, I specifically fucking hate this section. Oh, he summons two Olegs with him? He summons one Oleg, one Kristoff. Oh, God. These fuckers with aimbot and exploding arrows. Yeah. It's like, why? Who thought this was going to be fun? No, no, no. Now, do you kill Demon Kid or you just run past him to the graves? Oh, like. Dude, I killed. I killed Godric, and it seriously took me another week and a half to realize I had to go someplace to activate his room because I came over here way later. Because I had no idea I, was, I got lost in the castle. I'm like, what the hell is this shit? I haven't seen this before. What? Where the fuck did you come from? Oh my god! There's so many! Well, Oleg is changing that. Yeah. Because <laughs> Oleg just gives no fucks. <laughs> okay, DeFuzzy, so it wasn't even me. <laughs> like I said, because I had killed this guy, I'm thinking, okay, I finally downed my first demigod. How, how, how do I get invincible? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I guess I fucking don't. Wait, seriously, I've never seen this many. Did they follow me the whole way down? No, I think one blew the horn and they all came off their little ballista over there. Oh, I've never aggroed all of them before. I've never come rolling down, you know, Murder's Alley before. Oh. <laughs> I usually come from the other way. <laughs> Will you fucking stop? Oleg just doesn't give any fucks. Oleg's the best. He's, like, he's probably not the best, but he's the best. Like I said, out of the earlier summons... But what you have to go through to get to Oleg, like I said, I was in that fight for like two and a half hours. Granted, I was level 21. <laughs> Anytime that worm breathed on oh, me, Oh, that died. worm fight sucks. <laughs> but I was not going to go away. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. If I can do a soul level one run, I can figure this bitch out. So once you figure out his set moves and know when to dodge the tail slash, when he's doing the double claw and versus the double stomp, once you figure out his movesets, the only thing you have to do that's really random is when he gets pissed and explodes and go into phase two mm -hmm. and when he's wounded in phase two when he tries to explode again once you figure all that out i was like why was i ever scared of this bitch so i go there again and he swallows me the first yeah. attack i'm like oh that's why i'm scared of this bitch because i got all penisy <laughs> i said breathe to get don't get cocky <laughs> the uh the key is his armpits if you hide under his armpits he has a harder time hitting you with those attacks yeah when oleg shows up it becomes his game what you got me on the backhand. I'm just there for views and likes. <laughs> gotta stop oh, Tish is uh, Tish like is Bay. Oleg's bro, but Tish is Bay. Like Tish is the sugar mama. But see, that means I might be scared to fight Tish. If Tish is that fucking punishing. Jesus. Can I teleport, please? Can I? Thank you. Why your Why your face bloody, dude? You gotta stop scratching that shit. Yeah, come and get you some lovings. You a good loaf. Who is Tish? The Black Knight. She's a uh, a big assassin lady. And she is like the bane of bosses. <laughs> she God. does percent health damage. That that hit though. 
That's sick. The mimic's pretty good. Depends on what your uh, your main is. Rolo's pretty good too. Oh I got Rolo <laughs> on my other playthrough. I have Rolo and. <laughs> But no, there's no such thing as other playthroughs, because all the people in chat, they're like, oh, he never did this. It's like, I did that on my other playthrough. You know, the other save file, no, oh, it doesn't count. But, but like, if you oh. don't do 100% every time. On uh, each are, character. Are, are you are you even are you even ringing? I guess not. Is uh, it even ringing, Loaf? So I have to run to here and here. Man, I got to fucking run. That's so fucking far. Is he even ringing over? Yeah, so Rolo is not on this account. Rolo also oh. takes an insane amount of FP, if I remember right. I got Rufus kiss. Are people that bad during these streams? Yeah, people were just like, oh, you're missing all the talismans for this thing. It's like, well, my dagger build has all the dagger and talismans, because that's the dagger build. Well, well, let me put it this way. And it's been true before, and it's been mm. even more true the last month. This game has been out maybe just a month. Not even. Well, a little over. If you count, like, the pre-release and everything came out, what, February? The end of February? I have never seen anywhere yeah. on Twitch a more backseated series than the Soulsborne series. Please do not have blind or first playthrough <laughs> in your title. People will come in there and try and tell you shit anyway. People will come in there, oh, we need to do this. If you're using the shield, you're cheesing it. If you're healing, you're cheesing it. Use anything more than fist and the loincloth, you're cheesing it. I'm like... Then call me Velveeta, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. No one has Velveeta's shit. Velveeta's not real cheese, Ray. You know what? Processed cheese food contains what sacred word? Mm -hmm. Cheese-like cheese, uh. cheese -like product. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, we, I especially with the no back seating tag. People will when log in see, When you see no back seating, first playthrough. They don't care. Oh, this is my chance to go in there and show what I know. Blah, blah, blah. And meanwhile, if you run across that same name when you invade someone and you liquefy them in two seconds, you want to see the salt that flows? Oh, my God. People don't even – people – like, seriously, when you play a game, they go, what game is this? It's, like, literally in the title and literally in the description. We put it under you there. You don't – people don't read anything. Ooh, I hear a bitch. Oh, wait, that's not – that's – uh, we passed Alexander. He's on way farther north. I already did Kenneth. <laughs> Tried fight. to sell you rooms. <laughs> well, Princess, that's that's the funny part. If I open up my stats or if I quit the game and then pull up one of my other characters that's much farther along, that's actually specced because I'm going back playing my first character, picking up everything that I missed because I know I can respect now. But when I go there with my second playthrough, I say, look, this guy is optimized for spellcasting. This guy is optimized for strength and deck, so he's a quality build. But if I get any other weapon that fits in any of those categories, he's still going to obliterate you with it. But this is his main build. I just like trying shit out because when I start a no run or no level playthrough, I can still level my gear. But I want to go through a room level one. I mean, this is a terrible build. I'm using, like, awful armor that's way too heavy. These weapons aren't any good. But it's fun. It's for funs. Like, I found a way to kill Fuck this that guy. guy. No, I, I fucked him up, and that's when I found out at level 12, 88,000 runes sits real fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> it fits real good in my pocket. <laughs> I've done some PvP. I don't think PvP is balanced or fun. Like, every there's always, like, some fucking broken shit. Where they're like, I'm using this thing that reflects the damage back onto my shield and instant kills you, or I put you to sleep, or I use rivers of blood. And it's like, ah, it can be fun, but most of the time it's not. Oh, I'm just going to spam Quartz Piler. <laughs> Oops. Pretty much. <laughs> The only reason I go PvP in this 
And it was funny the first time I did it because I had to use those five fingers that the guy gave me for the quest, right? Aha! Wow, that did a lot of damage for one attack. Black Knight Burger King. <laughs> I am the Burger King. I'm the Burger King, and I was the Double Whopper Burger King. Ace Con, you would be correct. Unfortunately, not everyone was hugged enough as a child, so some people have a skewed view of the world it, and think their only existence is to provide an outlet for other people to shit on by trying to shit on them. It's either hug too much or, or hug too little or hug too much. Because huh. there's some fucking other weirdos out there. Mm. What do you mean out there? Uh, favorite spear <laughs> and shield. Uh, I did uh, thumbprint sh shield and Moog spear for like insane bleed. Uh, it was dumb. <laughs> Where's that bridge with the dragon? You can get teleported there, like, super early. <laughs> oh, you tried that one, Sagabra? Yeah, the thumbprint shield has 169 bleed. You poke at the sky and they melt. It's fucking dumb. <laughs> is that the madness build, or, or is that just, like, straight lightning, or is it, like, faith power? Which one? The shield? The thumbprint shield is... 100... Oh, when you ha when I have my arcane, actually, because I have zero nine arcane. Normally, it's one hundred and sixty nine um, blood loss. So with zero arcane, and it's still one twenty one madness. Yeah, and with arcane, it scales like crazy. Oh, oh. See, I haven't done Bogey. I've got this little thing that I got from completing the quest, so I guess I can get to him earlier. But if he's a late game boss, I'm probably gonna wait to do him. But then again, you'll know when I do it because when you log into when you log into Steam, it'll say, "Hey, look, Ellinger completed this this achievement." Keep pushing it back and poke him a bit. Did you pop our cherry? No, nah, I just pushed it back. And <laughs> it. <laughs> I did push that bitch up against the wall. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Usually, people say, "Let me in." He's like, "Let me in." Come out. <laughs> yeah. Microtransactions. Of course there is. Well, it's just player to player. Yeah, you just... Anyone want to buy my in? runes? <laughs> Dude, I got millions of runes I'll sell you. Should I go back and kill that sleeping dragon for like a billion D runes right now? Should I go back and kill that dragon for a billion D runes? The ads you got... Did I forget to flag the thing? No, I didn't. Oh, no. Let me check that out, Panda. How many runes do you think it's going to give me? I don't know if I have any. Oh, I do have some. What do you think, Ray? Uh, you have one of the gold. Uh, I have the pickle, the, the pickle things. I'll put it on. Well, that's, dead. that's another 96. <laughs> oh, oh, God. This is a new game. Whatever. It's probably like a million on his own. <laughs> oh, Panda. No. 30% off. And you didn't jump on that? <laughs> Do I have a, a different weapon I can use? No, it doesn't work. Can I use Moogs? Does bleed work? Oh shit, Alias finally got a PS5. With disc. I wouldn't be surprised if they made this dragon immune to bleed. Chainsaw? Yeah, chainsaw's probably better. Or did I give my chainsaw away? Someone asked me for it. <laughs> beats cutter, beats cutter. Big lose is on point. Oh, that's 
hey, they knew how popular this game was most likely going to be, and they're just trying to cash in while the flame's still hot. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Butcher Man. Cut me up a pound. <laughs> okay, lady. Here's some shank. Here's some loin. <laughs> No, this is an event. I, it's crazy to me that no one else did the event. This is a this is a dragon raid boss. You go to his face and you fight a bunch of uh, dragons. What's up, medieval? Man, this takes fucking forever. This is the one for Jackie Lumber. For Lumberjacky Chan. Oh, Lumberjacky Chan. Man, that, that character's <laughs> terrible. Because I try to do all axes, and you can't do strength and axes. You just have to do dex, and then you end up just like doing a normal dex run. Yep. Can't forget to eat my pickled... <laughs> Yes, but why kill five when you can kill one, especially when the one doesn't fight back? <laughs> where's, where's the fun in that? Doesn't take that long. I mean, he's probably going to give me... I don't know how much he's going to give me. I'll we'll keep an eye on it, though. So I'm at 69. Nice. Up oh, there it goes. 69.80.16. That's not very much at all. No, 191. That was terrible. Not worth. Uh, all right, where am I? Now, trust me, at New Game, you want that shit. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, we will go back. We got to run down and get this one. We'll run up to the lift of Dectus. <laughs> and then you get to ask him, how's your dictate? Yeah. <laughs> you get some round two up in you. Sick. Oh, you ate a head on, didn't you? Blasphemy. Oh, rather than sideways? Yeah. Can we get some heresies in chat for this sacrilege? Oh, mine's coming apart. I can Still go to the uh, Blood God area eventually. I'd have to, like, invade five people, and that takes fucking forever. I just got to the point where I would invade people and then just jump off a cliff. Can I go this way? I might throw a knives only 10 percent off. I crafted them myself. <laughs> Eight foot snowdrift. That's crazy. We were worried over here because there was uh, there was a tornado um warning just north of Georgetown and I was coming yeah, it's back about, it was 15 minutes from me in Florence I was just coming down from from OJ's place and oh. I had to drive within 15 minutes of the area and they had completely shut down 35 um up up that direction they're like yep the tornado or the storm and the tornado took down it's like okay great Oh, it knocked me off tour at mid-jump, Fancy Panda. I was like, fuck this place. Everything must die now. <laughs> you hurt my horse. You got to go. You're going to watch right down south of St. Louis. Do you normally get tornadoes that way? We don't get tornadoes anywhere near down here. It's crazy. They're never this far south. So two within the last month was kind of free. Yeah, it's not. The one right down the street, destroying the Greek place I like to eat at. It's like, ugh. It hit that one? Yeah, it destroyed it. No! 
I don't know if they've reopened or what, but it like ripped all the windows out. That bank that was next to there, it was a Bank of America. It's a brick building. Ripped all of the bricks. Half the building was collapsed. It was crazy. Well, I'm glad the Hooter survived. <laughs> yeah, it's across the street. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that there's three restaurants like right there uh, because the Twin Peaks got destroyed. But yes, Hooties did survive. What up, Lou? No, oh, I got more Rufus kisses. Yeah, makeup debris. <laughs> yeah. No, someone just came through. I'm gonna make a withdrawal. <laughs> Yeah, but going to that grace that you just came in from and killing that guy at night gives you the night glaive. Yeah. Oh, my God. I think that's the strongest halberd in the game. Well, let's go. Let's out, of, out, of, out of the three or four that I've done, that I've, that I've gotten so far, that thing has crazy stats. But, again, it's a quality build, so it scales with dex and strength. So I, I can't use it. Okay, let's sleep till nighttime and fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> You're overdrafty? No, that that draft was way over. <laughs> I was like, I feel a bit of a draft. Half the bank is gone. That was a bit windy, isn't it? <laughs> in it. In it. In it, bruv. <laughs> oh, too spoiler? Sorry. Does it say in the title what new plus you're on? <gasps> Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Immersion! <laughs> Come here, bitch. I'm going to introduce you to my friend. He's a psycho. He's got two swords. <laughs> oh, I just heard him ring out, too. Oh! It seems no matter what level <laughs> you're at. Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh -oh, oh, what's uh -oh. wrong, bitch? You don't got a horse? God, that's the fuck out of here. Sick. Get out of here. Oh, Knight Rider. Oh, that bitch is so good. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> oh, night, night, bitch. <laughs> oh, you, you, you laid up against my leg. I love Ow. <laughs> Uh -oh. Well, punching uh -oh. someone from the horseback is always funny, but the crit that you get from doing it is just devastating. He dropped like a third of his hit points last time I knocked him off and went up and went, and then the blood procked on top of it, so he was pretty much toast. No, I never did the dung eater summon. I watched. I had a buddy use him. Um. Kill rider, spare the horse. <laughs> Impossible level challenge. <laughs> You can kill the rider and spare the horse. I mean, the horse despawns because it's magic and stuff. But mm -hmm. And then I kill him when he tries to summon another. I was like, yeah. <laughs> you're grounded. Blah, blah. What up, loaf? You good, bubblicious? AJ played Samurai. Dex. But Samurai starts out so well balanced. A, you've got a katana. B, you've already got a bow. C, your stats are insane because you're well positioned. I think Samurai and Vagabond start so well balanced between all their stats and their gear. Oops. Yeah, but watching Joe, of all games, to have this be his introduction to FromSoft, that, that was a good thing. Uh, OJ's not on his second playthrough. OJ's still on his first. The old reliable longsword. <laughs> Where you at, bitch? I haven't tried the Confessor yet because I haven't done a faith build yet. Ooh, this guy's way beefier. Wait, maybe he's not. That was a glancing blow. 
<laughs> Will you stop running away from me? Oh, Jesus. These guys' cheeks, their horse does the electric slide. <laughs> Just slide to the left. <laughs> slide to the right. I don't think Joe did Sekiro. I know he did. Uh, we played some on stream. I think he did Ghost of Tsushima all the way through. Ow. We definitely. Well, I know he didn't play through the completion because, damn, Kanichiro was a bitch in the tower. Torrent, you such a bitch. And why do you... The game's like, are you sure you want to use this thing? It's like, <laughs> how fucking dare you ask me? Are you sure you want to use this teleporter you just purposely clicked on? Yes, I want to use the teleporter I just purposely clicked on. Fucking game. No, stop auto-locking. Sekiro is awesome. Sekiro's hard as fuck. I, I like I like dungeon crawler games like that though. <sighs> I'm one of the few people I know who really like Mortal Shell too though, so Oh my god. Really that kills the horse? You need your bitches to help you? All right, now back to the main fight. You okay, Bubba? Oh, now do the crit on him. You do more damage just attacking him. Oh, I know. I just wanted to see what the crit from those guys looked like. Oh, never mind. There you go. Just, just, just go to sleep. Lullaby, lullaby. Oleg, help! Yeah, Oleg didn't want to help. He's being a bitch. Yeah, it's Commander Neil's uh, or Niles, Neil, whatever. If I could use a different mount, what would I ride? One of them shrimp things. Just ride <laughs> on its back while it's using aimbot to kill everything. It just yeah. you're sniping things from half the screen away. Or I'd ride one a rune bear. <gasps> oh. Or one of those T Rex blood dogs. No, just let me come flying in on that uh, lightning fire dragon that you meet on the Altus Plateau. Rolling Sick torch, on, bro. Roll in on that bitch like I'm the nameless king. <laughs> <laughs> you want to ride one of the crabs? <laughs> no, these crabs aren't as bad as the ones in Dark Souls 3. Oh, the... the the tibia ghost man. I'll be right back. I'm going to go save the game real quick. Twin sense. <laughs> I'm confident in my abilities, but I don't know if I'm like, let's not save the game before fighting two at once. Confident in my abilities. That freaked me out. I thought it was a glitch when I got there and saw two seats. Oh, I yeah. was like, um... That didn't just happen, did it? I'm gonna save just in case. <laughs> I took the fruit gut. I use kind of fruit this. I took the fruit gut. I'd like a fruit cup. I took the fruit gut. <laughs> Look at that fat kid. I took the fruit gut. <laughs> All right, bitch, let's go. <gasps> oh, got both of you with that shit. <laughs> Oh, fuck me up. All right, I guess I am not confident in my abilities. Holy shit. Well, you be confident all you like. The confidence Ow. may be misplaced. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Holy shit! Got me. 
Meanwhile, Tisha's <sighs> looking over her shoulder. Stop fucking around and kill him. Yeah. <laughs> I got this one. <laughs> I just lost a million souls. What was the first ending? I got, did the normal ending. Then I did the Ranny's ending. Then I did the uh, three-finger ending. Then I did the Dung Eater ending. And then, I mean, I've done all the endings. Every one of them. That's right, Flippy. I've got seven. I need one more. Because I don't do thumb rings. That's weird. I only need one more ring so I can have uh, eight. The loathsome dung eater. Oh, <laughs> K-Piv. Torrent sucks. Oh. Torrent is one of the worst mounts I've ever played in any video game. And I love this game, but Torrent fucking sucks. Need a toe ring? No. I was like, why? He's not a 14-year-old girl. <laughs> I don't care what he sounds like when he gets hit. <laughs> <laughs> Sad Torrent noises. Oh, Torrent is way worse than Roach. So I need to focus on this one. Damn. Ooh, <laughs> boy. One hit point in a dream, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I will survive. Maybe. <laughs> cool. They, they a little upset with you. Oh, I dodge one and then the second gets me. <laughs> you bitches. <laughs> yes, I want to use the thing that I just clicked on, you fucking piece of shit UI. But are you sure you want to use Oh, now you come with it? One died, right? Okay, good. Oh yeah, the other one he bled out. He hit with the attack, and I just saw the hit points. Holy point. shit! Oh, am I gonna die now? Oh, if, if only he could hit you with a torch. <laughs> oh shit! Did you wander out of? Yep. No, it's uh because you're fighting two bosses. Oh, when it still registers one boss down. I'm out of potions. Yeah. I use too many to summon up my fucking horse. Torrent sucks. <laughs> Uppercut with an axe definitely ruined my day. Definitely. I would roll out of the way right into here. Yeah. I would dodge one and the second one's like, fuck you. Oof, you right. Um. Oh, Hayden, what's up? So, allocate flash charges, probably only need three, uh, physic, what is this one? Damage I've only negation. seen one mod so far in this game. <laughs> Homer. <laughs> the one I showed you before on Twitter. Oh, the Homer one? Yeah, that one's great. There's like a bunch of really great mods. There's another one now where <laughs> the dragon is Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, that's exactly the Skyrim one, yeah. That's a that's an old Skyrim one. <laughs> yeah, fancy fan. <laughs> oh. Oh god, I don't even want to think about a nude mod in this game. Not unless you talk about Alex's Lady D uh, cosplay. <laughs> I don't know. I'd love to see a Randy Savage dragon in here. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 
Snap it to a sky rim. Yeah, Shrek coming in on Donkey. And then I saw the other one because he's home and running away from Shrek and Donkey. That was the first, that was the only mod I'd seen so far. And then later in that clip is when I saw Homer running through the swamp and then Thomas the Tank Engine came out as the dragon. <laughs> oh, it's too close for me to be fucking around. Fortunately, they Teesh. nailed him with the bleeder. Tish is clutch, man. Bleed Mommy saved the day. Now I'm kind of looking forward to get scared of when I get to Tish. Because <laughs> if you have to beat Tish, you have to be beat Tish to get Tish. Well, maybe Oleg will help me get Tish. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's the new definition of T pain. Yeah, spin some shit so I can feel a lot less uh, anxious. It's it, it's how much? It's five hundred twenty nine thousand to level up. <laughs> What? Yeah. So it's like sometimes you just have 500,000. It's like, I can't even level up. Oh. Rufus is all right. He's, I'm still having to carry him everywhere. What do we say to the god of death? Not today. Not ever. Fuck this. <laughs> it's like, come back next Tuesday. <laughs> Man, you, you fucking suck. Ain't nobody like you, gargoyles. Whoop, 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 whoop. Who's a good loaf? You a good loaf, that's right. More You're a seeds? punk ass bitch. See, I can't be seeing this. I didn't get this far. I went out to the side and fought the other um, ulcerated tree worm. <laughs> mm, oh, yeah, where he, he breaks up the. Uh... Hola, Lutini. It Venom, what's up? No, it's It Venom. <laughs> hey, if you can change your build, they can change your name. You ever figure out the lockpick problem for Weird West? Yeah, they. Uh, the problem is they didn't design that aspect of the game very well. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's them's the truths. If they're gonna pigeon you hole you into something, then I don't know. And then they're like, well, you don't actually have to murder the innocent family. It's like, okay, well, you have to make a decision in the game to either murder an innocent family or uh, use five lockpicks. But they don't tell you that you don't actually have to murder them. So you watch. You stand right here. And then, oh, he didn't kill any of the zombies. I was hoping the arrow would kill the zombies. Uh, this is my eighth playthrough, but it's not New Game 8, because I also had a, a Dagger playthrough on a different, completely new save file. Not all of my playthroughs were on this character. For all the people, like, you didn't get this! It's like, well, I probably did on my other character, you butthole. People have already asked about the Elden Ring review, like, right now, Jimmy. Fucking torrent dead. Yeah, you can't be calling me a Dark Souls vet, because uh, it's true. I mean, it's actually true, but if people are like, you're not a Dark Souls vet because you haven't beat it with a ham sandwich. I really like Dark Souls. I played almost every game that they've made. Can you fucking die, please? You're the worst. Oh man, if I had Donkey Kong Bongos, I would definitely never do that. 
Yeah. I need to walk back out. <laughs> Get the bananas, yeah. That was a weird thing to walk into. <laughs> Play Neo. Yeah, I played Neo one oh. and two. I don't consider <sighs> two I, is more of a DLC. I have a spicy opinion of Neo two, and people don't like it, but I'm fucking right. Um, so, I know Minecraft. I'll be like, mm. oh no, unicorn! You have no idea. <laughs> this is eighth run. We're trying fisting. We're seeing how viable fisting is. So far, pretty viable. Um, I think it has to do with the fact that I am so fucking thick. Though, that my fists have extra power. Yeah, he's signature. I've done randomizer runs. I've done every enemy's a boss runs. And it's it can be annoying. What people have what asked, is like, oh, like what, smithing stone, right? what fights do do I rate? I will say I don't have favorites. Oh, no. But my most memorable fight out of any Souls game, Ornstein and Smog. That... That was the gold standard by which I measured every boss because that was my first gatekeeper boss in the Souls game. If you can beat them, you can probably make it through the rest of the game. But they were such a bitch the first time I played through. Well, it's, it's so satisfying when you beat them. You're like, fuck yeah. Yes, that, that was the feeling that got me hooked on everything else. I mean, Demon Souls had its share too. But I lucked out and figured out, oh, bo -bo boys. I lucked out on the Tower Knight and figured it out how to beat him so when i got to the iron golem in dark souls i was like oh i remember your cousin i took him down like this so i one shot him the first time not knowing that's how i was supposed to do it you never expected to hear it? man we talk about fisting all the time join us more often everyone's telling me i need to play bloodborne yeah but they're telling me i'm not gonna like they said something about an orphan, but someone else kind of spoiled it. So I guess there's like a spider boss. You'll love it. <laughs> Just from the way you're telling me that, I already know I'm not. <laughs> but You follow me all the way down here, you little bitch? My most memorable fight, or the fight I enjoyed the most, because the Four Kings is a DPS check, to be sure. Mm -hmm. I fought them for so long, I wound up killing seven kings by the time I was done with it. What's up, Bubba? You I gotta go? I hate these. Think he's gotta go outside? I took him outside. What's up, buddy? What's up, Bubba? Because he never does this. No, I can't pause it either. No. What? <laughs> oh, You can see little bits of Rufus over there. He's just whining. He's like, pay attention to me. Ow. Dude, I fucking hate these guys. They're going to kill you through walls and shit? They're the fucking worst. Oh, if you want to see him die instantly, by all means, I'll take over. I do not play this game keyboard It's and keyboard mouse. and mouse, yeah. <laughs> Who's the new guy? This is Alex. He's been oh, around yeah, for I've been around years, years now. now. So have I, just not as often, I guess. But Yeah, Rufus hates these guys, too. He lifts his leg on them. <laughs> He's like, come here, get tree. Ow, fucking stop. Oop, that, up. Oh, not Alex, the other guy? Oh, Rufus. Yeah, Rufus is my yeah, dog. We just, we just put him on camp. Give me my lord's rune. All right, now I'll save it real quick, and I'll go see what, what Doggo want. See, I can't be looking at any of this. I haven't done this yet. Man, I, I'm rushing this, through everything. This is, this is where I'm at. Rufus does not do walks. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rufus does drive-bys. He'll see a tree. He'll come past. <laughs> he'll write his name in cursive. Hugs for Rufus. <laughs> So you just wanted the attention now that you're trundling back in? Yeah. 
He just wanted and attention, I've been I guess. And I for like the last 35 minutes. It's all right, buddy. Yeah, normally if he wants it, he'll just come up and lick elbows again. Yeah. Oh, see? <laughs> there you go, chat. <laughs> Go away, lady. Boot up a little more while Alex is away. Um, I actually recently had a visitor to my place who installed Bloodborne on my PS4 for me. They took it out of plastic, and I was like, what the hell did you do? So now I got to play it. I would not be surprised if these fuckers killed me. Any of the fucking aimbot bullshit archers. <laughs> he just. He <laughs> oh, you saying he's Poe? <laughs> oh, nice fox. So I can expect that PS5 win. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now I got to use copy. I know, right? So I can't even save it as a collector's edition anymore. Rufus, don't get back on that bullshit. <laughs> we gave you attention. We gave you lots of pets and hugs. Stop licking paws. But it's almost time to ask one of my favorite questions. What's for lunch? <laughs> and let me just say this for the record. Insanity is aptly fucking named. That's it. That's the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. You ever, have you ever been so tired your hair hurts? <laughs> <laughs> Why does my beard hurt? <laughs> Yet you still can't fucking fall asleep. <laughs> oh, no, I had lots and lots of wings before. That's why I was glad that the uh, Hooter survived the tornado. <laughs> Shredder let himself go. <laughs> No, he's just rocking two of the shells that he got from the guys. Elder Ring makes you gassy? Get some ginger ale. That might help with that. Yeah. Oh, I haven't had ginger ale in a minute. Oh, what the? See, this is the shit I shouldn't be seeing, chat. Oh! <laughs> he's like, hold my ass, bitch. <laughs> He's killing the mobs behind the wall. Oh, wait a second. Let me let me let me take let me take this last comment apart. You look more like a Ray guy. Huh. And I look more like an Alex guy. Then clearly you don't know what Alex and Ray look like. I mean, I know we look alike to you. Oh yeah, I it's, know. we're very similar. It's don't let the good looks fill you. <laughs> it's the complexion. <laughs> you know? Is, Ow. Is, is this the whole photo negative thing you're trying to trip on right now? Because I'm not having it. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta let you know. That doesn't do any fucking damage. Twin besties. <laughs> yeah, Alex guy's like, what does that even mean? <laughs> we have the same. Yeah, we're not sure who the mother is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm blocking with my face and getting fucking wrecked. No, no, no. You need to see us when we're walking through a store together. Not a restaurant because that's just too much fear to go around. But I still remember the guy who was talking was talking about the show. Not not quite talking trash, but not being overly beneficial. Turns the corner and runs into us. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what are the odds? And all that keyboard anonymity and all that tough talking Completely shit gone. melted away. I was like... So, you disagree with our views. Mm -hmm. Now, if we were the way you depicted us, we would wishbone you right here and now. We'd both grab an arm, tell your girl, pick a side, and see which one of us ends up with more meat. <laughs> there, was a, there was a board game conference I went to a long time ago, and I met this dude, and he's, oh, I love the show, blah, blah, you know, and it's like, it starts talking to me about a bunch of stuff. And then his girlfriend pipes up and was like, wait a minute, I thought he was the one that you don't like. 
I was like, oh, it's so funny. He's like, ah! Oh. Because he was a... He was like, a, I thought that's the one who's always so negative about everything. Yeah. I thought he shits on everything. He was a very like, small man, and it was very funny. It's just like, dude, I'm not going to fight you at a board game conference. I'm not going to fight you in general. But it was very funny. He's like, I'm not as petty as others. <laughs> and I respect everyone's right to have their own opinion, yeah. even if it's wrong. You're allowed to have yours. <laughs> it's like, lady, you almost got your boyfriend. You could have got your boyfriend murdered. Yes. And trust me, we have enough friends who go to bars and start fights just to say, well, yeah, well, who's going to help? Oh, my friend. I'm like, I oh, bet you started this. You're on your own. I'm going to laugh at you while I have this drink. <laughs> so long as it's one on one. Yeah. Hey, you kick a hornet's nest, you get stung. But if any of those other guys want to come in to help, I got you. <laughs> it's like they didn't get an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What's up, Mr. Boy? He is not intimidating. We Me? just we just, we have resting dick face from what I've told. Because if I'm in if I'm in serious thought about something, which I normally am because my brain doesn't really shut down, apparently I have a look on my face that says, come near me and I will kill you. And I've been told the same about you. I don't see it. Just because I don't walk around with a scowl or walk around grinning like a village idiot all yeah. day does not mean I'm necessarily in a bad mood. No matter what Chaz says to me half the time. <laughs> Everyone's getting fisted. Oh, there's enough to go around. Mine was somewhere else erecting the case. Well, as it should. No, 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 John. Oh, lube. Bite the pillow. We're going in dry. <laughs> Thoughts on Orville? I don't think much of it. And we're Mexican. Oh, yeah. He's like the Oprah of Elden Ring. You get a fist. And you, you get a fist. Yeah. All these bitches get fist. To be honest, I only watched, like, I've only watched parts of, like, the first season and stuff. And they, I love the premise, and I hear it got much better. But they did the whole, she's my ex-wife, blah, jokes. And those are the not funny. They're never fucking funny. And so... Oh, yeah, this guy. Oh, Fancy Panda, you're going to get starstruck. Don't worry, because we're going to be like, all right, bitch, what are we drinking next? Ow. Oh, what the? Is that Ow. you? No, this is a normal fucking assassin just, like, hanging out. Got moves like This major. guy's harder than, like, other bosses. Wow. Yeah, I don't oh, even see this shit yet. He's, uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A quick, a quick resume of Morbius. <gasps> you can always go to the YouTube channel. It's kind of why they do reviews. Yeah, I mean, hey, can you like give me the? No, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> it's like, no, man. We put a lot of effort into like all the stuff that we do. If the movie's not good, it's just like that's it. You should go watch uh, the review you, though. You don't have to thank me, Unicorn Princess. I I did it because we like your presence here. And because I may run into you one day, and I want you to think like, ah, he's going to kill me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Be at peace. And your blue hair sister. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he has three of these? Yep. He almost got a call at 3.30 in the morning saying, I'm watching Big Trouble in Little China. What the hell are you yeah. doing? <laughs> Skip the cutscene. Huh. No, joke's on you. I'm way overhyped. <laughs> when you meet me after 15 minutes, she'll be like, okay, I'm ready to go. This is fucking disappointing. This is not what I was promised. <laughs> Good point. Touche. Touchy, touchy. That lunge. Yeah, T should be like, bitch, what hammer? I thought that was a toothpick. <laughs> oh, this hurts. Oh, we stunned him just at the right time before that channel went off. That was perfect. Yeah, just pointed me to say, oh shit, it's the beast. He's gonna pull rank. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Have a good one, Ja. Glad you came back. Sharp Cheddar. What a cheesy name, but I dig it. Oh! My body! What you got against Sephiroth? That move is bullshit. I never know when to dodge it. And one of these times, Rain, I'm going to have to catch your stream so I can see what that new addition, that new upgrade to your deck did. You, he, he took Rain's pain and... You had to upgrade your deck? And did more tweaks oh, What's wrong it. with it? Well, nothing, but, you know, it can get boring playing the same thing. And, right, if you're, and, if, and if you're climbing the ladder, you can only climb so far before people is like, oh, jank. But if it's all purpose jank, you can probably still do it. Because right now they still have the um, – I started to stream it today because they're doing a uh, historic pauper. Hmm. We play some magic sometimes. I, mean, I, I just went to a big magic I, I could do Demir Bogles, but Selesny Enchantments in common is so good. Damn, Teague is like, let me fucking at him. <laughs> I, that settles it. I got to get Teague. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kingdom Heart. Oh, yeah, they did announce Kingdom Hearts 4, didn't they? Yeah. But Cole was freaking out since they talked about, um, I guess, the new Monkey Island or whatever. I never played any of those. That stutter ship. He throws it, and he goes, Ugh! I am considered a magic judge. <laughs> Black Dumpling, savior of the universe. Minus one mil? Yeah, I don't care. When you already I'm have glad you're sets. still playing Elden Ring. Oh, okay. I want to put so many hours into this game, it's not even funny. Like I said, I, uh, my first playthrough, I'm literally taking my time trying to find everything I can. I'm hitting every wall, and I found a couple of secret doors that way. I found a couple of hidden floors, so I have to backtrack other places I've been to make sure that's oh, all that was there. No, I don't get – so the judge program changed. Uh, you have to pay to be a Magic the Gathering judge, and they sell you the promos. Um, it's a giant fucking scam, and I don't take part in any of that shit. Yeah, because that's why when people ask me for, like, tips or, hey, can I summon you? Can we play together? It's like, I'll make a new character, and depending on what build you are, I can kind of help you or point you in a direction to get stuff. I'm not going to, like, hold your hand through the game, but we can do, like, a dual playthrough. That'll be cool. Does that shit ever stop? No. <laughs> that's, fuck. Morgoth, every one of his attacks stutters. Every one of them. He goes up, and you're like, okay, roll. And he goes, ha-ha. Uh, so just stutter, stutter, stutters even yeah. more. Remember the worst creature you had to worry about the stutter step for was the dancer? At the time, that was the only boss that attacked in 3-4 time rather than 4-4 four, four like everyone else. Mm. Yeah, the, the new judge program is a little bit of a scam. And there's a bunch of my friends and, like, people that pay into it. And, you know, they – it's a really cool group of people. But you will never – being a judge has uh, always been a losing proposition, and now they're like, hey, not only are we not giving you promos, but we are not going – you have to pay to do it. It's like, man, no, no thank you. Oh, the dancer swords were great if you were a spellcaster because they scale with intelligence, I, I believe. But the fact if you had more stamina, you could just keep doing the twirl, twirl, twirl. You just turn that into a dervish attack, and oh, my God, it was so good. But out of Dark Souls 3, most memorable fight there, Sister Free. It was the first fight I'd seen in any Souls game that had three phases. I was celebrating so hard when I beat Mommy and Daughter, or oh, Daddy and Daddy's Little Girl. And then all of a sudden, she comes back and says, now you pissed me off. And she likes that Scythe, and I'm like, that Scythe is awesome. <laughs> yes, but you felt... So fuck, so accomplished when you finally beat her. I mean, screw Gale, screw Artorias, screw Manus from the other ones. Free for me was the, well, before the DLC came out, it was the Nameless King for me. Was the most memorable fight. Oop. 
I mean, even the Twin Princes and Dark Eater, Madeir were all right. Freed was the fight of Dark Souls 3 for me. Dark Souls 1, Ornstein and Smog, and arguably my favorite From Souls boss, oh, you gotta pay respects. Dark Souls 2 was the Dark Lurker, because you had to do so much shit to get to it. Dark Souls 3 was Sister Freed. This one so far... Uh, Radon was the most fun fight. The most annoying... Godric wasn't really annoying. I one-shot the Moon Lady the first time I fought her. Worst fight in the game is Elden Beast for me. There's nothing worse in the game than that whole fight. Yeah? It's just... It's it's sad. Oof. It's not clever. It's not difficult. It's just fucking annoying. And it's not, <laughs> not in a satisfying a way. Yeah, it's just not... <laughs> Milena, I haven't done Milena yet, but from everything I've heard, she's probably the most punishing boss, like, new game going into... The right card fight. Now, see, if you're talking about just visually pleasing, then I have to throw in Sekiro. The uh, mm -hmm. the dragon just looks so glorious in that. And you have to figure out how to beat him. <laughs> the, the divine dragon was, oh, God. Yeah, I was sad. Like I almost, I almost lowered my the my least rating memorable of the game. Last boss, then you've never played Demon Souls. <laughs> the Elden review is already out. Yeah, it had forty thousand views in like one hour. I saw this yeah. and I'm like, oh, I'm getting all the popcorn before I it's watch out. this one. <laughs> Life in prison. I get to take one game. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> <laughs> Bloodborne, I, I wouldn't know. I can't speak on something I haven't played. Liliana's caress and my yes. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. If they thought the ending boss in this was a joke, then they that's how you can tell someone. Tell me you haven't played Demon Souls without telling me you haven't played <laughs> Demon Souls. <laughs> it's time to play Bloodborne. It was time to play Bloodborne like five years ago. But remember, Friday is Dark Souls 3 sixth anniversary. So I may have to do a fresh playthrough of that. It's time to make another Pyromancer. Time to light shit up. Where'd you come from? He followed you and ran all the way around the stairs. I saw him out of the corner of my eye. Oh. Well, you dead now, bitch. Why doesn't Alex stream this game? Oh. Uh, what I think that's a troll. They've been asking a bunch of troll questions. So I think that person's just a troll. Oh, normally when I walk into the room, they say Alex looks different. Yeah. <laughs> that one never gets old. Hmm. Am I still in the army? No. I've been retired for a few years now. Lawrence, Lady Maria. Orf I've seen a lot of artwork that people tweet out about Lady Maria. So she must be... Kind of a mean boss. Looks pretty cool from the different artwork I've seen. No, no, no. It's not that Alex got a little tan. That's what sparks it off. It'll always say, Alex looks a bit different. Yeah, Alex looks different. Like, okay. Congratulations. You're not original, nor funny, nor loud. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ooh, I got itchy tricky finger today. Wanting a boss fight where you and the other dude send ashes to fight each other in the first phase? Have you not done Captain Nile? Because that's pretty much exactly what happens. You start the fight and he summons Oleg and another shield Oleg and uh, a gun mod. Oh, don't give a pyromancer AKs, dude. <laughs> oh, thank you, Apache Heli. Would I do a boss tier thing? No. Or will I do? No. No, I could just say like some of the fights that I've had. Like I said, Ornstein and Smog was probably, like I said, it was the first really tough fight I had in a Souls game. And that's saying that after playing Demon Souls, because I was still learning what things were about. But you get such a rush after killing those two once you figure out how to do it, depending, on, again, on what your play style is. Oh, Quaylag? 
Quaylag was easy for me. Yes, Orange Cena Smog not only was an Orlando visually fucking pleasing for the time, it's still good today. Mm. Don't get me wrong. I'm not taking anything away from it. But the fight mechanics, the fight boss music, the area you had to clear to get to them was just all so... Why do you think I have that shirt that says <laughs> An Orlando Archery Club? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait and watch. <laughs> Platinum Fox, you telling people all my secrets? I want to unfriend you on Steam. It's rude to show off, tell people how many hours. Yeah, but it's like 177. It's <laughs> a lot. Radon. Radon with the cutscenes was awesome in this because, again, I looked away when Alex got there, so it was a fresh fight to me. And the introduction of Phase 2 fucked with me yeah. so bad the first time. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, shooting did, did star. He, did he, no, I was like, shit, did he glitch? Because, again, I fought other creatures, like other dragons, where if they roam out of their prescribed area, they just fade and then come back. But fortunately, it doesn't reset the health. Their health is still gone. Then shit got really bright. <laughs> <laughs> I'll carry you downstairs, but I don't think you want to go downstairs. I don't. We 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 we, we went that route before. All right, hold on, loaf. Oh, he's got the jowls vibrating. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to go see if he wants to eat. <laughs> All right, quick Q&A chat. <laughs> this is my room for the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, love me, daddy. Ray, tell you a story. Oh. Well, if this were any other channel, I would do that. I don't want to get these guys banned. Uh, I don't have a favorite meal, but I can tell you the top three things that I will never turn down if cooked correctly are a steak, a good batch of wings, either traditional buffalo hot or lemon pepper, or a good beef stroganoff. Although you could throw a nice five alarm chili in there too. Wings are always good. Yes, steaks are always the right call. Lego Star Wars, not really my kind of game, but I may give it a try. My least favorite area in a Souls game, um, it used to be Blight Town, but then again, the little muck in Demon Souls was worse. Well, I'm not the man. I'm the man sitting next to the man. All the Dark Souls two areas. <laughs> No, but going through the abyss stuff, when you join that covenant to kill those bosses to get to the Dark Lurker, some of those were really annoying. Like when you had to fight two Havels, and then you have the guy coming up slinging fireballs at you while you're trying to fight. Dark Souls 2 I loved because it had some of the best PvP stats. You didn't have like in Dark Souls 1 where you had, or even 3 depending on what weapon you had, you didn't have like, the phantom ranges where they were swinging at you and even though you block okay you're still taking damage do i like baby back ribs well what kind of baby <laughs> i'm i'm okay with ribs but i don't like barbecue you can grill it on a barbecue but i don't like barbecue sauce those beds of chaos count it absolutely should have i played arc survival no, I have not. If I played a survival game, the closest I've done is when these guys got me to play Tribes of Midgard, and I've been hooked on that game ever since. I'll probably have like 300 hours in that game. Dry rub ribs? Yes. Sweet Baby Rays? <laughs> yeah, I've heard about that. Well, I've survived all the Dark Souls games. Like I said, the only Souls boring game I haven't played... Although I haven't played Ghost of Tsushima, I haven't played Bloodborne. But I've done Neo, I've done Neo 2, but Neo 2 isn't so much a game, I feel. It just feels like a big DLC patch for Neo. Because Neo self-contained and wrapped everything up. And there's not really much new in Neo 2. How they sell them on sauce? You could say that. 
Neo 2 was good, but I don't feel it was a standalone game. That's why I said it felt like it was DLC for Neo. No, but I have tried Dave's Insanity Sauce. Exactly. Well, it's not that it didn't need to happen. It's just that if you expected the same experience you got from Neo, you weren't disappointed. Just don't expect like that much more or something on a more grander scale. They were both good. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I just felt that everything in there could have been added to the first Neo. Oh, I've, I've had it. Okay, Darsh, again, that's that's your opinion. I just thought they could have both been merged, but I think they did Neo 2 because they were like, oh, we could have done this, we could have done that, or they picked stuff up off the cutting room floor and realized we have so much more material, we can make another game out of it because a lot of it seemed to have the same mechanics and play styles as Neo 1. What game surprised me? Um... Not much piques my interest, like I said, because the types of games that I like to play are very narrow, which is why I was a little nervous when I pre-ordered this. But fortunately, this didn't meet my expectations. This blew them away because as much as I love the Souls games, I didn't know how well they would incorporate an open world theme to it. And they've done so good with this. And people will sit there and complain, oh, you know, they reskinned so many bosses. Do you have any idea how many unique bosses there still are in this game? Do you have any idea how many different levels of terrain and layers deep it goes? Have you gone to the underground places? Have you gone to... I haven't even gone to the fire giants yet. I don't even know where that is. They just tell me it's up north. There are so many layers to this game. It's... Again, I have 300 hours in, and I'm still on my first playthrough. But then again, that's... Oh, I absolutely give this a 10 out of 10. Weapons go to a concrete. <laughs> well, it seemed a little sluggish because it wasn't a real FromSoft game. Like, it had a different team designing it. Which is why none of the lore matches anything else. Which is why some of the other things in there are different than anything else. But what I loved about Dark Souls 2... First chance you got the power stance with weapons. When I, I'm telling you, when I walk around with two ultra great swords at plus 10, one lightning, one fire. If you invaded me, if you did not kill me within two seconds, you did not live to regret it. You didn't get a second chance. Ugh. I haven't done the dung eater quest yet. He's still sitting in there telling me if I die, he's going to defile my corpse or whatever his default message is. Dog is heavy. And he's looking now like, I am content. <laughs> you he ate, eat. he peed, he pooped, he tried to eat some weeds. I gave him a bunch of Benadryl. Yeah, but you come in with two ultra great swords and oh my god. <laughs> the chungiest of chungus. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking heavy. You gotta carry him down the stairs and through the house and into the backyard to his favorite pee spot. <laughs> I have marked this territory. No turn me here. And he will never pee and poop in the same run. So oh. you have to carry him back inside. And then he's like, okay. And then he has to remember, oh yeah, now, now I gotta do this. Now I gotta poop. So then you have to carry him outside to go poop. <laughs> well, that just gives him a reason to have extra fries with lunch. You gotta look for the silver lining. Oh, man. Celibus is how you know George R.R. R. Martin helped write this world. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> that is That is definitely some ice and fire shit going on with him. Because <laughs> I don't think Mizuki knew what he was doing when he got him involved with this. But who else did they say they reached out to? Sanderson. Yes, I'm like, that might be interesting. I would love to see how that next one comes out. Maybe that's what they're planning for the next uh, FromSoft game, but... This is still going to get... This is easily another game I see me putting a 1,000 hours into. 1,000? Yeah, I could... I no, could. I'm just saying, just because there's so many builds I want to try with this. But unlike everyone else, I'm not going to go through and do, you know, New Game Plus, New Game Plus, New Game Plus. I like starting from the beginning because, to me, it's more challenging. <coughs> once you learn how to beat all the bosses, New Game Plus, you're going through... There's not significant buffs to everything. 
but by then I'm sure all your main weapons are maxed out. So you're gonna cakewalk through it. Oh, uh, uh, uh. well, if you ch- if you switch builds, no, uh. no, no, no. I'm just saying if you go with that, yeah. Like say just because I want to go back and get like every ending, and you want to keep doing it with the sorcerer, or you want to keep doing it with a uh, deck strength build, mm-hmm. and any deck strength weapon in your hands is gonna be godlike. Yeah, now, going through, and that's what I said. I want to try and come through, try a faith build, or do all incantations, or do all dragon things. But the more I see of it being played, and the more I pick them up and look at them, I'm like, this just doesn't seem really powerful, or it wouldn't be practical to use this because, like you said, by the time you get to wind up and cast something and get it out, three quarters of your health, if not more, is it's gone. gone. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about a paladin playthrough. And I wish would, you could restart yes. without making it New Game Plus. Oh, you mean on the same character? Because I just have a bunch of different save files, because you can. Mm-hmm. Like my dagger build, I wanted to see how bad daggers were on like the base <laughs> game, and they're miserable. I'm level 401. What are you, what are you? What the fuck are you doing? You grinding XP? I don't think I'm in I was thinking about doing a, a strength faith or a faith arcane build, but then again... That's before they were announcing they were going to nerf the Sword of Night and Fire. I, I had just gotten it, so I had no idea how powerful it was because I didn't have the stats in Arcane. I'm like, I'm not going to use an incantation. I think the most I put my faith up to was 10 so I could cast Cure Poison whenever I needed to. Yeah, I did a full uh, faith Arcane build that was half incantations, half dragon spells. And it was fine. It just it's not as powerful as... Uh, as Glenstone started as a prisoner. The one thing I like about the prisoner, the prisoner starts with my workhorse spell. Screw your glinted pebble. Screw your rock throw. They're both good. But mm. let me tell you why I like the glint blade. Half the creatures that you fight in here with magic, as soon as you cast something, they immediately roll. The glint blade takes two to three seconds from the time you cast it to the time it fires. So you can sit there and roll all day. Then when they start walking towards you, they're focused on you, and they keep taking those swords in the back, and you can cast it on the go. So when I start walking up to someone and they just start like, I just go, glint, 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 drink. And by the time I drink, they're rushing towards me, mm. and they forgot. They've got like 700 damage coming at their backs. they got like five floaty swords coming at them. <laughs> That's what I like about the prisoner. That's why... Now that I know how, when I started my sorcerer build, I beeline straight to the turtle poke because you can buy that thing for three thousand. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yes. So all those runes that I grabbed on the way to him from those little sarcophagi laying on the side, pop, 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 get it. <laughs> you walk around with big ass hammers, and again, on a melee build, you can do that. But I'm walking around with like a twenty six intelligence now. I'm probably the most buff sorcerer because I put 30 into big because I got tired of getting one shot Dick. by everything. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, if my big, if it's a melee guy, I go at least big 40 because that's that's the base build for like most melee guys, although the soft cap is 60. 40 is enough to get me through every boss I've been through yet, but again, I'm only up to Radon. Ow. The <laughs> muscle wizard I know, right? Like, ah! You want to die by the sword or die by the staff? <laughs> That's one of the most important bell bearings. You got to get that one. Yeah, dude, I'd love to have a doggy T Rex as a mount. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus spot. <laughs> no, no, no. Tyrannosaurus Rufus! <laughs> Coming in here wagging your nub. Oh, you in a good place, huh? You the goodest of boys. We can try to uh, get invaded by that asshole. He cheats. Mm-hmm. There's an in, there's a scheduled invasion up here. Uh-huh. Well, the guy's a piece of shit, especially because he can just instant kill you. Armor for the f- <laughs> armor. <laughs> oh. But honestly, what kind of armor could you put on Torrent? You're going to make him feel like he's Leonard just carrying around Radon all day. <laughs> Have I read the Berserk manga? No. But I know that's what inspired, like, all of the Soul series. <laughs> Not today, demon birds. <laughs> Not today. Just gonna have of blood. 
Yeah, this guy's a butthole. He's a giant fucking butthole. Oh, that's right. So your flasks max out at what? 14. Plus 12? Oh, plus 14. Yeah, it's plus, plus 12 and you get 14 total charges. Well, I know you get 14 charges. Because I'm at 12 charges now. And I need like five more to get the max. I'm like, but I need to know what flasks. Because that, that lets me know how many more churches there are. See, like right there, how he hops back whenever he does a special move. That's what you use the um, the glint blade for. Because you go cast, 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 and he'll roll. And as he stands up, the spells that you cast will come slamming into his back. But this dude seems like bleed a -matic. He can instant kill you when he uses rivers of blood. Oh, Jesus. But I'm staggering the shit out of him with these. Oh, wow, okay. So. I've I've done Elden Ring PvP just for a couple of times because I did it five times because that's what you have to do to complete some part of someone's quest line. And the first time I did it was really cool. I came in. The person waved at me. I waved back. They bowed. I bowed. And I was like, okay, you shall live. Mm -hmm. I used the finger to return to my yeah. world. Second time, dude tried to fight me. So I was like, uh, Moon Veil, show him what it is. Unsheath. Liquefy. <laughs> I hit him with two on sheets. I staggered him, and I was like, I like to vary the punchline, but bottom line is, mm. oh, shit, <laughs> you're, dead. you're dead. Really? That's the go-to sword for bleed builds? Tell me more. I know you're just trying to be nice, and I appreciate that, but yeah, I've, I've done a whole playthrough with it. That's like my fourth <laughs> Rivers of Blood. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this, Platinum Fox. Like I said, all this is new to me. I should not be watching any of this. Nah, you're fine. You're fine. But... You know, I'm going to get somewhere eventually. I never played Elden Ring. What happens? Let me take that. Uh, you die, she dies. <laughs> Moonvale and Rivers Blood are trash. They trash. <laughs> Not good at all. It's a first time chat. Therefore, <laughs> daggers are way better. Oh, uh, thanks, Fancy. You also got a Honda Accord. <laughs> yeah, I've seen those memes on Steam. It's like, I'd like to offer you an Accord. And here comes a Honda with a license plate that says Torrent. I'm like, oh, that was a nice touch. This still just fucking combat roll on you? Yeah. Is that a mouth in his stomach? Yes. Oh, I really should Ow! not. I really should not watch this. Stop! I heard you talking about it. Say his stay under his ass and stay on his ankle. Oh, that's... Oh, I guess his fire instant kills you in uh, New Game 7. Oh, there's a mod that turns into a Honda <laughs> You don't understand why the game turns when the game has the most easiest difficulty? What the fuck are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about? Explain yourself before we just... I know, I, I shouldn't be watching yeah, this. Let it, me it, take foo-foo notes. Yeah. Because right now, you sound uh, like a dummy. Like a full-on fucking dummy. <laughs> Since Mimic has infinite FP if you give them the ability to heal. Oh, okay. What? What are you talking about? Thank you, Limons. <laughs> oh, Lemons, don't tell her, but I'm probably going to throw my name in the hat for uh, Community Saturday. Because they know I play DVD, but they know I haven't touched it in months. The last few times I played is when I played with you guys. But there's another streamer that we both watch that always has viewers and subs play with them on Saturday. And I've, I've asked a couple <gasps> other times. You guys don't know how, well, Ray doesn't know, but that was a fucking sick-ass dodge. And no one fucking, unless you played this fight, you don't realize how impressive that dodge just was. <laughs> that was a fucking a perfectly timed double jump. Oh, you're going to play with me, Lemons? Hey, Torrent, you're a piece of shit. No one loves you. Oh, I can't do anything while that thing is up. Oh, God, this fucking game's UI. It's like, game, I love you, and I want to tell everyone how amazing you are, but you, you're a constant disappointment. Oh, so that's the move that Daddy has. Have some soup, only instead of hot lava soup, he's throwing snow at you? Rocks. Like he's sifting for gold or something? <laughs> He combat rolls. <laughs> I 
Did this fucker just come? <laughs> and he does it again. He tries to roll over your ass. How am I out of stamina? I'm on a fucking horse. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this fucking tuck and roll. I can't. <laughs> Come on. Short range bullshit. Oh, there's a haze too. I was like, he's so close to death, I wouldn't even have noticed. Holy shit. Died by Torrent again. Remember, chat, Torrent is a piece of shit. Yes, this is seven. How's the new build going? Uh, fisting is really bad. It's like really bad. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> a barrel roll. So, uh. <laughs> True Nancy Panda. Yeah, Torrent, um. Torrent is bad. You always try to fist the giant. You, you got to. You never compromise. Commit. <laughs> How does this game compare? This game is better than Neo. If you just if you're looking for like, is this game better than Neo? Yes. Then again, I put as much uh, as I love Neo. Fuck! I, that move is so hard to dodge. You uh -oh. did dodge. No last. I say because I go Souls games, Sekiro, Neo, Mortal Shell. Can't rate Ghost of Tsushima because that one I never had a chance to play. During the phase cutscene, what happens in the cutscene? Do I even want to know? No, I'm not showing Ray the cutscene. He's got to save some spoilers for me from when I get here myself. Neil's the bottom of the list. Mm. Mortal Shell's at the bottom of the list. Not to say that I didn't like it. Bro, my mouse is gone. Right there. <laughs> this guy has too much fucking health. Mortal Shell, it does because you don't block per se, you harden, and because it moved at a slower pace. But again, it's a dungeon crawl game, and that's kind of like the genre that I like. But once you got the hang of it, there were, there were a few challenging bosses in there. One that you may not like, that's meant to be short. Torrent, every oh, time. God, what was the name of it? Sacrifice? Sacrifice something for redemption. You play us this one night, and it's only boss fights. You can finish the whole game in like 30 minutes or less. And you get up to this one guy, you fight the boss, mm. you kill it, you run on this platform, and it takes you immediately to the next boss. But there's different clues and tricks you have to use to kill each one. Ever play Blasphemous? Yes. And I'm not a fan of the 8-pixel games, like 8-bit looking games like that. That's like saying, did I play Noita? Mm. No. Yeah. Demon Souls and the remake were fire. I haven't played the remake yet. I've watched these guys play because I can't find a PS5 anywhere. How does Tor... I guess he's doing, what, six times more damage than normal, but, like, seriously? If I played Babylon's Fall, I've seen it, but I haven't played it. Babylon's Fall is fucking terrible. Oh. Salt and Sanctuary? Somebody gifted me Don't Starve Together. Well, like, again, if I'm if I'm playing that kind of game, I'm going back to Tribes of Midgar. <laughs> you got me fucking hooked the day you guys gave me that fucking lightning axe. <laughs> yeah, I just got my PS3 back from a buddy, and I'm about to fire it up again because... I can't wait to get a five. 
would know the anime souls like game how many hours do i have in tribes now i'm probably still sitting at like i'm like between 307 maybe 310 i only know because i looked at my steam profile when i brought my friend a christmas present i got kobe a copy of oh nice of this i was like if this isn't a badass birthday present i don't know what else to tell you <laughs> Do you see him heal? I don't know if that's a bug or not, but like every now and then you'll be attacking a boss a whole bunch and then all of a sudden their health goes up by a ton. It's like, can you please not fucking yeah. do that? It's like, why are you healing? I know it's a ton, but again, it was a time fill for me because I would play it on the weekends and I'd just get a couple of games in. Sometimes it was good because I would play with randos who knew what they were doing. Sometimes I got people who just quit if there wasn't like three super powerful items sitting in the, you know, the community chest waiting for them. Yeah, fish that giant. Quato. <laughs> Does that make Alex Cohagen? <laughs> Since he's killing <laughs> Get your ass to Mars. <laughs> Stamina's back. On attack on Titan. Stop it. That fucking combat roll is killing me. Did you chop off one of his legs? Yes. Well, sort of. I, I'm saving you the cutscenes, man. Remember how one of them was like in a splint and I cut the splint off? And Okay. Jesus. That's, oh. gonna be, that's something to look forward to, I guess. <laughs> I wish I had bleed. It would be oh, trivial. Be if, yeah, done by now. this would be so easy if I had bleed. Oh, I thought he was gonna roll again. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> it does so much damage. <laughs> that shit kills me. Took a big poo. Couldn't walk anymore. Oh, shit, my brain's out. <laughs> that sounds like an OJ line. <laughs> My last heal spell to bring out this fucking horse that's for sure gonna get me killed. Fist him in the tank. <laughs> the pyromancers. Uh oh. Yeah, recover from this bitch. Well. <laughs> uh. Giant has too much fucking health. Way too much fucking well, health. And there's half the souls you lost in you. <laughs> we already did the review for Moon Knight. We, already, we watched the first four episodes before everybody. I love that, Samurai. I was not expecting that. I was like, most giants, they just, they do that thing where they spin around, slam the swords down, or just stomp on you. This one fucking combat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you're, if I was a giant and there's a bunch of little man, like a little man running around, it's like, I'm going to roll over your ass. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> Someone watch that. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I was not expecting that, Princess. <laughs> Tuck and roll, bitch. Like he just jumped out of a plane. He's pulling a PLF. <laughs> <laughs> I am a giant. Well, just know that if you're trying to fight me and you roll small, I'm going to roll over on you. <laughs> and you're going to die. Oh, that was great. I can't wait to see a fucking cutscene now. <laughs> I've been spoiled, chat. <laughs> Incoming! Holy shit, that's a giant mm -hmm. scrody. <laughs> Punch it! Hold my hand. Lady, I don't want to touch you. <laughs> Everyone's been touching you. Yeah, his actual player name is Will Smith. He'll walk in, he'll slap you, he'll bow, and yeah. he'll go home. No, I saw him. They slap you. He walks back. He shouts. He does the oh, shout. Yeah, he does the, it just has a, get my wife's name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Rufus, stop scratching your face. 
Oi. Int build, uh, blast his leg. He'll fall down. Uh, as an int build, it's even easier because you can just blast him in his second phase. You just stand behind him and just roast him while he's, like, roaring. He's going, Murr. The fuck is that, a tornado? What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello, boys. Spell, spell particularly helpful? Rock Sling. Rock Sling at the start, especially when it scales S with intelligence. And like I told you, Pebble will probably be your workhorse spell, but I'm a good fan, a big fan of Clint Blade. Just because most things that roll out of the way when you're when you're casting roll right into that spell as it resolves. It's super good on horseback when you're taking out the knights on horseback at night, as long as you remember to focus on them and not the horse. And anytime you walk into one of those dungeons, like the little circular things, like the Ingval prisons, you just spam the shit out of Glint Blade in there. That spell has got me through so much shit. Can you play this game with keyboard and mouse? I do. He's doing it. I could. I've beat it seven times with keyboard and mouse. You'll be fine. Because before, the only games I could never play with keyboard and mouse, I never even tried a Souls game with keyboard and mouse. It's always been controlled. I don't think I have enough to level. But Dead by Daylight and... Warframe are the only games I tried with keyboard and mouse that my body just refuses <laughs> to, nope, to nope, function nope, with. Nope. I was like, what is this? I've got so many hours in this game. Doesn't matter. You're not going to play it like this. All right, give me my controller. Oh, look, so much better. Speedrunners prefer keyboard and mouse because they do fucking cheaty shit that doesn't count. <laughs> They're just like, it's one of the only ways to do zipping. It's like, fuck, fuck zipping. I know. Dragon's like, you have invaded my lair. Uh, uh. Where you go? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I beat it se seven times right here. No. 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 What is zipping, bloody? Well, it's just when they're hauling ass through an area. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, do, it's a glitch. Or you can, like, run underneath the ground. Yeah, well, it, it, it launches your body, like, 900 meters straight, lets you skip certain zones. You can't die to fall damage during it. It's, it's a bullshitty thing. Oh, fuck. I got to fight the, the Godskin duo with the fucking melee build. This is going to suck assholes. This is, this is literally, this is going to fucking be awful. <laughs> oh, I'm here for that. Oh, man. Well, because they also do fucking insane damage because it's New Game 7. And I can only rush to them one time. Because you can only do this move once. Fuck you. Yeah, if, this, is, if this follows the what normal the fuck? from solve. If it follows the standard formula, New Game 7 is the hardest it gets. Alright, spawn, bitches. We focus on the big one. Oh shit, it's the new Ornstein and Smog. <laughs> they do so much fucking damage. Fuck you. Well, at least they share a health bar this time. Sort of. Oh. Also, Black Flame just, you know, stays there for a couple of oh, Fuck. Jesus. And he kills you through pillars. Well, now I know why people used to cheese him with the Horfrost stump. Just stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah, their damage is super high, and the damage of these, sk these weapons is crazy low. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I may have to... S yeah, they constantly respawn until their health is gone. Um, I don't know if I have another weapon that would be better against them. Because these are terrible. I'm not going to be able to hit them at any sort of range. Hmm.
Waterfowl dance may not be the worst. Oh, no, I want to save this for the board games. <laughs> Ooh, hot wings do sound good, but I just had... This would be ago. fine, but I don't have any arcane on. I had some Three Mile Islands, and I had some lemon peppers to balance it out, and a chocolate mousse cake. <laughs> oh, Fat Boy was happy. We tried the whips. Tolg, it was really bad. Uh, these guys all auto-aim. Um, just fucking kill me, you stupid piece of shit. Uh, yeah, all these guys have uh, homing attacks. It's terrible. Yeah, um, Titan was able to do fists, but he did a lot of co-op. And that helps a lot if you're doing fists, because you need someone to be able to take aggro. Three Mile Island is the one that's a step above the 911 wings on like Hooter's heat scale. It's okay. I can't go through there. It's the best buffalo style flavored sauce I've had that didn't taste too vinegary, which is why I don't do like Wings Plus or Pluckers because they're not as consistent. Oh! Now he becomes a piece of shit. <sighs> they killed her already. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to have the bones in it, man. But if you're going boneless, you may as well just get nuggets. Ray, much like Alex, has been known to bone. Jesus. Yeah, this isn't the run, gents. <laughs> Tenderloin's not nuggets. Oof. Flats or drums. Uh, oh. if, if you eat the quantity of wings that I eat, you almost certainly have to go drums. Um... But, I mean, it depends. Now, it also depends on my flavor because here's my typical order for Hooters goes like this. Especially if I know I'm going to be indoors. Like if I know it's going to be a rainy weekend or there's a lot of sports or a lot of movies or I'm going to watch a marathon. I'm going to get 50 all drum, naked, extra sauce, Three Mile Island, and then 50 random whatever you can bread them up, lemon pepper. Because the Hooters lemon pepper is probably the best lemon pepper sauce I've tasted on wings where it's not too oily. It's not too buttery. And their buffalo hot sauce, like I said, doesn't have that vinegar twang that ruins the flavor for me. Because people are like, oh, you just go there so you can look at tits. I'm like, I can look at tits anywhere. That's why I order, pick them up, and go. Because I don't need to have some girl flirt with me trying to get a better tip. You're still getting wall. your tip from what I get. This is the first ball she had to summon players for. I shouldn't look forward to this, this should I? Especially coming through as a caster. Might be the most American thing you've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, but remember this, Fancy Panda. If you've seen two, you've seen them all. Some are just more impressive than others. <laughs> Do I eat curry? I do, all the time. Especially if I have a good masala. Um, why, why are these hard? Because they're a new game seven. So they have insane hit points and their damage is scaled super high. And I don't think my fist weapon build is any good at all against them. I could technically respec and kill them real quick. Uh, well, I like I said, their it. food is okay, but that's, that's where I go for wings if I don't make them at the house myself. 
Uh, five Guys is okay. I think Muya is better. Five Guys is great if you, uh, you're paying. <laughs> well, if we're going price range, I'd just as soon go to Whataburger. Five Guys kinda, is fucking cause, expensive. Because kind of like Five Guys, A, they don't make it until you order it. And uh, Whataburger, we've got, <laughs> thanks to him, I've got a couple of stores trained to make me an Apex Predator. And if you don't know what that is, you got to up your game. Because we've explained it on chat a few times before. I don't think I can even use the shield. So it's in and out. When they first got it in and out here, I ate it out of curiosity. And my friend told me if I go to Cali, well, next time I go to Cali, and I might do it for um, TwitchCon this year. Depending on if people can do the right thing. I may try Fat Burger. I kept hearing about that because people are like, do you like in and out or Fat Burger? It's like, well, no burger place is like genuinely good for you. It's like, which is the least damaging to your body? <laughs> and I, I wasn't overly impressed by Five Guys when I went. If I make them at my place, what do I marinate with? Oh, I'll just, I can get a jar of sauce and just speck it to my taste. It's just too much trouble and I hate the cleanup, which is why I won't do it, but the air fryer definitely makes it easier. White Castle or Arby's, if I had to choose out of the two, keep the murder burgers, give me the Arby's. <laughs> get a burger from the habit. Subscribe, bitches. I move last two way too long. <laughs> Who's doing Arby's? You're nasty. They said out of the two. I mean, like one of the few places I go to get burgers now, even though it's pricey, is Red Robin. Did that cut go through? There's not a rallies around here. There's more of a checkers type thing. But even then, you've got camera fuck me. You got what burgers. Dead. It's a Texas thing. Oh, he's sitting behind you now. Rallies is in whatever. Rallies is like checkers, I think. It's like yeah, their yeah, equivalent yeah. or like a Carl's Jr. or something. Red Robin is good but pricey. So Red Robin is cheaper than Five Guys. Red Robin is cheaper than Mighty Fine. Red Robin is like. And I like Red Robin because when I'm there, it's unlimited fries, which of course does it for me because I'm definitely getting my money's worth. P. Terry's? P. Terry's is like a worse in and out. <laughs> and then our burgers are fucking incredible. Their fries but, are gross. But if you're in Austin, Hop Daddy's. Once this guy took yeah. me over there, I was like, dude, I'm, I'm not looking too far back. But he took me to the food truck uh, about a month or so ago where he got me that bacon burger where the patty's like half beef, half bacon. And even the bread bun, the brioche bun that it comes in is, oh, my God, so good. Well, double double animal style is how I get the burger, and then my friend told me you have to get animal style fries. I was like, "What the hell was that?" Shortstop burgers in Austin? There's shortstop, yeah. Hmm. I I haven't been. There. I don't know. I I was a big fan of Muyas because the Muyas that was up where I was is closed but there is another one down here <laughs> come back and talk of awesome fries need a burger with bacon on it yes then this food truck would absolutely be the place for you because oh my god I'm constantly out of stamina on this fucking fight it's awful universal joint Salmon burger? Oh. Oh, that fucking infinite range slam. Yeah, there's there's a Red Robin that's about like maybe seven minutes from my place. I yeah. order from them like every other month or so. There is no good subs in Austin. There used to be this one great place called Delaware. I mean Johnny the place that Johnny works at is great, but it's like a it's it's kind of pricey for what it is, and I wouldn't even call it like a sub shop. But no, but Delaware before the guy gave up on it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, this this isn't a real build. This is 
I was running around on the fist build. I should probably switch to the veteran's armor. Do I like armor. Thundercloud? If I got five bucks in half an hour to kill, I'll pick up a couple of subs from Thundercloud, uh, but it's not my go-to place. Fuck you. Yes, but if you want, like, a true hoagie, yes. Any donut spots in Austin? Why am I? Uh, Round Rock Donuts is good. Like. Matter of fact, I was probably going to take him over there because we found this cinnamon bun that was, like, the size of a steering wheel for two fifty, and I'm like, oh, join me. The fat side is calling. <laughs> Calories are our friends. <laughs> What's wrong with Thundercloud subs? There's nothing wrong with them. They're well, just, the they're just it's cheap subs. Exactly. And... It's like if I'm in a mood for a hoagie, there's places I go that can pack more and better quality stuff on there. But that's what I said. If I'm in a mood for just a sandwich and there's nothing else around, I will Instant go there. Cool. Kababalicious is Voodoo pretty good. Donuts downtown is good, but it's a pain to go downtown just to get that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not driving. Kababalicious is fine. There's better kebab places at, at literally every two like, miles. Like Verts used to be awesome. Yeah. The ones that were still open before, again, they switched to charging more and getting lower quality meat for their services. Mm. That's Make it with a ham sandwich. Sure yes, the Mama no. Cass run has to happen. <laughs> Where my ham sandwich at? There's also a place next door to Voodoo Donuts. The uh, that pizza place you took me to that actually had some decent Chicago style pizza. Hmm. What was that one spot we went to when we were down there before? Because it was during the uh, Magic tournament. It was when um, I want to say it was the one K that they had for DreamHack. Do I still believe magic is an easy move? What I believe is anyone who says magic is easy mode is a fucking imbecile that the world would be better off if they weren't in it. Like, straight up. Blimpies. Like, the world doesn't need you. There's a Blimpies at Fort Hood. The first Blimpies I went to was in North Bergen, New Jersey, which pretty much sums up Blimpies. <laughs> that's, that's probably the most New Jersey thing I've seen outside of White Castle. <laughs> The food at Bucky's good? No. I think that's an oxymoron you just asked. It's a gas station. They, <laughs> they sell, they sell like, they sell stuff. Try Round Rock Donuts. I mean, Voodoo is a gimmicky place. If you're looking for, yeah. <laughs> Gas station food. There is nothing wrong with gas station sushi. <laughs> Three days later, I don't feel so good. <laughs> My donuts are delicious. Thank you. You just like the mascot? Oh, Bucky the Beaver. 7 Eleven sushi. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oof. Who's a sheep? Why are we calling people sheep? I don't know. You an Ovino man, sir? Beaver nuggets are the only good thing. Summoning his buddy. I don't think this is the run. Because we're on the internet. <laughs> Someone's mad. I mean, like seriously, if anyone is like, "Oh, this thing is OP," it's like you're dumb. You're I'll fucking dumb. The beaver onesie. Croc. That thing is so you get hard. Rolled over by the Michelin. Yeah, man. I know, dude. It's so hard to dodge. <laughs> it's hard. Ray, it's fucking hard. I'm it, fighting for my it, life out it, here. It, it looks it, man. It's like I mean, the big dude comes at you in a romper. What else are you gonna do? <laughs> That's 
Plus a Chungus with extra pickles. <laughs> They both marshmallows. <laughs> that looks like some shit out of Alice the Madness Returns. <laughs> that was a great game, by the way. Oh, McGee's. Mm -hmm. Where you get the salt and pepper shaker that's a fucking machine gun. Who's, who's mad? Who mad? Uh-oh. Got some special new efforts that Flippy made. Ooh. I don't know if I want to see that, Doc. I don't know if God wills it. <laughs> oh, just ignore Sides. They're they're fucking dumbass. Oh, Doc's back now, so you know it's about to happen. Oh, no, I just leave. I mean, some people aren't worth attention. Flippy makes that good stuff. Oh, sorry, Doc, because we just had a sub go out not too long ago. It better not be a ray alert, goddammit. <laughs> Oof. Got 19 days left to reset. Uh oh. <laughs> that bass is always great. <laughs> Not gift <give> alert. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, but yeah. I know, you know. <sighs> hey, it's the thought that counts. You are trapped in here with me! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Rorschach. Yeah. Splashy, splashy. <laughs> yeah, we watched episodes one through four of Foot, uh, Moon Knight already. Oof. What the fuck? Let's not do that anymore. Exactly, Ichbok. Like I said, I'm 330 hours in, and I'm fine. I'm still finding caves all over the place. Fuck. Can we not get stuck? Uh, uh. Okay. One moment of peace. Now you're all caught up. <laughs> Dude, what? I don't know if this is the run. Mm -mm. I can't do double. Uh, I don't care about Stranger Things anymore. I think season one was really fun. I think season two was a was okay, and I don't think season three was very good. So, I don't know. It's like, it's one of those things that they should have been fine with, like, making a, an amazing show for one season, and instead they try to milk it, and it's just not working out for me. I only made about three episodes into season one. I just, I mean, it seemed like they were trying to get the nostalgic vibe going, like it was Ready Player One, but mm -hmm. to do that as a series, you have to come with something hard to keep me interested. And watching a bunch of kids play D&D, &D, I was like, that's not as nostalgic, because... Again, it's never as fun as the sessions we play. <laughs> but I may have to give it a try again, and I also have to go back and try watching Umbrella Academy from the beginning. Ooh. Who has a Prime sub? Uh, Arby's. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, they don't. <laughs> Ain't nothing prime about that. 
<laughs> Only Prime thing I'm is stuck in much, them. Is how much the stock I'm prices in... are going up for, yeah. <laughs> for toilet paper. <laughs> All right, we're gonna focus on the little weenie. <sighs> really bloody. Okay, I'll have to. Oh, I got flanked. If you recommended lemons, I'll have to go ahead and give it another shot. Maybe that's what I'll binge this weekend. Ow! What? Season one? Yes. The fuck? Oh, is that the new alert? Is he dropping a deuce? Yeah. Uh, I don't collect vinyl. I think the only one is that has like any amount of vinyl is OJ. I have to limit what I collect, and I got books and magic cards. <laughs> the poopy face. <laughs> That was worth it. <laughs> the stepping on Lego. Oh my god. That should be like. That should be like a phone. Like, that shit. Fire giant. <laughs> <laughs> did Joe just do a barrel roll? Yeah, he did a barrel roll. <laughs> oh, you guys keep coming with the classics. I don't know which one makes me giggle more. The you should have brought more. Yeah. Or this one's magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Probably is one of the few times you see OJ lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and actually snap. That one always holds a special place for me. <laughs> the dissipate is pure gold. <laughs> This fight's going to be a pain in the ass. That's Correct. A, I was say, I'm a caster, and I've got nowhere near that health. This is all, I mean, they're doing insane more damage than they should be, and they also have, like, crazy health because of seven. But, yeah, it is. Uh, we'll say it again. This is Rufus. He's napping. <laughs> I'm his brother from another father. Same mother. Play secure with a death counter. Now, if you really want to dream, dream big. And just say for every death, there's another gifted sub. It's stuck in that animation. <laughs> what do you mean, Dr. Evil? That wasn't even the same name. <laughs> oh, they fucking... Ah, oh, whatever. Every death 50 gift this up. You feeling generous? Save it because the charity stream coming up. Coming up. We're going to do terrible things to ourselves. You guys get to make them eat weird shit. I don't know shit. when it's going to be. I just... That's a rough... And by we, he means he and OJ. I'm not eating fucked up shit. <laughs> I got a cast iron belly, but it's from good shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ray will be doing the challenge from the toilet. Whew. And I'll be charging $50 per square from the toilet paper roll. <laughs> I'm going to get rich, bitch. <laughs> oh, ghost peppers are the easy part. Come here, you fucking dumbass. I eat ghost peppers. Oh, yeah. I, you have to understand. Peer pressure don't work with me. Guilt trips, pack your own fucking bags. If I feel like eating something, I'll do it. I got nothing to prove to none of you. <laughs> yeah. If I want to put Mama, it in my mouth, I'll put it in my mouth. Thank you. Mama didn't raise no punk. <laughs> now, these guys are doing it for a cause. 
And Ray hates charity. Charity starts in La Casa, eh? Yeah. <laughs> charity quit her dancing gig. He doesn't give a shit anymore. Charity's gone. Chastity's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I got no reason to go back there. <laughs> of course, I tried durian candy because I know what the fruit is like. I just don't like the smell. Ray is his own charity. Pretty much. It's like, hey, brother, can I borrow your copy of Hey Soul Classics? No, my brother. You got to get your own. <laughs> I wasn't attacking him at all. Of course I love that. charity. I let friends summon me in Dark Souls all the time to help him pass mm. the boss and to repel invaders. The pickle beers weren't that bad. They just weren't. And I great. did drink. I did drink yeah. the pickle beer. I tried the three penis wine. I've done most things these guys. Yeah, but you drank done. that for fun. You, you didn't know? do that for charity. But sometimes you got to put a penis in your mouth for fun, man. Even three of them. <laughs> what? Explain. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> this is New Game Seven. Spiciest food I've ever had. Let's see. You drink that with a pulled pork sandwich? The fuck was that? Ray called? likes the party, guaranteed. Y you know? How did she say in uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith? 320, how could you? Somewhere two at a time. <laughs> and he's just like. He's like, ugh. We'll, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> the chip challenge? Oh, God. I saw AOC do her chip challenge. The fuck did you? Yeah, Fancy Panda was like, what is it? Like, I tripped and he fell? <laughs> was that Eminem song? He tripped and fell and landed on his dick. Yeah. Yeah, the gummy is nine million scoldos. There's this one Cajun restaurant in Chicago. It has this one meal called Hotter Than a Motherfucker. You have to sign a waiver before they'll bring it out to you. That's the one where the servers come out wearing rubber gloves and masks when they serve it to you. I was like, mm -hmm. ooh. Have I seen the Death Nut Challenge? The yes, Death Nut is not as hot as any of the other challenges. But, it, again, if you look at the total Scoville count, I still think, even the one chip, I still think the Gummy Bear has the, the not-to-be-fucked-with standard. Yeah. Nine million Scovilles is just put a grenade in your mouth, pull the pin, it stick sucked. a lighter under it. It fucking sucked. It was terrible. The chip touched my lips, so I passed out. <laughs> Well, we've had the Reaper jerky that was so hot but so good. And again, if I like the flavor of something, I mean, even if it's hot, I know it's going to be bad for me later. But if I enjoy the taste, I will still eat it. I'm not doing it to be a badass. I do it because I like the flavor. Oh. <laughs> Have a good one, Nickel. Yeah, two gummy bears. I'm not interested in, like, hurting myself or OJ. There's a reason one comes in the back. Yeah. <laughs> and it's heavily wrapped. It's like Everclear. You may get one bottle, but it's going to come wrapped in layers like a freaking Russian nesting doll. And when I first saw my first bottle of Everclear, I saw all the warning labels on it, not to be consumed by pregnant women store in a cool dry place not to be drinking alone i was like shit this is like engine degreaser with paint thinner all in one <laughs> oh showtime up in here what's up showtime what's good with the wavy navy showing up T spent the first combo attacking the dudes through the walls because this game is not designed well. Yeah, every player puts in work. <laughs> Got a diner. 
Is this his favorite game? No favorites. I was stuck in traffic a little long. Otherwise, you'd probably be watching a Magic or a Hero stream. But we haven't touched on this one in a while. And well, the review also came out. So yeah, so people are probably super curious about yeah, it. Yeah, this, this, this is a shit run. Oh, <laughs> fancy. I thought you were asking me if I was going to try the updates. I don't even want to play the original. Mm -mm. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, the big guy has like an almost undodgeable roly poly attack, and then he does a butt slam attack after. That's rough. Haven't been the same since. <laughs> that was my experience. A friend of mine, I'm at a party, right? A friend of mine came up and poured some of my styrofoam cup, and then another guy came over, started talking to me, and I just started feeling this drip on my shoe. I looked down. I said, what the hell's getting on my Tim's? The Everclear ate through the styrofoam of the cup. I was like. That's how I knew I didn't need this shit in my life. <laughs> but Everclear's 90-something percent here in Texas. Yeah, but it mixes really great with Mountain Dew. The <laughs> have acetone. No, but my friend made, um, got, what do you call it, Parala Punch? He cut a whole, or he cut a little section out of watermelon. Took a bottle of Everclear, took a bottle of a couple other alcohols, and of course you just pour it in there and let the watermelon soak it up. Then when they went through it, chopped it up, and started eating it, they got hammered kind of quick. Fuck that lunge, man. That lunge is not fun or fair for anybody. But see, I haven't had Mountain Dew since like late December. Texas is kind of sus. Yeah, not gonna Correct. lie. Have I eaten insects? Yes. Yes. Chocolate covered and regular. But I haven't lost a bet in a long time. Everclear? Yes. Anything that's 190 proof, that's 95% alcohol. That's, or 190 proof, it's like, that's basically moonshine. <laughs> How crunchy are scorpions? The outer chitin is exactly that. It's it's oof. very crunchy. Yes. The but fuck? depending on how they're prepared, it's not like you're just going to go pick up a raw one where the shell is, like, super hard. The ones that are prepared are a little softer to crunch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad to pleasantly surprise you, bloody. For what, about bugs? Well, they didn't, she didn't expect both of us to say yes at the same oh. time. Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, most people have eaten. Bugs. You ever ride your bike real fast and you get a bug in your mouth? You, oh, you ate Even with my shield down, <laughs> I was just like, even I put the visor down, just, you roll through a cloud of gnats. Uh, this is a terrible build. This was the fist build, but. It may be bloody, but so it's bloody lemons. Um, the fist, you can't fist these guys to death on New Game 7. It's just the range is too bad. Like, so. We are taking a short break from the fist build to try this build just to beat this one boss, and then we will potentially resume later. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Wavy. I keep I keep hearing the stories from this one. I gotta watch you two guys play Overwatch sometimes because I've never Please. watched it. I would never play Overwatch under any circumstance. You mean you never stream? It? I would never ever play Overwatch. I mean, Overwatch. not Overwatch. League I'm sorry, Legends. League. I'm yeah. sorry. My bad. See, that's you, how that's how often it. I follow, like, MOBAs, Tower oh, Defense, yeah. any of that crap. But I still got to see you guys play. Yeah. League is fun, like, when we're all playing together. But why do you not like Overwatch? It's designed by uh, – never. I'm not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> not even worth it. Not even worth it. You don't think Alex no. is an Overwatch person? Confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> Straight from the source. It's a stolen game made by talentless uh, people that just take all of the, the mechanics from uh, other more talented people, and then they're grabbing their interns and shit. Fuck it. Arrogant don't Bastard support Ale. Did they name it after us? <laughs> yeah, Arrogant uh, Bastard is great. Are you a gingy main? <laughs> you ever played uh, Team Fortress? Uh, Team Fortress 1 or 2? It's probably a news video where he's going off on it. (laughs) 
They're just like, hey, let's just uh, take Team Fortress and, and we will create loot boxes. No. They never existed before. Well, they kind of, they just like popularize loot boxes. Fucking roly poly. And I'm gonna die. Hmm. Ah, so that's what pulled it out into the open. What? Well, someone was saying Overwatch <laughs> hammered home loot boxes, and that's what made them mainstream. Yeah, seriously. Uh, I'm sh we're going to play more Tiny Teeny because we're going to finish it for review, but I really don't want to. Is that what they think it is? That fucking blue! That fucking blue! <laughs> Well, it's not so much discovering new things, although there are a few things he has discovered, but it's more like just trying more builds and making more memes and yeah. having more derpy fun. Let Ray play what? Tiny Tina's? Not my style of game. I don't do shooters. Yeah. Plus, the <laughs> loot system in that game is fucking garbage. One boss now. Oh, you sweet, sweet summer they child. They just keep responding until the hit points <laughs> I was going to say, gone. you're, you're going to learn like I did about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Crunch all you want. They'll make more. Guess who's back. You thought Tiny Teeny was okay? I mean, I'm glad you like it. Again. I can give you no one's opinion but my own. Like, these guys like sports games. Don't I'd say much rather, I'd much rather. I'd much rather play the sports. Although I did like the football game I played with you guys where we were sponsored oh, by yeah. chicken. And we had ass in the end zone. <laughs> oh, you got to be sponsored by ass. <laughs> I fucking pretty much zero. I'm going to die to the camera. And it maybe depend on who's serving those. God, fucking camera. Which is better, Tiny Tina or Strangers in Paradise? Uh, Strangers of Paradise is one of the worst written games in the history of games, but the gameplay is pretty fun. I Tiny Tina is, is written better, but the gameplay itself is, like, s not all that fun. I play Madden 22. That's news to me. This stream brought to you by chicken. They keep talking like that. I may have to get some KFC for Ooh, lunch. Or something. I do love chicken. Uh, I'm going to get eaten. What kind of bird no fly? Yard bird. That last dodge gets <gasps> you across the map. What? It's fucking absurd. I don't have a favorite game, but a game I probably have the most hours in. Easily Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Witcher 3 I tried Whoa! because people told me as much as I love Skyrim, I would love The Witcher more. I played The Witcher for about an hour and a half, could not get into it. And my friend got me the collection one that has like, I guess there's like two or three expansions or DLC that came with it. Mm, if he rolls me in the corner, I'm just dead. You just can't see and you die. Which is three still your fave. I may have to give that another go, but I tried mixing the potion. I took down mm. the griffin and I got to the fort and then they told me where to find Yennefer and I, uh, that's, that's where I left it. I just... I just cannot get into it. Witcher Three's good. Um, shit, Witcher Three's great, but I like of all time. No, no way. The dude from Blade One. <laughs> oh yeah, Frost. Witcher Three is godlike. Okay, and again, I may just have to go back into it, but I just, for me, Skyrim was just better. And that's bef well. That was before I broke it. Well, they're already talking about how they're filming season three now. I just have to kill that guy first. Oh, big boy. The the little one. They one of the problems I've always had with the game is the characters are real floaty, mm -hmm. and you know where their hitboxes are. So you're like, oh, I can attack. And it's like, oh, technically, your weapon's gonna go through his character model, but you're not gonna hit him because it's in a different area. Oh. So you just have to kind of skip that one, and you just go for the big end because the big end one has a bigger hitbox. 
I have not played Skyrim. Um, I'm not hyped about Stranger Things 4 because I've only seen like the first three episodes of season one, and that's all I've experienced of it. Again, Bloody Lemon says they really like this, so I'm going to have to go back and try it again. But then again, I already promised another friend that I'd have to go back and watch the Umbrella Academy again. So I've got my weekend pretty much planned for me. Although I'm, to be honest, I'm probably still going to drop another forty hours into Elden Ring. <laughs> into Elden Ring, because well, not instead. I mean, I'll probably play the first episodes that I've already seen as background noise while I'm going through, rather than play my around the corner or something. Ah, okay. Kingdoms of Amalur was great until I found out with chakras and the way to build up my fate power, I can pretty much slow down time and get epic kills whenever I want. So that kind of took a lot of the playthrough from me, especially when I could do it two or three times on a boss. I like the idea of it, and that's about as cartoony as I let my graphics get. So the dude just keeps rolling? Pretty much. This was a good run. Ah, see, some people like Umbrella, some people don't. So if I can get it back, on, back in on Tubby, I may be all right. And apparently a lot of people are on board with me with Witcher 3. Like, apparently there's some secret hump you have to get over. But once you do it, maybe Secret humps, you good. say? I, oh. You're talking about the unicorn part. You know, Elliot Page. All right, this is the best run so far. So we'll see how this works out. Where are you going to come in? I think he comes in right here. Nice, Simon. Is that obvious, folks? <laughs> but again, I still have to see the boys. There's so many shows that people are telling me I have to watch. And I'm like, you don't understand. I'm usually playing games with friends when I'm not, like, actively doing something else. You protecting us? Good luck. Come here. Okay, you stay there. I'll come to you, Waddlesworth. Hmm. Man, they murdered. Such a good boy. Teague so fast. And for Teague to go down, that tells me alone from what I've seen him do before. Uh, when I play Skyrim, I'll get the urge to play it about once a year, and I will play it vanilla. I still enjoy it. And that's the thing. I don't know any of the lore of which. Got stun lock. They can stagger you. Oof. And again, I still have to go back and play uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Because I played Origins, Dragon Age 1, Dragon Age 2. I've had Inquisitions, and again, it's still wrapped in plastic. Oh, so Dung Eater's not... Dung Eater's uh, not... Teague damage. The, I mean, you got to understand that the, this is on New Game 7, these are doing maximum damage. Ray they, is they, built different. They would melt through. They're going to melt through any of these. So. Dragon Age 1 was awesome. You could try. 2 wasn't bad. I heard Inquisition gets better because oh, every like actual maybe. choice you make affects the rest of the game. Maybe there's just a ton of choices in there. Maybe that's why you don't like it. But I can't speak on it because I haven't played it yet. Hmm. I could just actually... Oh, yeah, when I play Skyrim, I, I default to the same basic character type. I'm a silent assassin archer spellcaster. I make sure none of my spells make noise. Sneak sneak archery! I, I get my sneak to 100 before I even leave the underground grotto, and I bring in three Dramora Lords. Because when you get to some Conjuring 100, you summon twice the spirits. And you do Uncle Sanguine's quests... And you give the staff, you give the staff to Lydia, she summoned one, you summon two, so now it's five on five. Let's talk. Oh, it's on the game pass? Okay. I may have to check it out. Wow, they are roasting my man Oleg. I think you Ray was an orc. <laughs> no, I'm just happy to see you. I don't know what so weapon I have that's less. better than this. Oh, then Mass Effect. I keep hearing Mass Effect has choices that resound through the Oh, yeah, series. for sure. Like, you can romance this one or this one dies or you save this one. 
Mass Effect, people keep saying, what is it? Mass Effect and Gears of War, people say the storylines are really, really good for. But Gears of War, I wouldn't agree with that. But Mass Effect, for sure. Okay. Because that's what freaked me out, playing Kingdoms of Armorlore. Because I did the pre-order for it. So I got... I was like, what the hell's a shepherd? I don't know, but you start off with their armor set. And I'm like... So I'm in a medieval fantasy thing, throwing around chakras, but I'm in a spacesuit. <laughs> <laughs> Through the fucking wall. Oh, God damn it. Years of War 2 is amazing. This fucking game. Oh, they said... Oh, 3 was pretty bad. Mass Effect was bad. Wow. How many tool daggers? <laughs> Back one through three. I know people who still go and do them like that. <laughs> World blending raid. Hey, sometimes they just give you what they give you. Stop! How can you infinitely roll? Said three was good up until the ending. Okay. Yes. With gaming, that's pretty much it. After they made it make sense. Yeah, I think the best cover is the way Miyagi described it. No be there. Not making me want to play Mass Effect for the 34th time. And see, a good game will do that. A good game has replayability, which will keep you coming back. The interesting characters and stories and... Thank you. Which is why I'm glad I'm not spending all my free time in Elden Ring. Like, I have tons of hours in it. But I still go back and play something else because I'm going to be like, all right... I've done enough exploring. I don't want to just keep dying to this one boss or finding out how to mm -hmm. do this. I'll go play something else and I'll come back and it's like, well, I haven't tried this. Let me do this. And holy shit, that's all I had to do the, the first time. Because I don't want to play a game tilted. Because at that point, you're just deluding yourself. Saying, okay, I'm going to do differently this time and I'm going to beat it. No. Taco Festival in Round Rock. I mean, I, I don't know. It's like going to a sushi festival in Tijuana, Mexico. It's like... You don't think you've seen me tilt it? No, you really haven't. Mm. It, it takes a lot to get me there. Oh, yeah, Alex has beat it plenty enough times. But then again, he knows what he wants to do in a game. Mm -hmm. I approach this like I approach every Souls game I've ever played. I will look through every nook and cranny again. Now that I know there's secret floors, I have to go back to so many churches, so many caverns that I've already cleared. I want to find every secret. That sounds like a great idea, Flippy. We're not too far behind you. Oh, yeah. Because uh, my stomach's talking to me, and uh, he might miss out on the second half of our snacking. <laughs> We're about to tear the rest of this up. <laughs> Have a good one, Flippy, and we'll probably see you later for board games, yeah? Better see you later. There will be consequences, Flippy. Consequences and repercussions. <laughs> oh, exactly. And this is the only time I've done it in reverse, though, because normally I would have done the same thing. I'll go through, I'll just do one playthrough and just kill it. But the fact that this one's open world... And there's literally dozens of builds you can do. This is the only time in my soul's history I'm actually looking for everything on my first playthrough. Because what I did with Dark Souls, I didn't do it with Demon Souls, which is why I don't mind going back to it to this day. But Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, and Dark Souls 3, I beat. And then I went and looked, guides, just to see, okay, what all have I missed? And I was like... Holy shit, there's so much I didn't know, or so much I found <sighs> by luck. I couldn't even fucking see through the fat guy. Bullshit! Ghost of Tsushima. That was a really good run, too. That was probably going to be the run if yeah. I didn't get, Ghost, get flanked. Ghost and Bloodborne are the two Souls Likes games I haven't finished. I haven't started mm. yet. Dave and this, Buster? This one is a lot less forgiving. This as a as a Souls game, just because it's so open world and there's so much stuff to do here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Like I said, Big John, <laughs> you got a tool this big, you got to put a shed around it. <laughs> or just tell them it's a fuel tank for your love machine. <laughs> Uh, I can build sleep arrows. I just haven't had to use them yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Check out Raised by Wolves. Is that like a Bear Grylls kind of show? Bloodborne's a little more forgiving. I wouldn't say it's a lot more forgiving. I say this is more forgiving because, A, there's so many spots of grace all over the place. Oh, I don't mean like it. I just mean like from like the normal Souls experience. It's ah, not. It's. Okay. I think this one is probably the easiest one to get into. Raised by Wolves is fantastic. Okay. Me to do 100% parry. Oh, you can definitely do it. I mean, especially on, like, they're not super bad on the first, you know, five know, times. If we, if we come through as, like, Katy Perry and Perry Ellis, oh, we, yeah. we had talked about doing a co-op playthrough like that. The only problem is it would have to either both be on PlayStation or both be on PC, so we couldn't do it, you know, as, like, a Wednesday morning stream or something. Bloodborne is the only thing my friend told me about Bloodborne. He says the reason I might like it, he's like, it's Dark Souls on crack. Like, Dark Souls, you get rewarded for parrying, you get rewarded for docking. They're like, Bloodborne is all about aggro go, 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 kill shit, dodge, kill shit, transform your weapon. Have no idea what he's talking about, but I guess I have to find out about it. <laughs> exactly. They said it's it relies heavily on aggression. Normal mo oh, I can't. The whole this this in the fight is awful. Oh, Sekiro. Yeah. Once you learn parrying, though, Sekiro's a breeze. Yeah. And that's why the first fight with Kanichiro in the tower, that's the gatekeep for that. If you can pass him, you can probably finish the rest of the game up until you fight him in the final field. And by then, you're so powerful if you know which powders or powers to use against them. Yeah, but everyone tells me Bloodborne is souls on crack. It's it's meant to be aggressive. It's meant to go fast. And they say the only screenshots I've seen from it, and I guess you're in a dream, which is what they call the Nexus or Firelink Shrine. It's called like the Hunter's Dream or whatever. I guess that's why the whole game is hazy. That would probably get old for me after a while. It's also you can you have to render. It's a it's a game development trick that they use. Ah. Uh. There's no blocking in Bloodborne. Jesus. Okay. Well, Owl was hard, but by then you knew how to parry. And the fact that Genichi Roll in the tower was like the first fifth or quarter of the way through, he set it up for everything else. Because, hell, you could say the Corrupted Monk was bad or the Headless Ape if you didn't know what you were doing, was a nasty fight. But it all pales to your beginning experience with Genichiro. Oh, even the guy outside the first tower with the uh, giant halberd, the first captain that you fight. Mission, God, but it felt so good when you beat him, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when the ape did the second phase, you're like, Holy shit, I finally took that thing down. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> but it felt so good. Like, like the first time I beat Lady Butterfly, it's like, oh, yeah, holy man. shit, a true Shinobi execution? Like, I didn't even know that was in the game. It's like, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> yeah, but when you're not sure about eight. Double Owl, roll in a row? Owl had a special meaning because, I mean, he's your father. He taught you everything. And he's like, and the game gives you the option, which you know is a crucial moment. It's like, will you disobey your father? Or will you uphold the Shinobi code? Says, fuck you, you raised me like this. I can't abandon the Emperor. So it's a major, huge plot swing. <laughs> yeah, when he picks it up and just starts slinging the poo at you, I was like, uh, Ew. Al, Al was such... Al was such a great fight. And I'm glad people can share my love and appreciation of that because, oh, it gets you. 
Uh, too low on potions, but I will try. Ooh, the physics take too long to drink. Yeah, Bushido versus... <laughs> <laughs> Just give it a raise. I mean, there's so many good fights in there. The most, uh, I won't say the most, but one of the most annoying fights was chasing those three freaking monkeys, man. I mean, it was optional if you want it. It just don't ring that damn bell. It's like joining the champions coming. It's like, why are you necess unnecessarily making things harder for yourself? Demon of Hatred. <laughs> oh, Demon of Hatred. That one's the one with the random bullshit. He had a random attack that... I think it was a Demon of Hatred. It was, it was fucking awful. Hatred is the hardest boss in Souls War Secure. Yeah, I... Probably. <laughs> it's a Dark Souls boss in a game that's not Dark Souls. Well, Sekiro definitely is unforgiving. But again, once you learn to parry and manage your stamina even while you're parrying... It gets better because once you pick up, there's a, there's an item in there. There's a, there's a little fan you can pick up. I'm not going to tell you where to get it, but I'll tell you what it is. Where if you spin it, it it helps your defense a lot and it decreases some of your stamina bleed while you block. It made a good 80% of difference for me. I ended up not using it overall, but learning until I learned how to parry that thing saved my life so many times. Okay and was actually necessary on one or two bosses. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> hey, again, whatever play style suits you, I am not here to gatekeep. I'm just glad people are enjoying this as much as I am. I can't say more because I don't think anyone does, but I love the shit out of this game. Yeah, which is something you don't see a lot of Sekiro. I mean, the bull even takes a chance to pause that you can come up and hit it with, but the demon is just... What's your 3 PS5? Yeah, I mean, what did you think? They're not going to give you shit for free. Look, CT Project Red stopped being the company we wanted them to be like five years ago. Like, seriously. The, the issue is they went... Exactly, Sir Sabra. This, this is what I told people. It's like, this and Baldur's Gate 3 were the last two games I pre-ordered. And I did Baldur's Gate 3, again, my first experience with Lariat. But, kind of like Notre Dame, I rode on their reputation. I love Baldur's Gate 1 and Tales of the Sword Coast. I love Baldur's Gate 2 and the Siege. So I figured, okay, this is going to be a natural get for me. 45 minutes into the game, by the time I finished my character, I played for another 45 minutes, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I took a big gamble with pre-ordering this. Again, was not disappointed. It didn't meet my expectations. It blew them the fuck away. And this is from a longtime Souls fan. I even borrowed a PS2 from a buddy so I could play Kingsfield 1 and 2 again. <laughs> Start running, please. And again, to be part of that community, I'm not a gatekeeper. Enjoy the game however the hell you like. If it's in the game and meant to be used, by all means, use it. Fry your, fly your freak flag however you want to. There is no judgments here. I just enjoy the game for what it is. Will I do this with an Ash? Fuck yes. Will I probably put them to sleep? I don't know. I have a sorcerer build. If my spells don't work, I'll find another way to beat them. I don't even know how to get here yet, so I don't have to worry about that yet. I'll blow up this bridge when I get to it. <laughs> mm, you're attacking the wrong one, dude. As long as you're not using it to exploit in PvP. I, yeah, 
I, I don't even PvP. I may co-op with someone. Like, my friends will ask me how far I am in the game. And if they're past something I've already beaten, I've got no problem helping them back and, you know, helping them beat a boss they may have trouble with. Because some of my friends who play this, this is their first Souls-like game, but they know how much I love them. So they'll, like, they'll send me a text or they'll send me a shout out on Discord. Hey, man, can you help me get past this guy? Oh, you finally got the Godric. Yes. I don't even know what that move does, except for instant kills you if you're close. Instead of FIFA. <laughs> Good job, Baylor. Yeah. <laughs> the same cycle. I'm, I'm at least a boss or two in front of this because he's just killed some shit I haven't seen before, which is why I'm glad I can focus more on chat. <laughs> Oh, like I said, if anyone like actually cares about someone's build, just tell them that they uh, tell them to fuck off. that no one likes them, <laughs> that everyone who's ever loved them has been wrong, and lied to them. The only time they bring anyone <laughs> joy is when they leave, and that uh, the world is better off without them in it. Man, I don't know what's going on. It's like everything in my life is more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it fades into dust. That's the good shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, he took down the alphabet dragon. What? Someone asked if you fought the people. People are always going to find something to complain about. Do what I do. Toning the fuck out. Enjoy your life. You got to live it for you. You quit the roll? Easy with the fucking rolls, bro. Depends on how you fight Melina. I will fight her from a tank if I have to. Fuck that. <laughs> I've seen that bitch go ape shit with that fucking rivers of blood is two rivers of bloody. <laughs> oh, wa waterfowl dance is the name of the thing. Oh, okay, so it's too waterfowly. <laughs> do not want, do not want. <laughs> Why are we attacking this one, you fucking idiot? No, I'm just dead. I wasn't sure, Fox, because he did it and apparently did it back to back, so it looked like he kept rolling before. Uh oh. We need to kill this one. Say, Michelin Man's got to go. Take down Stay Puff with a tail. <sighs> and he does the roll. I can't do anything about it. With Lean and Mimic. Hey, do you, Dark Metal? <laughs> like I said, if it's in the game, by all means, that's what it's there for. Like I said, there's sure, I'm sure there was a couple bosses like when I fought the Moon Lady. I one-shot her, but I had Oleg, but I went through hell to get Oleg. So I will claim that mantle all day. Yeah, I beat this bitch. He helped, meaning he did 80% of the work, but mm. Oleg got in there. He never let her really catch shit. Uh, you're correct, Ushiro, except for um, the snake fight. The snake fight is one of the worst fights in any Souls game. It is fucking dumb. It is uh, offensive to how well the rest of the game is designed. You have freedom to do anything that you fucking want except for that fight. And it's a reminder, like, unless it's there to show you, like, how bad boss fights used to be. Pilgrim. Like, gimmick fights are horrible. Like, not a single fight where it's like, you have to use this ability. That's not fun. You can do anything you want in this game. 70 poise. Oh, I'm in fucking trouble. Like I said, my poise maybe hit 30. <laughs> But again, I'm on a caster. I can't carry heavy shit. <laughs> Snake is the Lord of Blasphemy. Yo, Ricard is incredible bad take. <laughs> Ricard is incredible. Ricard is not incredible. <laughs> There's nothing about that fight that is interesting or cool. You have to. You are forced to use a sword that you find on the ground. Oh. You know, it's very familiar to something that you. It's like they're like, oh no, it's based on a fight. Um, it's just a bullshit gimmick fight group boss fights. Oh, you mean like the Deacons of the Deep. <laughs> you can beat him without the sword, except for they make him so fucking hard to beat without the sword that why would you? <laughs> I mean, if you think so, that's great, but I don't. I don't think so at all. I don't think it's close to being an interesting or cool fight. Yes, it's exactly. I, yeah, I know. It's like you're over the giant. Didn't like it. it. Like, it's 
it's at least a little bit better there because you have less freedom. Hit points. Jesus. It's literally the only negative thing in the game. <laughs> See, you give me a complex now. When I get there, I'm probably not going to want to do it's it. It's your only negative? Did you fight the Elden Beast? Because I think that's a huge negative. <laughs> I don't think that fight is interesting either. I think Elden Beast is like... Spun without the weapon. Is the Blasphemous Blade, is that the one with the rot enchantment already on it? Look, look at him insta-kill Black Knife Tish with his infinite rolls. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, that shit don't seem too cool. The Elden Beast is not a good fight either. It's not... It's not interesting. It's not fun. Oh, the giant... The fire giant sword? It should still be good, right? Speaking of Karate Station Sushi. <laughs> the scenery of the Elden Beast fight. You like the scenery? You know, the Elden Beast fight, not not a good fight. Like, every fight in the game is better than the Elden Beast fight, except for perhaps the snake. Because at least the Elden Beast fight, you can, you know, use your build. Blasphemous Blade is the sword from Blasphemous. Seems fitting. Welcome back. Radon. Radon's I mean, such a cool fight. It's I mean, the cutscene is awesome. The after the aftermath scene is awesome. Like I said, that's that's been my most memorable fight memorable fight from this game. Oh come on, Bast. You don't have to like it, but you have to admit it's pretty cool. And welcome, by the way. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, this isn't. I don't think this is the run. Melina's your favorite, and she has never known defeat. The, the, the Millennia <laughs> fight's so cool. <laughs> I really enjoyed that fight. I'm not looking forward to it. But it's it's got to get done. Got you because of the soundtrack. See, that's why I still hold Ornstein and Smog. Not only was it a great fight in a great location, it had some of the most epic boss music. Holy shit, he outlived it. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> that, that moves. Do you see how far back it hit me? With the pole blade? Oh. Well, what I found out, like, 30 all seconds she wrote, guys. after you leave the opening chamber, you can get a twin blade is when I started my Darth Maul blade. Now that I found the recipe to make fire. Oh, the four kings. Like I said, the way I finally beat the four kings the first time, I had my holy halberd up to plus 10. I walked in there with Havel's armor, and I said, you know what? I'm going to slow roll my way out of this. Because I figured out the trick. The closer you are when they swing those little ghost halberds at you, the less damage they mm -hmm. do. And they only wrap you up so often. So I just sit there, wail, 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 wait till there's like two bars left on my health, take a swig from my Estus, wail, wail, wail. And I did that, and I killed the first one, and that's when I realized when they're exploding, you can keep swinging, and it still does damage on the group bar. I was like, holy shit. So I've got it down to where there's only three kings now. Because mm. <laughs> I know what the hell I'm doing. But that first time, I was just like, Fuck it. Face tank it. <laughs> we just went in like... <laughs> yeah. I mean, you bum rusher, that's great. Like I said, it's a, it's a... You don't know until later. It's a big DPS check. The fuck is going through my shield? Oh, the gargoyles on the rooftop? Yeah. No, 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 kill guy. We're talking about from Dark Souls 1. Yeah. Come here, buddy.
Not in Anor Londo, but the new Londo ruins. <laughs> yeah, that just seems a bullshit move from that dude. You can try to cheese it, but it doesn't work all that well. Rufus is the best. <laughs> he heard his name and he looked at me. He's like, Daddy, he call me? Come here. Come here, Rufus. Come get you some of this love. Ooh. Rufus kisses best kisses. Yeah, yeah. You're the goodest boy. Relaxes. Oh, you're not done with the pets, huh? <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna come sit right here on your foot so you can keep petting. Dude. Me. Okay, that's not a shit. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, I get you, best. You still get dark. Oh, man, we've had a bunch of Dark Souls elites. Yeah, rolling at the right time makes the roll attack non-existent. Uh, I don't, I don't think you were correct. <laughs> Sometimes they will just roll into roll into roll into roll. Do you have a kiss for the baby? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bulldogs are all stubborn. They're there's amazing stubborn dogs. You'll tell them not to do something. They'll look at you. You mean this? Oh, <laughs> do it. Anyway. They'll roll up on the the, the platforms. There we go. That's what we like to see. I'm glad you like the review, a young rab. <laughs> Borf. Borf. I'm not saying the game's perfect, but I'm just saying it's fun enough for me to give one of the few tens I get. Oh yeah. I mean, there's. Oh, I'm not hard pressed to think of negatives. Like, say, there's, 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 there's a ton of negatives in there, but it doesn't detract from the fun that I'm having. Oh shit! T died already. <laughs> Big John is just drawn to it like a magnet, right? <laughs> Okay. I haven't seen that attack. <laughs> uh, Tish is kind of man this fight. This is on New Game 7. I don't have anyone better than, T than Tish in this fight. It depends on what you rate as perfect. Like, a lot of... It's like, this is a game that, for me did open world it did like different biomes uh, boss variety monster variety build variety i thought it was an interesting story there was cool things you can do and i don't know and this was the first from soft game that actually had true followed lore that's what i loved about the dark souls series is they left it open on purpose because they let the community come up with their own theories about things this one most things are clearly defined and if you find out more as you go through NPCs, quests, or you just learn more about the world in general. Exactly, Giga. And just because you beat it with one playthrough doesn't mean you shouldn't go through and try another style. Well, what was the line that people seem to love the most? <laughs> You're naked. Here's a stick. Go kill God. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, and for us, it, the way that we rate video games, a 10 is not perfect. Yep. Never has been. It's just a legendary game that you will compare all others to, and I don't can't think of another game that come out again. anywhere near recently that you know. We're oh gonna be no, not it's been years since I've got this hyped and this you know happy to see a game. Oddly enough, I want to say the last one was Dark Souls Three. Stop <laughs> rolling! You've already rolled forever. What can I say, man? The man likes his Molly. Jesus. I don't review video games typically, so I don't remember what my last 10 was. The story behind the rolling? It's just a move that they gave him that's horseshit. Did Doom get a 10? Not from me. I didn't rate Doom. I didn't. So, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been me. Uh, I didn't raid God of War either. I don't. I don't know what he gave all any of those games. <laughs> okay. Oh, you one of the guys doing the whole lightning roll? <laughs> I'll get under your uh, oh. boys thing. The invisible attacks that you can't see. Near, yeah, near's fine. Ah. <sighs> Near is like a. I would say near is good. Near is not great, but near is good. Near two is also good. It felt like DLC rather than a new game, and I don't like that they try to charge full price for it. That's how I felt about Neo. We were already yeah. talking about that. Oh no, I'm talking about Neo. No, no. Yeah, I'm talking about Neo. Oh, as opposed to Near Automata. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Emperor. 10 to 10 is a revolution game, almost flawless. It sets new standards in opinion. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, I guess, for you. Everyone's got their own little. This guy's like 200 something. Oh, he's been playing this a lot. <laughs> so much for my shield doing something. Are you. Block the attacks, please. Nah. Nah. That's true. <laughs> one Or one man's Astro Near is another man's No Man's Sky. <laughs> well, I mean, some people just have bad taste. In Subnautica. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like this. <laughs> That's cool. It, it, it. Guess what? Some people like black licorice. I am uh, just not one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking yuck, it's, bro. It's the best way I can put it. I don't just I rate a game based on different categories and that's what all estimates into my things like price range, replayability, mechanics. There's lots of things I've taken when I consider a game. But one of the guiding factors is again, my biggest factor is dollars per hour. I just want to be able to see the attack so I can roll, but this fight is so hard to do that. Oh, okay, and their cool. response, what's wrong with black licorice? It, you may think nothing. I just can't stand the taste of it or the smell of it, which is why I won't drink Uzo, Sambuco. I don't care if you're supposed to put coffee beans in it. No. <laughs> IGN gave Death Loop a tid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we know that IGN, I mean, IGN's paid reviews. They get paid in access. They're not a serious outlet. And I know they employ fucking everyone, and they're, like, the biggest, but they're, like, they should be the least trusted people in, in gaming journalism. Best, the dollar per hour for me, like, say this game. This game costs 60 bucks. If I buy this game, I expect to get 60 hours of enjoyable content out of it. I've already exceeded that. Whereas some cheesy little game, what was the one where we were like gladiators doing the thug life and <laughs> squadoosh and watching oh, explode? Yeah. The little cheesy gladiator game that was like five or ten bucks. 
I wouldn't see me playing that game for 10 hours, but for 10 bucks, I wouldn't mind what we did for one stream just showcasing that because it got old really quick, but a couple of things about it were fun. And I don't mind blowing 10 bucks because that's going out, that's half of what I would pay for a movie, and that's not counting refreshments. But that's not saying I'm going to go out and get the Lost Ark Platinum Pack for 200 bucks, play the game for a week, and be done with it. That's just stupid. I'm going to have to respect <laughs> for this. I mean, do what you got to do, man. I'm... I'm looking less yeah. forward to this fight now. <laughs> no, it's like I said, these guys have like seven times the number of hit points or Well again, game is an art to you. If it can't be measured by dollars per hour, that's one of my biggest ratings for a game overall, if you ask my opinion. Will I play a game that costs less money for more hours? I've got so many thousands of hours of Hero Might and Magic Three, I could buy it on any platform it comes out with and not regret the purchase because I know how many hours I'm going to put into it. Will I buy this deluxe edition on the PlayStation? No, but I pre-ordered it on PC. Will I get it on PlayStation just a platinum trophy anyway? More than likely because I enjoy it. And if the FPS is better on console, which I don't think it will be, which is the only reason I didn't do it. Again, if I know I'm paying 60 bucks for it on PlayStation, I would do it because I enjoy it that much. I mean, maybe maybe some of you are, like, super wealthy and you don't care about how much uh, enjoyment you get out of something. But, I mean, even horror games. There's times where we, we buy these, like, super $60 horror games that are, like, six hours. And I'll just tell you straight up, I enjoyed it, but totally not fucking worth its money. Like, And, again, I'm not saying that's how you guys should review you, it. Yeah, you do your I'm own thing. I'm just telling I'm you just... how I come at a game and why I would like something with more replayability. And, yeah, I would get it from multiple platforms depending on how much it costs. Yeah, there's all sorts of cheap games that we fucking love, but... Hell, I bought DVD for 20 bucks and have 800 hours in that game. <laughs> I don't think I need a lot of strength. Well, I may have more after I play with Bloody Lemons this weekend, but, again, we'll see. Hopefully that wasn't a huge waste. But then again, I played it hardcore when it was fun. Back when there was three killers, four survivors, that was it. Yes, it is now. But remember, Bloody, at launch, it was the first asymmetrical game because I hadn't played Evolve. I hadn't played Left 4 Dead. I didn't know there were other, like, you know, 4v1 games out there like that. That was my first experience. Mm -hmm. And I know someone who still plays a shit ton of Stellaris. They probably play Stellaris as much as I play Heroes because they do that every stream. I don't think Tiny Tina. Tiny Tina is, man, f oh, fuck these fucking idiots. Yeah, Tiny Tina is fine. Easy. I just think the loot system in Tiny Tina is is not fun. It's just like they need to fucking, they need to figure their shit out. Well, Bass, again, that's what you do for a living. If I stream, I'm doing it with friends, or if I stream on my own, it's a hobby. So for you, there's a lot more that goes into it. That's like, oh look, I'm gonna do a movie called The Blair Witch Project, and you could tell it was done on a thirty dollar budget, whereas some people want to go out there and do some Michael Bay shit or Kevin Costner Waterworld shit. Do it for $300 million, and it still sucks. Oh! <laughs> one hit hit. One hit or quitter. But I can see your point, Bass, like I said. But if someone were to ask me, that's just my opinion. That's how I go about it. No, Tiny Tina has a garbage loot system. It was designed by an imbecile, like, who does not need to be working on games anymore. I, I just fucking hate... Every every time you kill a boss, it's a loot pinata, and it's filled with literal trash. And then they're like, no, it's, it's good if you play hide-and-seek 30 times per level <laughs> to find this special dice. It fucking is. It's awful. It is absolutely awful. I had the same gun. So imagine you're playing D&D. &D. You use the same sword from the time you're level 6 and level 12. You'd be like, DM, you're fucking dumb. That's, we're not getting more powerful. It's like, who who the fuck? I get you, Lemons. <laughs> it's it's that kind of twisted pride. It's like, yeah, this is my main game. But why? It sucks. But it's a game you can play casually and have fun with friends. Even if the killer you're going after is a major sweat lord or a try hard. Who cares? Once I let go of the I need to do this right all the time attitude, it got so much more fun to me. And as a killer, when I came across the Cult of Dwight, 
and just four guys wearing the pizza what outfits just start sitting there moonwalking behind each other crouching the whole time they made me kill one of them and put him on the hook the other three just got around and started worshiping him and they all pointed towards the hook i was like hey why not <laughs> You think Dark Souls 3 sucks? Well, that's where we have a disagreement. Fucking stuck. <laughs> Wrong key, ignore that. Uh, I need to switch. I need actually ma actual mana flasks. survivors and kill get no perks i've done the no perk challenge where i run with no perks and i stand still at ak i afk for 30 seconds you dark souls 3 is your least favorite man some of you i mean I, that's okay that's crazy that's okay. sometimes it's just sometimes don't, you don't make me turn into the batman poster oh well fine. i think let yeah. people enjoy yeah. things. Yeah. It's like man you you don't want to like it that's fine man. no rufus i was just kidding i didn't slap daddy <laughs> That's nuts. Again, people are entitled to their opinions. I'm not going to sit here and debate Lord anybody. Some people, you, I have just have to you, remember. You, you like what you like. Some people like French vanilla. Some people have <laughs> sex with farm animals. And, like, I just have to just be like, all right. I look that's out your there people. and see a field full of sheep. If you look out there and see a field full of morale, that's <laughs> on <Yeah>. you. <laughs> you. You go with the hip waders and Velcro gloves. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you know, if you push them to the edge of a cliff, they push back. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> Farmersonly.com. I mean, it's not for everybody, but it's for some people. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Exactly. Souls games are not for everybody. Dude, how long are you to fucking roll for? <laughs> Don't turn Jimmy off. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Jimmy. I forgot. Hey, Sakawa, can we get a morph key yeah. in here? <laughs> Remember, Jimmy, bad means no. <laughs> hey, again, I'm not here to shit on anybody else's views or opinions. My people like that, too. My own. <laughs> you can't use those some, words. Some people pay extra for yeah. that. <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't realize that guy was fucking chasing. <laughs> I treat livestock like I do an outlet. <laughs> I don't stick my dick in. <laughs> I, I mean, that's a good, that's good, right? That's better than the alternative. <laughs> we let, let your freak fly. <laughs> We let our freaks fly here. <sighs> yeah, so if you have a PS2, play Kingsfield. And then Kingsfield 2. Ugh, these guys are such dicks. Well, they're dead dicks now. Yeah, Don't but worry about it. <laughs> Ugh, now I have to go back to fists. I had to waste a larval tear for that shit. <laughs> well, two technically, but... Please beat this boss while talking about sex farm. I did, didn't I? Great stream and great dicks. <laughs> oh, I don't like the brag. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no complaints. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. Well, she, yeah, can't, yeah. she can't talk with her mouth full. <laughs> yeah, it was the farm animal talk. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> did that do anything for you? Nah. <laughs> uh, was it Malekith? You know, fuck him. We'll just fucking rush oh Malakith real my quick. God. Uh, yeah, Kingsfield were awesome. Mouth. This in your mouth. <laughs> you spit out. Yeah, yeah. Spitters are quitters. <laughs> Spitters <buddy>. are quitters. <laughs> don't don't get that abuse up in here. <laughs> Thank you, Sakaba. Perfect time for the nope. <laughs> uh. 
<sighs> nah, not going to Amsterdam. I looked at flights, but flights themselves were over $2,000, and then I said, fuck that. And the only reason I might still do it is because I can get on a military flight for 10 bucks. Mm. So if I could fly into Brussels or fly into Germany and then take a train or a little puddle jumper like a Ryanair oh, flight yeah. over there, I could still pull it off. But what's the point in going ah! by myself? Now, I may have done it because I don't know if Bloody Lemons is going to be there. I don't know who Bloody Lemons is. Say hi, Bloody Lemons. Hi, Bloody Lemons. No, it's telling him Bloody Lemons. Say oh. hi to you. Oh, so you can okay. See I got confused about that part. That's good. You can say hi to Bloody oh, Lemons, yeah, though. Yeah. You dingus? Yeah, man, I fucking, I'm terrible at this game. See? Oh, hello. <laughs> like I said, that's who I'm going to be playing DVD with oh, with, excellent. Our, with a mutual friend this weekend. Excellent. Because I've, I've been talking about it for a while, but you know me. I've only played with you guys, and I play super casually. But she has so much fun. <laughs> What's TwitchCon like? Oh, um, yeah. there, let, let's just put it this way. There will be a requirement that people wear masks, but there will be no requirement that those people shower. Um. Now you're describing most magic tournaments that are I coming was just, back. I was just at one, man. It was, man. <laughs> I was about to say, for people who are hygienically challenged to begin yeah. with, and I don't want to sound like an elitist, I'm being a realist, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> Every card tournament, exactly my point. But the only card tournaments I go to are magic. I have friends that play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. I am just not one of them. I have friends who play Armada, or what's the one with all the anime girls in the cards that are named after... World War II warships, like Vanguard or something? Uh, yeah, there's Vanguard, Force of Will. They're all like, it's exactly. like, hey, your game's pretty sweet, but the fact that your card art is like porn makes me think way less of you. Thank you. But from what I saw of you and Matt playing, I should have gotten into Star Wars, but it cool. didn't matter if, they, oh, didn't, if they didn't push with it because it probably could have taken over from what I've seen. It could have taken the title from Matt. Uh, honestly, Fantasy Flight, it was, it was Fantasy Flight, right? Fantasy Flight mm -hmm. not actually supporting the, the Star Wars game that was a good game was like the worst thing they could have fucking done. Oh, I'm going to die to this fucking one bird. The down bad card lad. <laughs> Pass out soap in the D&D game. Rooms. Now you know exactly what I'm talking about, Simon. And again, it's not all. But stereotypes are based on reality. Look. <laughs> and it's like the ones that are stinky are the ones that are like really, really pushing the envelope when it comes to body odor. What card game has porn? Which one doesn't? You miss Star Wars Galaxies? Um, I heard about that one. Hadn't played it. Like I said, only MMO I've ever done was Soul Tour. And I still haven't touched that since the new one came out. I wanted to see if they fixed that Malgus bug. I've got Ow. 26 twos. No, they have not finished that, fixed that bug. It was months, and, and they still hadn't fixed it. Okay. Like I said, because I've still got 26 tunes that are all sitting at um Ow. level 25, so I'm sure by the time I do the story for all of them, they'll all be level 80. I'm just not in a hurry to go back to it. It just hasn't been fun to me in years. You're not supposed to technically. Exactly. Um, when, once you start gaming, once you've done, like, every raid on Nightmare Mode, once you've killed all the hidden bosses, because the peak for me was finally beating the Ancient Threat. So that's what you call a bug. The elevator dropped me. And then I'm getting attacked by a guy through two walls. But I just don't want to sit there and keep raiding when a new op crops just to get one piece of gear that's rated two points higher than what I already have. I was like, it's so not worth it. Man, that was such a fucking long run. It's this this section of this whole level is not fun. It's it's like downright shitty. Which is why I skip it. You, sh you guys should not do this, but I've done it like nine times, so you, you don't have to. Um, wow. Yeah, when you can walk in, you can just smell the monosodium glutamate coming out of their pores. <laughs> Dude, so I went into the bathroom at Star City Dallas, right? And I hear moaning. And that's never good. Um, and I'm like wondering, oh, all right, fucking idiot birds. I'm wondering, like, why would I be hearing moaning? And it's just, it turns out that this dude is like so backed up. And then, then the noises started, and it's like, dude, you need to change your fucking diet. Please change your goddamn diet. It's not called bubble guts without a reason. Yeah. <laughs> you just hear, it was like, oh, shit, cold blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know where the side of grace is. Normally, I don't get dropped off the fucking elevator. And then magic through the walls, but... Uh, 
the makes the get up animation. Yeah, I'm familiar, but oh, you're not the only one, Shadow Rodney. I was like, I don't want to know what was causing that. Maybe it felt good when it finally came out. I was like, hey, no, I I'm gonna let him direct the story. My mind goes far enough afield on its own. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's it's terrible. And then I look around at people, and it's like, you're the reason why people, when I say that I'm a, like, I play Magic the Gathering, they're like, eh. Yeah, you don't look like a Magic player, or you don't smell like a Magic yeah. player. <laughs> like, trust me, there's, there's some nothing. fucking just stinky-ass people. It's like, you are, like, there was a dude there, like, probably 6'2", but he was wearing, like, a child's small t-shirt and child's small basketball shorts, and it, they were all the way up his ass. I mean, the basket I mean, all the way up his ass. It's oh, you're like, talking about gold mask. <laughs> I've seen him on the bridge. <laughs> you blame the parents. It starts in the casa. <laughs> Freaking elevator boss, are you shitting me? I'm going to die to this guy, too, because these guys have a million fucking hit points. And, like, a nine-hit combo. Shit, yeah. dude, dude, it was fucking wild. And, like, you don't take pictures of people because that's fucked up. But, like, if you were allowed to, it'd be like, mm. What's a Magic player supposed to look like? Oh, man. If you, if I had Medium a dollar height, every, a time, every time I walked into a place to play at a tournament, and they look around and they look at me, and they, they wonder... Uh, you lost? No, you, yeah, the, the music store is around the corner. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll just bebop on that yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> I was like about to drop a Kayla Wiggle on him or something. I was like, okay, so it means I shouldn't register my deck where? Yeah. Oh, you're here to play. I'm here to head judge the, the, the fucking tournament, you piece of shit. They thought I was lost at one of the Star Cities a couple years ago. They're like, uh, are you, what is, it's just like, I'm head judging the fucking modern tournament today. And they're like, oh, I, uh... Oh, Thunder Six, uh, don't make him do that. Don't. What? Don't. He's like, just Google <laughs> search Magic the Gathering player. Don't do not do that to them. <laughs> or the only thing that, that was more funny than that when, I guess, I surprised people was the first time I went with Erica when we were at the Grand Prix, and I went to her table when I had already finished my game, and she was still playing hers. This guy sat down, oh, it's a girl. I'm going to win easy. Ten minutes later, he's packing his cards with an entirely look, entirely different look on his face. And Erica's like, he was so bad. <laughs> like, he missed so many triggers. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. And then when her combo went off, he's like, oh, you never saw this combo? No, it's a homebrew. I don't, I don't need a meta deck to beat you. I don't need the mm -hmm. net deck. <laughs> mm. You don't look like a nerd. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we know about the butt crack picture guy. He's famous, but he also got banned. Well, it may not be meta, but he gets the job done. <laughs> <laughs> what do you tell him? I got a busted watch this right twice a day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course I banned. You can't, like, publicly, like, you can't bully people. You, you can't take it. You can't even do that in like normal life. If you took a picture of like a bunch of people with like the purpose of making fun of them, like, you, oh, awesome. Thanks, game. You fucking poorly coded piece of shit. <laughs> Kick rocks. I'm getting so tired of that fucking thing because it happens in so many. Oh, okay, great. Perfect. See, Rain will make you famous. He haven't. He even has a deck name after Rain's Pain. And it's been tweaked some more. Mm. And you did, yeah. I mean, if you get tacked through a wall, you you gonna die. You gonna die. Yeah, he he deserved to get banned, and he got banned. Eclipse coming in with the shimmy. Now you're a little scared. Yeah. Well, even before COVID, it was a it was a crapshoot. You never you never knew what you're gonna pull out of that little potpourri. But with the pandemic still kind of raging out there, and people seeming to forget that, 
like I said, it, it makes me rethink my selective process, like which one would I really want to go to? But when I saw the measures that they were talking about setting up in place for Amsterdam, I said, okay, I'd like to go Amsterdam. I'd like to go back there, this time sober, this time stay more than two days. Yeah, crowds, crowds aren't my thing, but you wouldn't know it when I, I was you younger said, because I went to every fucking I thought concert. you were talking about Germans, and you're like, you know, <laughs> crowds aren't I my thing. I was like, crowds. I was like, Jesus, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's a fucked up thing to say. Mask off, chat. <laughs> Now, here's what's fucked up. The fact that that's what he thought he heard, or the fact that he thought I would say something like that in the first place. <laughs> well, friends like this, who the hell needs ISIS? <laughs> <laughs> but at least he, he went the extra mile of asking me yeah. and, and verifying, saying, you, that shit did you not didn't come that, forward that, out that, of your that, mouth. You did not just say fucking... <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Ooh, through the fucking wall! Yeah, Teach going blade for blade. No, no, not at all. Holy shit. Well, we should probably get going. We gotta get lunch, and probably take care of the dog, and then head over and see what the plan is for today. Oh, lunch. Um, nom, nom, nom. Um. <laughs> Is this shit. Yeah, through the wall. Totally dead. Um, but, yeah, not too far off. We'll probably... I don't know what I'm going to try to beat Elden Beast with, but and I'll have to try something new. Fist. Fist, <laughs> Fist seems totally sad. I don't think the Fist has any... I'd have to figure out, like, what um, ability to use on the Fist to actually get up close to the Elden Beast. So... Cane's got to be fried chicken. Uh, fry, there's a Cane's on the way. Oh. Um, but join us in a little bit. We're going to play some board games. It's going to be super fun. So uh, make sure you check out the Elden Ring. No, nah, Bloodhound stuff's not anywhere near good enough. Well, I mean, look, it's good. And it's, it's, it's really good, but it's not what I need to beat Elden Beast Ooh, when it's got gosh. three times the, number, the amount of hit points. I need, a, like, an offensive ability, I think. So have a good one, Shadow. Right. <laughs> Rufus says bye. What are, what's up, buddy? <laughs> I know, right? I was like, you, you think you he okay? somebody downstairs? I don't know what he hears. He in protect but mode. I, don't, I have no idea what level this character is. Uh, 250, even. Bye. 250. 250. All right. <laughs> bye, everybody. Thanks for coming out.